Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Pick Aside Podcast. My name is Joel Moran and I'm here with Ripper Brown, Andrew Velez, and Joe Dells. That's episode 390. In this episode, we got a special guest yes, in the studio, OG, the legend. How you doing, OG? I got invited to the cookout, man. I cannot not be here for this. Crazy? I got invited to the cookout. I'm coming through. I already told Drew, and whenever you dudes call... I just feel like I gotta be there, and I got invited to the cookout. I was around, so I'm like, bet I'm coming through. It's been a long time coming, OG. Yeah. We're we're very grateful that you you blessed us with your presence. Coming it's gonna out. be great vibes, great episodes. We already were talking before the show, and it's like nothing new. So I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that we got a chance to to chop it up. With feel you. good I, to be back in Jersey. I didn't think Joe was gonna say nothing to you. I thought he was gonna spring uh, it on you. Like nah, I was nah, nah. He couldn't do that to us. I, I, that's what I thought he was gonna do. So that's why I didn't say nothing about it. Oh, you were trying to make it a surprise? Yeah, I thought you was. Oh. I, th- I thought I was just going to walk in, and it was like, "What? Yeah, I can't tell us nothing." So I might have <laughs> lost my mind. If I just walked in, see OG, I'd be like, "Get the fuck out of here!" So OG, just make sure you're talking close to the microphone, just so just yes, to make sir. sure it picks you up. Yes, sir. Because I, I I don't want to lose your audio at all. No. But how you guys doing? I'm doing great. I can't complain, not even a little bit. Uh, we get to talk about some basketball. We got a great friend over here. It's just a great time. How was your fourth, man? It was good. I saw the fireworks. Where were you, Riv? Actually, I texted you. I said, pop up to the pool. He said, I'd be right there. Never showed up. No, I'm going to tell you what happened. So (laughs) (laughs) we in the group chat, we got a basketball group chat. So we played ball in the morning. Dude. Outside or inside? uh, Outside. Oh. 10 in the morning. We went out to the park, played some hoops, played a little three on three, four on four series. My body was damaged, mm-hmm. man. Like I was, I was all fucked. And up. it was crazy high yesterday. It, it was but it wasn't most... terrible at ten. Yeah. Like cause the sun wasn't out. Mm-hmm. It was cool. So once it got to like twelve, twelve thirty, it got real hot. And I'm playing hard, but I'm like, my body is hurting. Like I'm like, yeah, I can't do this. You no just more. drained. Yeah. So I got out to the house. You texted me, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I got in the shower. Got out the shower. <laughs> I see, yeah, it's quiet. I'm not getting out of bed. I was too tired. That's the thing about Riv. He, he's not going to tell you if he's not going to come. He's just not going to show up. Honestly, my least favorite people. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to not show up, at least give me I mean, a text. I didn't I was going to show up. You made it oh, seem oh, like oh, you oh. were. You made it is seem Riv like. that dude? Yes. He is that dude. He's yeah, that he's that he dude. Was like, he was like, oh, when you going Don't up? I was like, 15 that. minutes. He's like, oh, you and Chelsea? I was like, yeah. He's like, I bet. <laughs> That's <laughs> not really telling him. I'm just seeing what the information is. That's all. Come on, Riv, do you not show up? You say you're gonna show up and you not show up. Now I show up, but <laughs> sometimes I do hit him with the yeah, I'm gonna pull up. And, and then you like, don't show up. Yeah. So you're a scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. This is cool. It's okay. As long as you embrace your no, scumbag. A couple times I do hit him with the yeah, I'm gonna pull up and I don't. And you don't show up. But for the most part, I pull up. He All you gotta do. do is if you're gonna say, I'm gonna pull up, you decide not to be like, it's slow. And then OG, he gets mad at us when we don't oh invite him God. places. If we don't invite him somewhere, even if we know he's not gonna Now we're on your ass. Oh my God. The door to this rib. You're the one who opened the door to this rib. Just I did it. That's the one hundred percent. You did. Cause that was, I, I understand that. I just feel like you know when I do. Cause I feel like I'd rather y'all not know that I'm not showing. I'd rather y'all get drunk enough that y'all forget I was supposed to be there. So I just let it marinate. But I'll terrible. Excuse. I'll text y'all from now on. I text you. That even compounds the scumbag. It's, no, it's 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 like triple double worse. Yes, it's terrible. What are you doing? The logic is is very. But was, I didn't tell you I was going. You did ask a lot of questions. That, you made it seem like you were. You did uh, everything did say? but say. Huh? What did he say? What did he reply? Uh, I was like, yo, like, let's pop out to the pool. He's like, bet, what time you going? It's like 15 minutes. He's like, all right, bet. You and Chelsea going to go? I was like, yeah. It's like, bet. No, nah, you were interrogating, bro. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that kind of sounds OG, like you're going to go. It does sound right. He's, fa- really he's faking the clear, though. He was asking questions. He I'm was just, just asking like, questions. All right, he never said you were going to go. Good information. But usually when you ask who's going to be there, what time. <laughs> I was definitely giving the vibes. I was going to say, yeah, I'm pulling up. I was giving the benefit of the doubt. You're better man than me. We have a special event happening this Sunday. Yes, sir. This Sunday. We are going to record at the park, at the local park, a 1v1, Riv versus John. You you know John, right, OG? John Tortorelli. On the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, okay. Riv um, is going to face him one-on-one because John wants to be on his men's basketball league team, and this is his tryout to get on the team, facing Riv one-on-one. He challenged Riv to a one-on-one to get on the he team. Did, he did. He did challenge you. So you know why he challenged you? He challenged you because he don't think you should be on the crew. Damn. That's why he challenged you. It's not because that's his initiation and on the crew. He did it because he looking at you going, wait a minute, oh, I'm nicer what? than him. You're, you're a great instigator. And I like I'm that. just <laughs> saying. That's what it sounds like to me. I like that. What he did, I'm, I feel like he challenged me because I'm not, I'm just. He's the captain, of the, the squad, captain of the right? squad. He's the captain of the squad. So I make the demands. I make the trades. I make the free agents. I, you know, I release, I cut. 
You know what I'm saying? I do all that. That's his way in, though. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. if he beats me, but nobody can say nothing. What I'm saying, though, Rivers, that's his way into your spot. That's oh, yeah, what he's doing. Sure. He's going he to think he can get yeah, my that's spot. What, that's yeah. what he's doing. He, he beats you, he's going to start winning. Okay, I just want to make sure. No, he ain't. Like, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. If he okay. beats you, it's his team now. Like, for sure. 100%. If he beats me, I'll get off the team. <laughs> nah, that's that's why he's doing it, Drew. That's why he's doing it. He definitely like, if he scores like seven, eight points, I'll let him on the team. Okay. Okay. So right, game to eleven. Respectable. Game to eleven. Yeah. Game to eleven. He's not winning, but if he can give me a compromise, like I feel good. Like, ones and twos like, or all ones. It could be whatever he wants. I will mm-hmm. let him choose that. He he might need ones. And what twos. if he does win? If he wins, I get off the team. You you done? <laughs> I'm done. Yo, I'm gonna be real honest with you. Bro. I'm done for that the next year. podcast too. I don't know if you can show up. I don't know. I'm if not you can gonna show lose. Up. I have no doubt. If like, you lose, I'm dead serious. That's his seat for the month. <laughs> wow. I'm not gonna lose. I'm you not worried. Out, so game to eleven. Um, f- no, no limit in terms of how much you could dribble, or do you want to limit dribbling? It's up to him. I'll let him. You won't give him, him all. I will let him the determine the stakes. I just, the only thing I ask is everything take back. Facts. Okay. Yeah, more That's than fair. Fair. The only thing I That's ask. That's normal. Everything if you miss back. new possession, no offense. I would love rebound. that too. No, yes, no rebound. Okay. You're not doing rebounds. Okay. So I don't want to do that. That's, That's fair. aggravating. That's fair. Let's just make it. Me versus you, first you know, first bucket. Let's do it. That we're going to stinks. record it on Sunday. No rebounds. But we are going to so like drop it in two weeks. So we're going to know who won before anybody else, and mm-hmm. we're not going to reveal it until it drops. It's going to be hard to keep that. It'll be If Riv loses, it's going to be hard to keep that. If I lose, great. y'all going to know next episode if, if I lose. <laughs> <laughs> so, and if I win, I'm definitely. I'm not going to brag about it because I know I was going to win. It has to be kayfabe. You gotta, you gotta just. Yeah, let but it if, rock if John out. makes it a good matchup, I'll definitely let him. I give him his respect if he yeah. makes it a good match. I think we'll all serve give him. him. I will. And when I say serve him, I'm like like 10 1, something like that. Ooh. Like, what if you straight serve? Is he still on the team? Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. If I beat him 11 1, it's over. If it's 10 1, but like it's an ugly 10 1, there's a way that it can be ugly 10 1, where it's just, it takes forever to score baskets. Yeah. Every, everyone's missing. Then I feel like you got to give him the benefit of the doubt because then Riv didn't play that ten, well. Ten either. one's like a sweep, but every game's two points. But if, I, if we like, both didn't play that one, and I'm up ten one. That's disgusting nah, fa- on you. Agreed. Like, yeah, that looks Agreed. bad on you. Agreed. Uh, if you start hitting some shots, I fear you can leave him on on one two points. If you knock down jumpers, you can definitely watch him. Depends. It's just hard. I've never seen him play. Neither it, I, it really isn't. I, I've like, seen his Riv description play, is very like he told us he can't dribble, but he said he can shoot. Mm-hmm. If you can't dribble on one on we've won, it's gonna be hard. Unless yeah, he the, just I'm gonna say a big size. He he I was about to say that, really. He might be setting you up, yo. Yeah, he, maybe he lied. You know, maybe he lied to try to nah. get me off my game. One thing for sure is that he played on his high school basketball team, so at for least sure. we know he could play basketball a little bit. He's it's got just a how much can he scale. play? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah, no, I'm gonna definitely treat him like a college player though, regardless. So, like, <laughs> no, you okay. have to go and respect him. No, I'm going and in there. And then as the game goes nice. on, you be like, ah, yeah. okay. Like first possession, yeah, I'm in his way. grill. Like I'm all up in him. I want, I want to figure that out for sure. Imagine you blow us by him. Yo, I'll cry. <laughs> if first possession, John hits him with a jab, catches him leaning one way, takes him the other, finishes at the rim. Yeah, I will. Now, lose I it. give you a hundred dollars if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's not going to blow past. It's going to be fun, though. This Sunday, I'm going to be healthy. I'm going to be rejuvenated. I'm excited, man. We haven't done nothing for the Patreoners in a while, so this is going to be something that's exclusive gonna for them. Sir, that's gonna they're going to watch. That's a dollar. Yeah. It's still a dollar, right? Yeah, it's still a dollar. Okay. You can join it, and you will have access to it in two weeks because we want to edit it. We want to make it a full-on spectacle. Mm-hmm. You know, I want to interview you and John one on, one-on-one before you guys play, for sure, and for I want to sure. ask you guys five questions. How are you feeling going into this game? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And then during the game, just... Put those clips in while it happens. My, my question is going to be the same. My answer is going to be the same as it is today, yesterday, on the game day. I Should I be oh, like, you're, go, you're ultra confident. Yeah, I, I oh, feel yeah. great. I feel amazing. I'll be What's the color commentator. Yeah. Early. Yeah, we're, we're doing, doing early. early yeah. Dude, we got a long day recording. We do. Like 9, so, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
not even not even getting back in the game. If you think that he can make that much of a difference where they beat them, you got to think he's the best player on the planet. You have to think that. There's no way that he can make up that much of a difference. Then they play in the next round. Then they move to Cleveland, who, again, I'm a, I'm a Donovan Mitchell guy. I think Donovan Mitchell is, I think he's the best two guard in the game. I'm still on that. Oh, gee, I, I'm, I'm, I still think that he's the best JB? two guard in the game. Yes. No, nah, I'm just I, talking shit. I do. <laughs> and with that being said, even if he was healthy, we have a six game series tops. Uh-huh. That's that's what I'm thinking. What I think that I think they make it interesting. Jared Allen too. If Jared Allen is healthy, I, I, you're I, reaching. Yeah. You're reaching. <laughs> even if even if he is, because I'm I'm on record, Joe. I, I said that there was a stretch where I thought Jared Allen should have made the All Star team. Mm-hmm. I'm on record so saying this that. Is his so, best year. Yeah, I thought he should have made the All Star team. Um, and then they and then they play Indiana, who they smoked them in four straight games. And I don't hear anybody talking about injuries as much as I'm hearing it talking talked about with the Boston Celtics. Even though we just seen this in 21 when Kawhi Leonard was hurt, mm-hmm. when Anthony Davis was hurt, when all of these guys were hurt and the Milwaukee Bucks, when Kyrie Irving got hurt, James Harden got hurt, the Milwaukee Bucks won the NBA championship, even Trey Young got hurt in the East Finals, Giannis was hurt. I haven't seen this much of a disrespect to an NBA champion who basically served everybody, served everybody that they played against. And now it's, well, let's see if they can do it again. How about the fact that they did it? Mm. How about that? Mm. How about the fact that they did it? They, they were the best team. They were the best team in the league all year long. I think the last six games of the season, I think they were win- they won at home by an average margin of 31. They were smoking everybody, destroyed everybody. So the logic that this team is just a good team and Jason Tatum is this and Jalen Brown is that, we have to come off the fact that they are the NBA champs. We, they, we have to respect that. Mm. I'll He's tell you what. Talking. Yeah, I was going to say. A I like that. When, I like that little outlook. Dells comes in, I feel like, bi weekly at this point. And he kind of gives us a new Boston Celtics stat. The one that kind of sat with me was the one where he talks about all the games that essentially they won by double digits, whether it was by 10 points, whether it was by 20 points, 30 points, 40 points. Don't you guys have a 50 point win also on your resume this past season? Golden so, State. Yeah, that was, that was one of the worst losses I've seen in some time. But the dominance that the Boston Celtics showed all season long, you do have to give them a ton of credit. But. I feel like unless you really were consistent with it the entire season, as amazing as Boston was, you still held in regard the Denver Nuggets as the best team or at least the favorite. Because you had to see the champions lose before you had to see a new a new king crown. Sure. And I I feel like that's fair. If early in the season when you felt the same way about the Nuggets, you're giving the champs their benefit of the doubt. I had to see the Nuggets lose to 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 think that another champion can be crowned. But end of the day. You have to get a job done. And you talk about probably the most discredited champion in some time. The last one that comes to mind is 2020. Because similarly, the the Boston Celtics wiped the floor with essentially every talent that they faced. Similarly with the Los Angeles Lakers. Different situations, of course, because this was a regular season. You guys had the difference of injuries as opposed to us having a completely different setting. But again, these were two dominating teams that really the opposing teams had no chance. You have to respect Boston. And OG, you know what the craziest part is about all of this? Every single step of the way, there was still doubt. Even after winning 64 games in the regular season. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Even after an historic Damn. net rating, top six all what time. What are you talking about, Dells? Even after they, they win, they, they beat everyone in the East, even though they sweep the Pacers, you still go up in that finals matchup mm. against Dallas and there say, been faith in them. and they say, well, I don't know. That's Dallas right. is the best team Boston's ever played. It doesn't matter what they did the entire way, even though they were dominant every single stretch. The fact that they had lost two playoff games up until the finals mm. and people are still saying, I don't know. They, they haven't played a guy like Luka. Kyrie, this is the best backcourt we had ever seen. They were still doubting them till the very end. Even when Boston was up 3-0 and Dallas got that one game back, it was still... Things are interesting now. He's I don't know. Things right are now. interesting now. No, Someone's got to do it. There's always just, a chance crazy. to win this. It's crazy. But but but, but, but what Dell is saying is true. I I had to listen to that. Well, if they get one, well, it's gonna, it's gonna get real interesting. If they get another one, then it's gonna get <laughs> me a break, yo. We don't do this with no other team. OG, let me talk to you though, because I know you and I in the past were huge advocates of Jason Tatum. I'm, I'm a kind Jason of, Tatum I've guy. kind of fallen off how strongly I once felt about him. I said with that idea, we kind of had this conversation after our last show. Do you feel slighted in a way by Jason Tatum in the sense of this was supposed to be his coronation, his entrance into being one of the best players of this era? We kind of saw that with Giannis after he dropped the 50 ball. We saw it with Jokic after he had one of the best postseason runs we've ever seen by any player ever in NBA history. Jason Tatum, in my opinion, wasn't the best player on his team. 
in the in the playoff run in the in the West excuse me in the Eastern Conference Finals in the NBA Finals. Do you feel slighted? Because there's part of me that I felt like Tatum at a point in time had the ceiling of being a, a top two, arguably at one point can be the best player in the world. But after this run, this was a great team. There's not taking anything away from the Boston Celtics. But when I break it down and talk about one player individually, I feel slighted by Tatum. Right. I don't. And the reason why I don't, because one, I want to go back to what Dell was just talking about in terms of the teams. If I'm not mistaken, I think over the last 30 years, the Bulls, the 01 Lakers, and the Warriors 17? are the only team. 17, probably. Yeah, 17. 17 the okay. 17 Warriors are the only team to win the NBA championship and only have one loss on the road yep, in the playoffs. Warriors. Mm-hmm. That's the only, mm-hmm. they're, they're the only team to do that. And they also rival the 96 97 Bulls, who won 69 games. They're the only team that had the better net rating than the Boston Celtics. With that being said, I always thought that Jason Tatum was a top five player in the game. I still stand on that to this day. I never thought that he could be the best player, but I thought that he'd be in the conversation. With that being said, he still had to do his job. Had he not done his job, the Boston Celtics don't win. If he doesn't give me that 30 and 12 game in game five in the NBA finals, if he doesn't give me two 35 and 10, I think it was 30 30 and 10 games in the East finals. Right, if he doesn't give me those, now sure, I can appreciate the idea that you're looking for the Joker game and you're looking for what Giannis did. I actually think that this season, because he was on a better unit where there was more talent, I feel like him sacrificing says so much about him as a player. Because don't forget, we're also talking about a team that lost KP. KP only played 57 games this year. It wasn't like he played that. It wasn't like he played the whole season. Drew Holiday, he also missed, I think, 17, 18 games. So Jason Tatum, he had to make up for all of that stuff. And let's please not forget, not only is he the only all pro they have, he's the only first team all pro that they have. They don't have anybody else like that. So with that being said, I still stand on the logic. I think Jason Tatum is a top five player in the game. He he performed not up to what everybody thought he should perform to, but as a whole, even though he didn't shoot the basketball as well as some people might think that he could have shot the basketball, he did all the other stuff and his game improved as the playoffs went on. And he was the, he was one of the main reasons why they went, won the NBA championship. And really quickly, Drew, to your point, mm-hmm. Jalen Brown did not have to see the coverages that Jason Tatum had to see during that time. He's not seeing double teams. He's not getting in the paint and seeing triple teams. A lot of the stuff that he had to deal with was one-on-one. Well, if I'm one-on-one with a guy, it's really not that difficult, particularly if it's Luka standing in front of me. It's not that pro- it's not that big of a deal at all. So with that, with that being said, he is... I'm also facilitating for Jalen Brown. I'm facilitating when, if I'm not mistaken, Coach Missoula puts Drew Holiday in the dunker spot. So now that's an adjustment that makes Jason Tatum even better because he's going downhill, dropping it off to Jalen, I'm sorry, Drew Holiday in the dunker spot, making him so much better as a unit. So the sacrifice that he did... It's such double talk to me because once I one minute I hear you got to sacrifice in order for your crew to win, but then if you're shooting too much and you get 30, well, you shoot too much and y'all losing. I, I, I don't understand the correlation. It doesn't really make much sense to me. They I won. agree with a lot of the points that you made. I think Jason Tatum did have to sacrifice. I agree with that. But in, in, in the NBA Finals, he took the most shots of any player in the Finals. Mm-hmm. That was not sacrificing. He was just missing. Sure. And that jump shot of his has been going downhill since last postseason. So I think for me, before I enter Jason Tatum, because really I think the conversation that matters is the top three. The top three, I think, is uh, Jokic, Giannis, Luka. I think that's best in the world category. I think for Tatum to enter that, he needs to get his jump shot back. Because while he did take some sacrifices, he was shooting a lot. He was just missing. I do think that Jason Tatum was the best player on the Celtics the entire postseason. I thought Jalen Brown won Eastern Conference Finals MVP and the finals MVP because he wasn't held to the same expectation as Tatum. I can't if Tatum agree with was that. held to Jalen Brown's expectations, you're giving the MVP to the guy who led the team in points, rebounds, and assists. But Jalen Brown, Brown was efficient. He was course, efficient, and as a defender, he was their best defender. I, listen, in the finals, I, they were close I think to the same it depends. The, but the efficiency to me in the finals gets thrown away when the series was over after game three. And after game three, everyone at this table, there's no way you can tell me otherwise 
surprised that you didn't feel Jalen Brown was the finals MVP. This was after a game where, in the first half, Jason Tatum was fucking awesome. He was amazing. That was probably my favorite performance out of JT. Until that second half starts, he can't buy a bucket. Now he knows, man, I don't have it. I'll get, I got to give the ball to Jalen Brown. That's to your point about sacrifice and, and, and also self-realization and, and honestly acknowledging, hey, I don't have it, but my guy does because I got a trustworthy number two in Jalen Brown. But Jalen Brown was clutch as sin that entire second half. So I think he had, what, he was... He had eight points in the first half, finishes with over 30. His efficiency was 12 for 22. He was fantastic in that game three. And again, we all felt the same way after game three when essentially the series was locked that Jalen Brown was the finals MVP. But here's the I thing with that. And that's when that efficiency I was I elite. Live. I didn't. I, I felt like it was cl- I felt like whoever, considering how they was playing, not just Jason Tatum, not just Jalen Brown, not just what Drew Holiday did, even KP when he came in. I felt like whoever had the best game in the closeout game could very well be the finals MVP. I really felt even like then, that. Going up 3-0, MVP, though, we, even, we know it, it's done. Even, 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 when, even when they did go up 3-0, right? Even when they did go up 3-0, I still felt like it wasn't like this. And to your point, you're talking about Jason, Jalen Brown, you're primarily talking about buckets. The fact that I got to do other stuff now because I don't have it going. He started facilitating. He got on the glass. He started to defend. He started to do all the stuff necessary, spacing to make sure that, yo, we got enough spacing in order for us to get shots. He's getting downhill, collapsing the defense. Jalen Brown wasn't doing that. Jalen Brown was buckets, and I think he did a damn good job on Luka. I'll never argue yeah. that. I think he did a damn good job. But the fact that Jason Tatum, who they demanded what they demanded from him, and for him to deliver and the fact that he couldn't he couldn't shoot it like he normally does, I still think that's a testament to him, which I want to ask you, yeah, Joe. Okay. Why, in terms of him not being able to make, make shots, why do you think that was? It's probably because he was more so fatigued from playing defense. I can hear that argument. But then it also is something that is used against them or can be used against them because other stars that have less talented players on their team have to do all the things Tatum has to do plus have to be exceptional and efficient on the other end, like Jokic did in his finals run, like Giannis did in his finals run, and I think that can be used as a knock against Tatum. I think a shot die is just awful. I want to ask you guys it's a question bad. round table because in NBA Finals, Jalen Brown did an excellent job on Luka, one-on-one defense. We know that. But Jason Tatum is the reason why the lob threat was taken away. A big component of their offense, a reason why the Celtics – can cheat over and really just disrespect these shooters was because of how Tatum took away the center. I think that might be just as impactful as Jalen Brown's one-on-one defense because it allowed Jalen Brown to cheat over a little bit because he knows that Tatum can stop anything going to the rim. And I think we can't ignore that. In terms of their defensive play, they had two different responsibilities, but Jalen Brown would have not been able to take away the center like Jason Tatum did in that series. But playing defense on Luka is much harder than that. In my Al Horford opinion. did a better job. Not for 28. That's, come on. That was cool. Al did a great job. Al did a Al great job, great but at the same time, it's, Tillman it's, was it's, Game, two, game three, Tillman. Shout it's super to different. Uh, I I think you and you obviously understand. Luca's going downhill. He's going to have shots near the bucket. And who's going to be right in front of him? Especially with KP being banged up. It was going here's to be. My, here's my counter to that. One on one defense is just you versus you. But we also spoke about it. I apologize. We've spoken a lot. You haven't. I apologize. We've seen a lot of Luca just missing shots that he normally makes, especially in the finals. Shots that we normally see Luka make, he was coming up short. That was a lot of about physicality. Fatigue. That was Correct. a lot of Jalen Brown off-ball pressuring him, making him work through very screens true, to get the true. ball. It wasn't just he was missing shots. He was missing some shots that normally he would make, but a lot of that had to do with the way Jalen Brown was guarding him off-ball. That right there. Say it one more time for the people in the cheap seats. <laughs> the way that makes Jaylen, me nuts, man. The way Jalen was guarding him off-ball. I mean, you saw there was even that quote they had during the game saying, like, I'm going to make it hell for, for Luka every time. If he doesn't take the ball up the court, I am on his ass. But here's the thing. Even if you think that Jalen Brown deserves finals MVP, I think there's also a case for Tatum. Because I think between the Eastern Conference finals MVP and the finals MVP, it was a lot of splitting hairs. Sure. And Tatum was one of six players to win a championship and lead his team in points, rebounds, and assists. He did a lot for the Celtics on his way there. And I feel like if roles were reversed and that was Jalen Brown with those stats, he would have won it. I will say, to Jalen Brown's credit, and to discredit Jason Tatum here, 
In the clutch, the numbers were not close no, in the postseason. Not at all. Jason Tatum was terrible in the clutch. Jalen Brown was he close. shot below thirty percent in clutch situations, while Jalen Brown shot above fifty percent. So when they needed a go-to bucket, Jalen Brown was that guy. That's what I was talking about but game three. The championship as a whole for the Celtics, I don't think it should be made out of comparing players because it was an all-around team effort for sure. And that's why I understand what you're saying. Where what was missing from Tatum's playoff run was a Giannis or Jokic like dominance to really cement himself in the best in the world conversation. But the good thing is, is that he's still young and the Celtics have a chance to do it again. And if Jason Tatum is exceptional, this upcoming playoffs next season and they win the championship, then he will truly get thrust into that conversation. But he has to perform too. I think the shooting woes had a lot to do with what happened in 22. I think he was worried about that. I think he saw himself reverting back to that and he was in his head like I can't play as bad as I played in 22 and I think that that bothered him in terms of his shooting and then throughout the course of the playoffs he kind of got out of his own way and got back to what he was doing I watched him in the Indiana game I think in overtime he had 10 points yeah, he was and awesome. three rebounds yeah. in that game like two years ago in the finals he would have fell to pieces right so he progressively got better as time went on, I can appreciate the logic, Joe, of him in the clutch, but I think that that was largely due to him not wanting to screw up as opposed to him just playing. I always think about the Matrix with Neo and, and Morpheus when they fight and, and Morpheus says to Neo, stop trying to hit me and just hit me. I feel like Jason Tatum, initially, he was trying to shoot. He was trying to play instead of just playing. And I feel like it kind of, it, it, it got better as time went on. Funny part is, Tatum may not have to have a moment next year for them to win it again. Agreed. That's no. that's the funniest part about all. So it's like we could be waiting for that Giannis Joker moment, but he may never need it with this team as as standing right now. This team could literally walk through the East yet again next year with how good they are. Does he just have to have a moment and win the finals for him to do it? So, because he's had moments throughout his career in the playoffs. For not sure. On, that's not Definitely. on the final stage. You want to know what I compare it to? Again, when we had this conversation, this is what I brought well, up. Well, has he had an all-time series yet? All-time series, probably not. Not, that's that's not to like Jokic's that box series was, it was great. amazing. I don't know if it was all-time. Giannis has an all-time series. The Joker has one. All-time. Even Luka kind of has one. That's, that's kind of tough to really. It he is had, tough. To he have. had a great series. He had a like an unbelievable series yeah. against the Bucks. Yeah. This is what I compare it to. With Golden State, when Kevin Durant joined Golden State, we already went in with the idea this was the champion. A 73-win team just got the second best player in the world. But we we needed them to win the championship. But also what we needed was Kevin Durant to play at the number two in the world, arguably best in the world level. He did. He got crowned finals MVP over Steph Curry, who was just the unanimous MVP the year prior. You needed to see that level of dominance out of Kevin Durant. You did. And to a lot of people, that validated Kevin Durant. To a good amount of people also, that didn't move them because he joined Golden State. But why you kind of have to respect it, at least I say kind of because, again, I'm not the hugest Kevin Durant fan, but what I can at least respect is he went to Golden State, made one of the craziest, most shocking moves that we've ever seen, but also was dominant with an amazing team. Tatum's on an amazing team, but wasn't dominant. That's the difference to me. It's just a tale of two worlds. Because Kevin Durant, when he went to Golden State, of course, he got a lot of shit for it. We all knew they were going to win the championship. It, it was set in stone. But he averaged 35. He was unbelievable. If you look at his performance in that series in terms of players and finals history, he owns one of the most efficient finals mm -hmm. series mm -hmm. in the history of the game. Mm -hmm. But it's still not validated because of the move he, went to, he, he made to Golden State. Correct. So with Jason Tatum, I think really the simple thing for him is he just has to play at that superstar level next playoffs and I mean like in the finals averaging 30 given what he gives you but shooting well and then I think it'll validate him but Tatum could also be that player that just never has that dominant run but his accolades throughout his career stack up yep. to the point that it will match up a lot of all-time great players and too. we're talking about his jump shot how many times do we see him hit the backboard you know what I mean? It's not short. It's not like you're, you're, you don't have your legs on the He's been in the weight you. room too much, man. He's straight up shooting it way too strong. Don't stop shooting that shot. And it's stop not even close. Step. Yeah, that's work. Trust me. 
I, would, I, I hope I could get a number one day on just what his sidestep, less than three seconds on the shot clock percentage is because they can't be hard. Like 37% in the regular season from three, if I'm not mistaken. In 2024, January 1st, at the end of the regular season, he was the best three uh, pull-up three-point shooter in the NBA. I don't know what's what happened from the end of the regular right, season right. to the... That really is what it can man's, come down this man's to. Man's in the spotlight every single year, and more often than not, he shows up. But you know hey, what I'm saying, OG? Like I'm trying to keep it consistent because again, I respect sometimes that. Sometimes you don't show up. It's just so sometimes tough to. Just gone. But I think to good, evaluate what I've said this before. I think if you are a Celtics fan, if you are a Tatum fan, if you're a Tatum defender, his weakness is easily. I don't want to say easily, but feels more fixable than other superstars' weaknesses. Like if yeah. his jump shot can start to fall like it did basically all regular season, like it has basically his entire career. He was at 29% on jump shots this playoff run. I'm not talking about him getting to 65% true shooting. We're just talking about him getting to league average or Jason Tatum standard. If he's able to get back to that, you're going to see him have 40-point games consistently. You're going to see him average 30, 35 for a series, and you know he's going to give you 11 rebounds and 7, 8 assists. So when we're talking about other stars who have other deficiencies, whether it's playmaking, defense, whatever, it feels like that's a, a bit of a gap that they have to get to for team it's just can we just get back to our regular season norm for jump shooting which is tricky too because we've seen him do that so it's not like it's asking too much for right sure. we've seen him do that he actually doubled his post production this season before last season yep. right he plays double the time in the post he actually played really good in the mid-range during the regular season and it just went the other way and Riv I'm telling you it went the other way because I felt like in the 2022 finals that's like what shit. came back to him oh. and I can't and not only can I not play like that I can't play like that again, period. Yep. So I'm, I'm basically boxing myself in instead of I'm not playing like no, that No, you can again. never play like that ever I'm again. I'm going to kick all of you guys' ass. There's nothing that you guys are going to be able to do against me. I think he was worried more about not playing that way instead of just going out and just kicking everybody's ass because it's obvious that the skill set is there. It's obvious that all the tools are there. We saw him in the regular season. We saw him in the playoffs. We saw him going to Milwaukee in an elimination game yeah. and put 46 on them. Unbelievable. Right? We saw him in game seven, put 51 on Philadelphia. Yeah. Yeah. And put 16 on them in the fourth quarter. If he if he doesn't do that, they're out. This is yep. all a mental thing. They're out. Yeah. This they're, is all a mental they're, thing. They're O U T out. Mm-hmm. But the thing I'm really concerned with though, Joe, is if he gets busy in these playoffs and they lose, like he's averaging 35 a game and they get bounced in the semifinals. How are we talking about Jason Tatum? I think if they lose, same way you, it's t- you spoke about him in 22. No, the discourse is terrible. That that's why I think it's better that the Celtics won and he just played sub like, not subpar, but below his standards than them losing. Yeah. And that's where I feel like I overvalued Tatum's performance too much in the postseason because all season long, I was fading Boston from winning the championship. And a big reason for that was because I thought I thought Tatum, <laughs> under, Tatum. I thought Tatum underperforming in the playoffs would matter more yeah. to wins and losses. But we seen a stat. They were, what, 6-0 when Tatum shoots below 40%. It's insane. He had the team to make up for the lack of efficiency you, that he you, had. You don't hear this and feel slighted. I am I a, I was a Jason Tatum stan. I still am. I ain't going to lie. I, I, I'm, I'm on a Jason Tatum train. He's my guy. 100%. Ah, it's just hard to sit with. He's, just, he's, he's, you're, he's this guy. team was just so overwhelmingly better. It just, it's just, it's, it's a weird thing to hear. Like, you don't, you don't right? hear it too, you don't hear it too much. Like, if, Usually when like, you're the best know. player, if your best player plays if bad, you If Steph or LeBron or like Kawhi play bad in a playoff game, eight times out of ten, they're probably losing the game. You know, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to feel How many it. bad games have we seen out of all-time greats that they end up winning? The one that comes to mind maybe is Kobe Game 7, 2010, but even still, he did everything else at a high level, just couldn't score. Same thing Jason Tatum did, though. See, he's the exact same way. One the, the, game the, the, is the, different the, from such <laughs> I really ride. do love Kobe. <laughs> It's a heavy eye. He like 26, 20. No, that's 25. really what it is. This really, yeah. he's super young. He got the. But also, in, in the in four March. wins they had in the finals, two of them he had thirty. Game one he had double digit assist. He was guarding the center. Like I, I get it. I don't. I don't feel he slighted, well. but I also don't feel like this was a coming out party yeah. for Tatum. I'm I mean, you. all it means is that the Celtics have an all time great team, and that's the, a fact. the record showed it. And if, if you get a healthy Porzingis, if you get Tatum playing at a higher level. That's another thing. Then they can too. He wasn't even healthy. Porzingis was at like, like maybe seventy percent. Yeah. Maybe. No, that's what's so but scary that's what about is, the though. Boston Celtics. True. But this regular season when he was on, we need to call Celtics. some teams and build a new also, super team. Game <laughs> one, shit, game one, first half. Again. KP. I, I felt like I was watching something different. He was an MVP. 
Oh my god! Well, that, I thought he was gonna why, win the finals MVP. Oh yeah, my, Celtics off finals one, off one half. Porzingis, I thought in the in the first game was the most impactful. The you told us he nah, nah, nah. he had. You nah. told us he would struggle. But I said <laughs> I thought he would. <laughs> second yeah. second God half. God forbid he's coming off yeah. injury. I think he's gonna struggle. You said he would struggle. God forbid. But he did that get brother, hurt. He hadn't in played in almost two. That yeah. brother came in. Boom! Chicken. Kyrie no, only little. That didn't like, shock the shit out of you though. Who played him playing well? KP come. No, no, no. He hadn't played in almost two months. Playing perfect. He was perfect. He hadn't played in almost two months. I wasn't moved. It was six okay, weeks. Come on, brother. He was getting mismatches on Kyrie and yeah, Jaden. Nah, he was doing I'm whatever sorry. He like, I should be able to cook Kyrie Irving. That's what I'm saying. I should be able to cook Kyrie Irving if I play consistently. Just brother, so you know, I haven't played in two months. He's seven three. I have. I have seen game. Coming off the bench, you got a little man on you. It's a bucket. It's a bucket every time. Finals, what are you it's talking a bucket about? But he every also time. was shooting over every the top time. of Derek Lively. He made, oh, that's, he made that's a pair of threes too. Come on. And Josh Green. He was ready. Off the dribble, Ooh. too, he got Derek Lively. <laughs> Josh Green. No, there was there was a lot of position where Josh Green couldn't guard him. <laughs> yeah. Josh Green played as good as defense you could play. He's 6'4. They and didn't do anything no different though, Riv. Oh, gee, let me ask you a question. Do you feel like if the officiating had oh been my more like that? Don't answer. No, 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 OG, no. The series would have been the, extended. OG, the no. real question should be what were your thoughts on Luca's defense this final? Oh shit. I mean, that's I mean, that's I mean, an actual good question. question. I can I can just say one thing. 67.8%. Damn. Oh my God! That Damn. was a field goal percentage. No, 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 no. Oh, no. That's what that's when he's that guarded. That's what I mean. That was his, bl- that was his blow by reach. Oh, oh. Blow by rate. that means See, the that. Blow that's by rate, though, love it. The blow by rate. Love he's going to debunk it right now. Love love it. It. I'm not debunking. I just want to ask you something, OG. When in the history of you talking didn't. basketball before this NBA finals, have you talked about a blow by rate? No, it's a fact. And, and, we have and, new, new terms. And, and, and I'm glad that the, the interesting thing is, I'm glad we are talking about that because what it does now is it magnifies the, his inability to stay in front of somebody. Because that's important for you, Luca, as the lead guard, not only as the lead guard, but your point of attack guy. The, the Not only the defense, the effort from Luca has to be there. And if you're getting blown by seven out of 10 times, your, your effort is not there. R- like Riv, Drew, I can teach you guys footwork. I can teach you. Where to be? I can teach you how to get to spots. The the defense lab. is one thing and one thing only. Effort. Effort. No, I, trust Facts. me, I know. Drop your ass, get your feet moving, get your hands busy. Luca is Ole all night. OG, the finals is ind- indefensible for the playoffs. <laughs> you can't defend Luka was that really good. You can. It was you ass. Can. You know what? For the playoffs, he was doing Luka that, that was little steel shit behind me. You know, you're and not you playing know defense. Was, game three. I will keep saying this, and every single time we talk about this NBA Finals, that is one of the worst meltdowns I've seen from a what is going to be an all-time great player. I also have a would you rather KP while we're on this okay. topic. Oh, let's well, do it. We could do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's All right, let's go. We can can I just get right one now. last thing in? Of course, you want to talk about Because four fouls in the yeah. second half. You, you know what scoring I wish? Scoring zero points you, you in the fourth. You know what I wish the last would word. happen? You know what I wish no, would happen? No, he's missed last word. I wish that there is a public site out there that can actually track blow by stats so we can properly measure it. Because all we know is Lucas, but we don't know Derrick Jones Jr. We don't know P.J. Washington's. And I would like to see theirs, too, because the way Dallas oh, the runs their wars. defensive this, scheme, uh, th- this they, was, they, I was expecting they him to funnel say. offensive yep. players into the rim protection. Yep. Luca, listen, I think his defense was terrible in the finals. I'm not going to argue that. But for the entire playoffs, Dallas had a scheme, and they executed it to perfection. They played elite-level defense. It's just Boston has so many goddamn like dribble you're penetrators you're that can get to the Boston's get to the rim. Best team they played. You're not this, are you? Of course not. Okay, there, I just want to make sure. There's not. There's not. Check, they but, didn't have a rim OG, protector last year, did they? But no. But that's why it was different this year. Ago, it like was that, different. It's way different this year because Derek Lively is so much better a than what. They, yes. No, he a was rook. really impactful. Yo, OG, he was. Oh, D. He I'm was not insane. saying that he, I'm not saying that he, he wasn't good. He outplayed Chet in series. He outplayed Rudy sometimes. Like it was crazy what he was doing sometimes. What what, what Luca what Luca did because I can't believe y'all let Joe off the hook with this. No, we're not. We're not. We're not. We're, 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 we're not. not. No, no, no. With, with Luca playing defense, good. What Luca did was Luca paid was garbage. some of the bills in the house some of the months. <laughs> That's all he did. I like that analogy. He paid the light bill in he, January. He, he paid, the paid the, He didn't pay, pay the mortgage. He didn't no, pay no, it in the February. The mortgage is offense, and he carried them. He so. didn't pay it. In he the, paid he, the bill. He didn't know. He, he didn't, paid the bill. He didn't pay it. It. He didn't pay it in February. We talking the about light. the defense. He paid the light bill. He didn't. And pay then it. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. when he paid the light bill again? Talk when the me. final note, when the final notice came in. Yo, the lights getting shut off if you don't pay this bill. And even still, game five. Right. And he didn't even pay the whole thing. What he did was he put something on it. 
That's who Luca is on defense. I can't believe Joe, you sitting there. Yeah, Luca Doncic, if he, if he, if he, if he has, has to do, payment plan. If he has to do everything on offense, it's impossible for you to ask him to also put 100% effort on defense too. I'm not asking you to put 100% effort on defense. What I am asking you is to give me some effort. For the 60%. playoffs, was he a good defender for the Dallas Mavericks? No, Luka. he wasn't. And so, no. So for the first three rounds, you would say no, he was not. He was inconsistent. He was inconsistent. He, was inconsistent. he, he had moments like he's he had saying. Moments. Like yeah, he's moments. saying, oh yeah, the, there's a Clippers game that stands out, but PJ Washington was getting cooked too I in that game. I told you that. No, I told but PJ's you. not a bad defender. Uh, That's what I'm saying. No, no, he's no, not no, a bad, I, I don't think he's a bad defender. He's not that good on defense. He's really not that. Good. He's he's one of those that stand in your face, talk shit, and you think he's a good defender. He's physical. Like he he's strong. He's physical. He's not that good of a defender. PJ Washington is good. I know his kind. I know. No, Derek. I know his kind, bro. What aura does he have? Luca? Did you? He has a viral photo. He's standing like this. What are you talking about? That's like PJ Washington. Photo of Luka Doncic with the glasses on. Yeah, everything about the Mavs playoff runs just saying irrelevant. This because he didn't think PJ Washington was going to be a I difference right. maker for the Mavs. I was the right. Thunder, the Thunder he series was the second right. best Thunder player series, in the Thunder series. series that's really what, outside of what that. Mean, that's a was, huge moment. It was a Mickey Mouse series because against Minnesota, he was mid. In the finals, he was mid. And honestly, I'm being kind by saying mid. He was actually terrible. OG was PJ Washington a needle <laughs> mover for the Mavs. Yes, he was. Obviously. Come on. What are we talking <laughs> about? He's still, what honestly, are we talking about? Who cares? He really was not that good I in the Western Conference Finals. I wish you stood on business finals. because we got clips of you Would saying you he's a needle mover. He Would put, you I mean, they went to the finals. KP edition. They went to the finals. <laughs> Who is more of a needle mover? Derek Lively or him? Let me be the guy that him. strays away from this. <laughs> not I don't a want to talk about Boston. I don't want to talk about PJ Washington. I'm tired of Dallas Mavericks. They did win the NBA championship, though. Let's make sure we remember. Yes, sir. Don't want to talk about Dallas no more. But Back to back. Would you rather, Chris Tapps Porzingis edition. Uh-oh. Here we go. And hold up, OG. Move more here oh, be, so we can see you. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is beautiful. You. I, yeah. Would you rather Chris Tapps Porzingis edition? I will not be taking part in this. It's for you four you guys. You need to answer. No. First name He up, has no respect for himself. Bam Adebayo. Bam. Bam Adebayo. Porzingis. <laughs> it's a conversation. No, the fuck is no it's not. Well, he gives it's you not. offensively the spacing, what still you giving you the do? rim protection. What are you doing? I hear him, but he's not reliable to stay on the court. That's fair. No, player for player, Bam's better do anyway. Yeah, for sure. I don't want to do it. But because the spacing, of the availability, Bam. That's fair. And as a rim protector, Defense I hear the point. Close. No, no, no. Yeah. Not even the question. He is a stretch five. I won't argue. The stretch five is huge. The stretch five is huge. It's lit. It's lit. No, no, it's not, it's, it's lit. It's lit. He is the most efficient post player in the NBA. Cool. He's the biggest mismatch in the NBA. He's right. Low key. Other than Wemby. I would, I Even would be still, he's a better offensive okay. player than Wemby right now. I would say the he's Joker. way more Whatever, advanced than Wemby. Keep going, keep going. Um, Second half, Wemby was. He's still tough. an elite rim protector. On the on the perimeter switchability, Bam's got it for sure. As a playmaker passer, Bam's got it. But Bam's also way more available, so I think that's more than fair to say, Bam. Okay. No, fuck that. Pound for pound, player for player. No, Bam is better? like very comfortably a better basketball player. One hundred percent healthy. It's not even close. The conversation. Fuck. KP's good, man. I would go Bam, but KP's good. You're for clearly sure. not familiar with New York Knicks, Kristaps Porzingis. That that player is better, I think, than Bam. No, low key. What the hell does that even matter? I mean, he was, he can do, why does it? No, matter? it doesn't. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, right? What's the it next doesn't. Name? But OG, what was your pick, Bam? Bam, Bam. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> just, bam, just, bam for me. You ignoring the playmaking, the I, versatility I think he's on got defense. It. He does more. He does way more. But the shooting, fuck, dude. Oh, fuck the shooting. Well, KP's uh, a better offensive player. Who? KP. Oh, the um, Bam. Mm-hmm. Better score. No, he's a better just offensive I player. Think score. He is not a better distributor than... than no, 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 he's no, 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 he's not saying, close. He's saying I'm offensive... Saying score. That's what I'm talking about. But, score but at all. He's, I think he's so much better of a scorer than Bam. Is that he that's so why much better? I think so. I love him. Both, I think so. I, really 20 per the game I think so. I think as a scorer, it's it's pretty comfortable. I'd go KP. I guess. I mean, You know what I mean? I, I, as a facilitator, it's not Porzingis as close. is an elite mid-range shooter. He's a great three-point shooter. He is. Bam is he a was good number one post player. Bam is a good mid-range shooter. No, he is. He's, but he's he, not KP. This no, past season, especially on the LB. This past season, Bam fell off as a mid-range shooter. The year before, he was amazing. He had to do a lot And as finishers, I agree. That's a good point. Porzingis is a better finisher. That's true. That's true. That's true. Different responsibilities. So you're going Bam easy. Oh, no, it's not like a... Bam no, is like a top 25 player in the league to me. So. I don't... Honestly, that's a yeah. fine... You can make that argument. Um, next name up, Lori Marketing. Chris Haas Porzingis. I'll take KP. This is actually disrespectful to Chris Haas Porzingis. Sure. Okay. Ooh. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. I feel like that's crazy. That's not disrespectful. I feel like Lori's the better offensive player here. He averaged 25 on a rebuilding team. Next. He doesn't even dribble. Stop, he doesn't dribble the basketball. I don't, that's the argument. I, don't get, I don't get what you're doing here with this conversation. He does not, and that's why you Are slept you not, on Denny, and now you're sleeping guy. on Lori now. Lori's easily a pluggable guy. He's easily a 20 Lori's not better than KP. 
He doesn't dribble. Lori doesn't dribble. No, the as he doesn't really dribble the basketball and still 86% scores. Of he's his shots one of were the assisted. Be, he's one of the best catch and shoot players no, he in the dribble. league. He, he can. He's, he's not a bad defender he's either. No, when no. He, he's not a bad. defender. That's not a knock on Lori. He's a good though. help side defender. But he he's an off ball player. Eighty six percent. Not of a bad rebound either. Were unassisted. No, were were assisted. Eighty six percent of Lori's baskets Lori were assisted. I'm going Lori Markinen. Next name up. Can't Can't wait. Oh. OG. He tried to sit. He tried to slide. I, know. <laughs> I dig Laurie Marketing. Laurie's too, awesome. Oh my! Goodness. I don't blame you either. Which way? Laurie Marketing, man. He's great in transition. As Imagine a stop he and pop a, guy. Well, he's, he's a got, damn good finisher too. Yes. He, no, he, he's off. He's a, a damn good nah, offensive he's, player. He's really he's good. Very and to be good. honest with you, like you just talked about with dribbles, Laurie doesn't do a whole lot of stuff. With, when and when I say when I say he doesn't do a whole lot of stuff, Joe, I mean it's one dribble to the bucket, two dribble pull up. So that doesn't dribble thing that doesn't bother me at all. Not at all. That I actually I'm using that all. to benefit him. Yes, that doesn't bother me at all. I think it's Laurie marketing. Yeah, I do. Mm, I like that. Yeah. What are you going with? Huh? You have to answer. Stop. He said he was going to answer. I understand that, but this is not what we do. This answer one I'd probably go if they're both healthy. Porzingis by a little bit. Okay, I'll probably go Porzingis by a little bit. Uh, next name up, Cat. I go KP. Porzingis. He's just giving me elite rim protection. Yeah. His three point shooting. Maybe it's not at Cat, who's like forty plus percent, but it's like thirty seven. I go KP, but this is also close. Not killing me with Cat. <laughs> Your glass cleaner too. Oh my goodness. He's yeah. a New Jersey Double legend. He, he is a New, New Jersey, Jersey legend. legend. I ain't even on the Jersey part. I'm 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 I'm, I'm not even on that. I'm <laughs> just thinking. I'm, I'm just thinking about Cat as a scorer because that's what this is predicated on when it comes to KP. Essentially, KP is a bucket getter. But he's a but really Kat, good rim protector rim too. Protector, yeah. Right. The defense is just so and Cat. There are times when Cat looks clueless on defense. I don't yes. disagree. Yeah. He has some. He has some of the worst fouls in the NBA. This is. There's times when Cat looks clueless on. You know what? It's KP. Yeah, it is. Yes, it's KP. Oh, also be going KP. Yes. Uh, next name up. Thank you. Miles, for... Miles Turner. KP. 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 Yeah. KP. Yeah. Next name up. Nick Claxton. KP. 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 Next KP. name up. Jared Allen. That's KP. It. KP. I would also be going Kristaps. It depends on who we who we. I'm asking you. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I do think it's you hesitate every time. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, I, 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 listen, I love Jared. I you know love Jared Allen, especially in Cleveland for what they're doing. Like if you take him off that crew and put KP on that crew, I mean KP stretches the defense and he makes them a better offensive team. Yeah, they're better. But defensively, better. Jared Allen is better than him. He's a better glass cleaner. He's a better rim protector. Who would Cleveland rather have right now? If you swapped KP and Jared KP. Allen, well, they have Mobley. So that that's Mobley really why I say KP. that. Yeah, that's Mobley really makes a lot better. More. He makes, you space the floor out a yeah, lot more. I'll with take that. KP. Yeah, I'll, I'll take KP over over. Nice name up, Chet. KP. 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 I would also be going. He's the more advanced version of Chet Holmgren. Yeah. Yes, Chet. Next name up, Mobley. I'm going with KP. KP. I'm going with KP too, Until so. I see Mobley. Take another step in oh, his yeah, offense. Mobley can do it, but he he's still young and still needs to develop offensively. All he needs is one jump offensively. He's better than KP. If he starts taking four threes a game, right? Like I maybe, need three. I don't need four. Okay, one three, jump. four. He doesn't even have to take huh? those. One jump. Drew. If he, he, could, just, if if he could just make two What's consistently. One jump? That's what I mean. If he can make, yes. if he no, can I don't make think, I was that mid-range more be, uh, consistent. Yeah. Have more touch in the paint. With the defense, the I don't think it's close, to be honest with you. Oh, no, no. It's nowhere near close. I think Mobley shot well from three. But not he don't take a lot. Same, I know, not yeah. on the same volume. But what were these shots? Do we know? Thirty-seven. Towards the end of three. the year, he started taking two to three to sometimes four. Oh, yeah, I think it was there two a new attempts. coach also a in Cleveland, yeah. Oh, yeah. right? Kenny Atkinson. Uh, Kenny Atkinson. Yeah. And Kenny Atkinson before he got to guy. the Nets, Brooke Lopez was taking zero threes yeah, yep, a game, yep. and he jumped up. Now to he's, he's going to take more this year for sure. They need him. Next two names are going to get dicey for Drew for sure. Oh God. Next name Rudy Gobert. Christos Porzingis. Take KP. Woof. I think we're all gonna have a little conversation. here. I'm going where to go, Bear. Oh, God, man. I just think I think well, offensively. We, I knew this one. Like offensively, it's a clearing. Of course, Gobert is the better defender. Um, oh, so you think Rudy Gobert's a role player? Oh, they all role players. Every last one of them. He said players. they're all. He said they're all. He's he just cooking. called Kristaps Porzingis a role player. He's yeah, cooking. Role players. Every He's last, cooking. That's one of them. These guys are role players. Bam isn't a role player. One hundred percent. Bam is a role player. Bam is not. His role. Oh, in, that's his, the his role in that, the Miami this, Heat. This, Bam's role in the Miami Heat, he is the facilitator. Oh, gee, they, tough. Run, they run that they run that offense through Bam Adebayo, where he is the facilitator. They run a lot of action off him, a lot of dribble handoffs, a lot of pick and pop with they, him. One hundred percent going out. No, but it, a lot of what you're saying to me sounds right now that he's not a role player. They're running all this through Bam Adebayo, right. correct? This doesn't sound like a role player. That's his role, though. 
mm, that's the all right, point. But then you could say LeBron James has a role, 100%. right? One hundred percent. Jordan was a role player. Dennis Rodman. All right, was now a he's really okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, all right, right. he just cooked up. One hundred percent. All right, you made it very broad. But brother Rudy, to answer your question, Joe, to answer your question. Rudy Gobert is an elite. 100% he's a role player. But he's an elite yes. role player. Yes, he he's is. He's a star in his role. Yes, he he's is. He's an all-star player. Defensive yes. star. Yes, he yes. is. Okay, yes. here we go. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Now, Rudy or <laughs> KP? Player for player, I think KP is better. But for what I need, I'm going to take Rudy Gobert. KP is a more skilled offensive player, yeah, but of course, of course, of course. Rudy Gobert can anchor a defense. I don't think you can undermine that. I just, Drew, you roasted him. For getting cooked by the best player on the planet, Drew. Who? Who are we talking about? Rudy Joker. Gobert. Yeah, you roasted no, him for I getting. Do. Listen, on, Rudy man. Gobert is one of the best defenders this game's ever seen. Like OG, he does talk, he no, 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 no. I'm being straight in his voice. Yeah. You don't want to know what he asked OG. Right, he no, said, can I, let me finish my statement. The the truth of the matter <laughs> is, what you said. on offense. He's a zero. Hey, he said he'd he rather Alex down. Caruso than Rudy Gobert. He's a two. Alex Caruso is a better three. ball player than Rudy Gobert. I I Comparing believe a that to a big, really in my fair. heart and my it's soul. Tough, we tough. agreed on three offensive player. We agreed on he's a three because he did offensive rebound. I want to see the rebounding is the only he's thing that's saving him. Better than Rudy Gobert. He cannot catch. He's not a good finishing. How disrespectful is that? How disrespectful is that to say? is one of the Dallas, best perimeter defenders on hard. the planet. Was that, like, that, was that defense shoot. still elite in the playoffs without Porzingis? Uh... It yes. was still, yeah, yeah, so does that really not good. take a hit for Porzingis' defense that they actually don't really no, need him to be sure. that effective? They yeah. won the NBA championship. He only played yes, four games. Agreed. No, so, uh, like Rudy's impact when he's not out there. No, I'm like, so, what are we doing? Oh, what's what's happening right now? Joe, what's about going Rudy? on? What is happening right no, now? Oh no, we're he not comparing four games to the playoffs. They won the NBA championship. Impact wise between Rudy and offensively, Rudy is useless. Stop. No, that's not. No, that's not true. That's not true. He does not rebound the pass. This is what we're doing. Is Steven Adams useless on offense? Wait, that's a terrible comparison. Yes. Yes. I'm asking. Screener. Yes. So screening doesn't matter. He helped John Moran a lot. He did. With the screening. He helped John Moran a lot. Steven Adams is a big reason Memphis took a leap on offense. One to ten, I guess. Screening gets you to a three. Screening and rebounding gets you to a three. Screen offense and rebound. But but the screen is not matter. That's extremely important, is it not for a big screen? Screen is not matter. A guy who's not going to be in the league actually gave Rudy Go bear 40 points. A guy who's not even going to play basketball anymore Ooh. gave him 40 points. Ben Simmons. Him 40. How long ago was that? Are you talking about when he was an all NBA player? If I was about to say, you, are we talking about the same Ben That was Simmons? the last season that Ben Simmons, <laughs> ben, ben Simmons. He was, he was on an all NBA yeah, team. So you Drew. thought Ben Simmons would be Giannis. Drew. I, nah, nah, I didn't. Scotty, stop. Yeah, you, you stop. Were, <laughs> no, 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 no. And also, and he's Drew, trying to, he's, is he's, rebounding he's, and screening not extremely important for a big man? Just a big man. It's valuable. It's extremely important. It's valuable. How it's does Bam get all his shooters for a big man. Screening, DHLs. Yes, it's valuable. Like, what are we doing? Finishing, and Rudy Gobert has been amongst one of the best finishers in the league. Yeah, yeah he's there. He has low he's lights. He's got to catch it. But he, he <laughs> low finishes. Lights. That's for fucking sure. But he finishes, I think, over 60% of his, of his shots. I hope so. He's got three of the highest field goal percentage seasons in NBA history. What's he, what's Drew, what are you doing? 14 points, 15 points. Oh, probably. Come on. Come on. You can point on. watch it no, now. No, no, what do you mean point watching? No, no, He's no, it's super just, efficient. It's dumps and layups. That's the only that's reason. Really with the 14, 15, oh, that's all. That's all you got to do. But OG, it's dumps and layups. Okay, and that's uh, fine, Drew, because what I'm not asking you to do, I'm not asking you to throw the ball. Can he catch the ball OG? So you're he does. How? Bad guy. Yeah, we got him, bro. You're a bad guy. No, no, no. Can he catch the ball? Clearly he can, because if he couldn't catch the ball, then he would be completely ineffective. He wouldn't be on the floor That was basically nah. the Nugget series. No, that wasn't the Nugget series at all. So, that game seven was painful to watch by him. He got blessed by one of the luckiest shots I've ever seen a big take in my life off a of fader against Jokic. When that went in, I knew that the game was, was over. over. I, I, I knew that that was over. He was but bad in that game. What, 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 what no, that, wasn't. What that, with that being said, Joe, with that, with that being said, Joe, we got a guy who, that's all I asked for as a big, to finish around the basket more times than not. That's all I'm asking you to do. You said I, I don't have to throw the, He's not Ewing. He's not Elijah Wan. I'm not throwing the ball into I'm not him. I'm asking and to go one of the goats I'm not asking him, but I can tell you what I am asking when Mike Conley gets into the teeth of the defense, when Anthony Edwards gets into the, de to the teeth of the defense, and you're around the basket, and I drop the ball in, in your lap. 
four out of five times, you're going to catch the ball and you're going to dunk the basket. You're seven three. Or you're going to lay it. You guys, you guys, guys undermining KP's defense. So let's undermine Go Bears. What was their best defensive performance in the Nuggets series? You're talking about one game. Well, As I'm asking you a, a question. Whole playoff run. I'm asking Brother, you a question. You're talking about one game. I'm asking As you a question. As opposed to a whole playoff run. You what was their best there. defensive performance? No, that, that game for sure. They were amazing. I don't think that was their best because they had great one. Great it was arguably their Game six was an amazing performance. It was arguably their best for sure. You know, that second half against Denver, game seven was Seven. Amazing, yeah. but the Boston Celtics went a damn near whole run without Porzingis and played excellently defense. You think they sweep Phoenix without Rudy? No, Rudy was amazing in that Phoenix series. And also, again, with the Mavericks, when the Mavericks traded Rudy, I mean, when the Mavericks traded Chris Porzingis, they made the Western Conference Finals that year. Say one more time. I apologize. When the Mavericks traded KP, mm -hmm. they made the Conference he got Finals that very year against the Clippers the second time. Now, he he couldn't really score low. against. I'm going to be honest. Back. We can't use that. He was as a also negative. a different player then. Why was he? Because yeah, we saw he him leave. Post player he is although now. it was quote unquote That's a huge empty part because of his the game. team he played for was bad. He was great with the Wizards. Immediately goes to the to the Celtics and he plays the impactful basketball. Who wouldn't be great with the Celtics? Rudy Gobert would be great with the Celtics too. They still he win the be. championship with him. Yeah, he should easily. Yeah, but the I fact that their bigs are all protecting the rim. Because I just this is just a question. Just back onto screen assist. That'd be nuts if if I'm playing against Riv. We're playing five on five, and OG screens me. And takes me out to play, and Riv has an open jump shot. I'm thanking him. That's what Rudy Gobert does that for an matters. offense. That matters. Yeah, that matters. I'm going to call a screen every time now. Hey, JJ Redick said we need screen assist in the box score. We do. We need it. We do. What's the last name? JJ Riff? Redick saying that shit honestly. That's your coach. It blew yours. It blew yours. It really did. That was honestly. I that should have evaluated that in my coaching process. Last name. Your favorite player, Demontis Sabonis. KP. Ooh, that was fast. Uh, that was Took KP over everybody. <laughs> you did. You're an idiot. <laughs> I should have put AD in here. You would have took I think, if, I think if Sabonis was it's a Sabonis. more consistent shooter, I think that's a. I think that's valid. The weird um, thing is that I think Sabonis is a better second option, but I think KP is like a better third, fourth option, if that makes sense. No, that does, it doesn't. I, I know what you're saying. Put, if, if you put Sabonis in the third option, is he better than, than KP? In Boston? No matter where it is. If he's the third guy and KP is the third guy, who's the better I think, option? I think, I, I, he's I think saying Sabonis, Sabonis plays a particular way. I think way. for Boston, it would be KP still. I agree. Because Sabonis, very much like Bam, the facilitator, the distributor, the playmaker, the glass cleaner. He's just not the defender. KP. That's the drastic difference between the these these not bigs the shooter, and right. Sabonis. The defense, Sabonis legitimately, it, you could call him a bad defender, and there's not too much argument right. against. He's yeah. an amazing rebounder. He's a DHO merchant. Dribble handoffs all day. Get DHO it. Merchant. I mean, that's where he gets yeah. to, to league leading He's, he's a particular big. You have to run a particular scheme with him. You can't just place him in a exactly. third spot yeah. or a like second Boston spot. Boston wouldn't need Sabonis because you don't, you don't just, need him to run those yeah. DHOs. It, and, and have all but he's a good finisher, too. It definitely would add another layer to your offense. It would look different. For sure. But I think defensively, they take a massive drop. Like I think it would benefit Tatum scoring the basketball-wise, but I feel like Tatum's so much better on ball because he's such a great playmaker. I think yeah. he speeds them up too. His ability to rebound now that takes a lot of. You're saying Sabonis or, or he, will, he definitely will. Both, Sabonis, truthfully, yeah, but yeah. I think in a vacuum, I think Sabonis is a better player. In a vacuum, KP, I don't know. I'm taking, I'm taking Sabonis. It's Sabonis. You know, I do, I do like Sabonis game a lot. <laughs> Well, that's also because people. they were a playing he, team. What did he get? One no, 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 calm down. He led the league in triple doubles. They were a playing were, team. Yeah, they were. And Perfect. double doubles. And double doubles, correct. I don't care about a play. Why was Riff, stop acting like they had the best rotation player in the game. Who? And, he, and, and he lost them for, uh, I think, almost a month. Who? Malik, Malik Monk. Oh. Don't act like that, that wasn't a big they deal. They were playing team before that. OG? No, but they were flirting with 5-6 yes. all, okay, all, yes. okay, all well, the, season. The whole five, West, 5-8 was nine, flirting yeah. all year. Yeah. That's so why, then you can't say that. So that means that it's not. I just don't care about the 10th MVP voter. I don't care. No, I don't care about the 10th MVP voter. Player of the year vote too. He did get. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? Yeah, yeah, voting for MVP, oh, yeah, yeah, all yeah, NBA, yeah, all yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't care about the voting. Him getting much. a DPOY vote that lost me. So I think that Sabonis, lost me. Sabonis was one of the twenty best players in the league last year. Though he was. I think that's fair. Tenth is nuts. I think twenty is fair. Is Porzingis one of the ten best players, twenty best players in the league last year? You can make no. argument he's not. Nah, I think he's more so in like, like 35. 30. 30. He also I, just didn't have I to be that. We're talking about players. Sabonis. No, we're talking about KP who had a better year, a cat or a Porzingis. That's a, that's a conversation. Uh, it is a conversation. I'll probably go cat slightly. I, Regular probably, season, I'll probably go probably, cat. Probably, yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. I could dig it. Might be 35. I'm with you, Drew. Damn. Yeah. There were conversations all season long sliding Jalen Brown 
because people firmly believed KP was the second best player on that team. I just think Cat Sabonis, was Sabonis, Sabonis and Cassidy. So was KP. When they, they they had down, more responsibility than KP. For a little bit they did for sure. However, KP so was, was hurt. unbelievably efficient. What'd you say? Ant was hurt. Oh. In the addition to Nas, really Ant takes really a lot of bumps. <sighs> a lot of two guards do. I'll tell you Ant what, takes a lot that's of true. Nas Reed won six man of the year solely off Carl Anthony Towns getting injured. You yeah, remember you remember the game where uh, Anthony Edwards fell on his shoulder against the Pacers, came back, and had the game winning block? I yeah, 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 yeah. When he jumped basically yeah, above the rim. That, that was backboard. one of the craziest plays of yes. all like of the whole season. Yes. He rolled his ankle in that game too. He yes, did, he did. He did. Yeah. Rolled his ankle, yeah. hit his shoulder. Mm -hmm. You not respect him? Come on, Andrews? respect him. I didn't say anything. I just don't care. It's just a, oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Rick, how do you feel about Anthony Edwards? Because I, uh, I need to get to the bottom I of I think this. he is a top 13 player in the league. Top okay. 13, 14. Um, I don't think he's top five like uh, my brother. You think I don't think he's five? a top five player. I never said he's a top five player. Uh, shit, the way is you act. Anthony God. Edwards. No, he was on the way to be the best player in the world it, at one let's, point. Let's but. push the envelope. So he's not top five. Top six? He's a top 10 player in the Okay, world. can we have gotten there? Is he closer there? to 10 or closer there? to 5? Is he better than Jalen Brunson? Is he closer to 10? I don't he's even better care who he's better than. Is he closer to 10 or is he closer to 5? In your he's not a real nigga. I, you know what I mean? like, he's better than Jalen Brunson? Like, you I don't think even so. think about it? No, I think he's he better thinks than he's top Brunson. 10. I think he's top 15. That's the disc. Who's a better player. offensive player? I think Jalen Brunson, slightly. Defensively, I'll give it to Ant. He has more size to him. However, offensively... Jalen Brunson, Brunson for thick. what he has to he carry. Man, he, Anthony Edwards has to carry an I mean, offense, but too. He still has at least Carl Anthony Towns there, who and was nice. crucial to them winning yeah, games. And the Every Knicks once in a while, Jane McDaniels, a couple threes. The Knicks at least have good spacing around Brunson. Anthony Edwards doesn't have much spacing. Mm, okay. That's why they were able to really hone it in and box on the lineup. against Dallas. It depends on the lineup. If it's a Mike Conley, Anthony Edwards, Jaden McDaniels, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, that's not the worst spacing lineup. Jaden McDaniels ever seen. gets left open. He does, but he also shot a very not respectable three point not, percentage. Not much I know, but he shot thirty five percent for the entire year this past year. It's a conversation. And against Dallas, they were leaving him wide open. It's crazy. Wide open. If you just have wide KP open. instead of Gobert, like I said, then the spacing issue is not as important. So, okay, so yeah. I think he, my I'm top ten players. Jokic, Giannis, Luka, top three. SGA, Tatum, Embiid. That's like seven right there. Anthony Davis, LeBron, Anthony Edwards. And then probably there. Steph. Then, oh, Steph Curry too. Sorry, I forgot about him. Even though. Go ahead and be dumb. Even though. Why don't they want to talk about his second half performance being bad? Well, this upcoming season, I think Anthony Edwards will be better than Steph Curry. I don't think you could it's take possible. just second half of Steph and be like, he fell off. I, I, think you have I to agree. See next season. I He's still think he is situation. a top 10 player. However, um, but I will respect He's Steph. Not, so. I looked up the numbers on that actual second half. It was literally just a month. That no way. It was literally just a month. If you broke it up, it was just a month. I mean, he dropped to twenty four points per game, but the worst efficiency that we've mm. seen from Steph. So OG, how much was that? Because I said, said Luca, Jokic, Giannis, SGA, SGA Tatum, Tatum, Embiid. LeBron, Anthony mm -hmm. Davis, and this not in order. Mm -hmm. Steph and I have Anthony Edwards ten. I think Anthony Edwards is a top ten player. Where's like, John Morant? That's a little question. Eleven, I'd probably have Donovan Mitchell or Jalen Brunson. That's the next two. Devin Booker, KD. Devin Booker. Oh, I forgot about yeah, Kevin Durant, too. Kev, Devin Booker, KD. John KD Moran is Andy close Edwards. to top 15. I want to know what SGA did to pass Jason Tatum in a year. Mm, damn. That's what I want to know. No, he didn't just pass him, OG. He, he clears him. him. Actually, he clears him. According to Joel, he passed him five months that's, that's ago. This was, uh, this was in what, Joel? You said this in you know, you know why, OG? He's a more efficient mid-range shooter. That's why. I think SGA is more, more of a skill player. <laughs> Tatum's a better playmaker. He's a better defender. He's a better rebounder. He's a better three-point shooter. Um, damn. At, the shooting, the playoffs, at the rim of the playoffs, uh, Tatum is pretty damn know. good. The argument that I always use with this, which I still have not gotten a satisfactory answer, Riv, SGA, Jason Tatum, 21 22 season. Is that a conversation? No. 21 22? We're going into the 21 22 no, season. Not SGA. even close. It was not a conversation. So the 22 23 season, which was average 30 and 8 the next year. Coming SGA off a of finals appearance. Okay, well, it wasn't SGA a was first teamer that year. It wasn't I, a conversation. So was JT. I, 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 I so was JT. I, so I this was 30, SGA's breakout. This I averaged 30 and 8. SGA was creeping. Year. Okay. He was creeping. So he's creeping. And then this year, he's walked himself in the top 10. I lead my team to the NBA championship, which you, Joe, are not impressed with, but I do lead my team to the NBA championship. Statistically, Statistically, I didn't do that well in terms of clutch, standard. Mm -hmm. but we still won the NBA championship largely due to what I did. So from 21-22, we go from not having a conversation to, in Riv's estimation, 
creeping to now he jumped him. Where is the disconnect here? I'm trying to make sense. If of we that. had a pie he, for Tatum's contributions to the Celtics, he'd get like 25 percent of the pie. That's a that's a lot. It's like five players. That's low. Bro. Does he get more than Joe Missoula? Oh, now you're a Missoula guy. Now oh. you're a Missoula We're guy. We're adding coaches. I didn't know we had coaches I'm to the pie. I'm just saying. I didn't know we had coaches oh to the pie. God. Okay. I'm just saying. And we're doing that. I mean, 25%. How much you get Missoula? Like 30? This is where I get No, I'm asking off. you guys. Is this and what I gets get, your blood pressure? No, this is when I get turned into. This is what into, gets Drew I get blood forced to off. defend the Does Boston Tatum Celtics. What's Jalen Brown's, what's the Jalen Brown's pie? That's just high. 15%, 20%. Is it more than Tatum's? Well, according to you, it is, right? I mean, you could be better. I don't know if Tatum's at 25, I'll give Brown 20. Okay, you don't think you, maybe I'll just be fair. I'll say they're even. I think 25, um, 25, they're I would even. probably give Tatum a, a bit more. Joel, of the I pie. need you to talk because I, I, I think can't, Tatum gets more of the pie because he has more responsibility. I think JB as a one on one defender was one of the best one on one defenders. I think it's just I'm the only unbiased Boston Luka. guy here. So okay, fine. Like, uh, you know. I'll give Tatum 25%. The Missoula love, though, I'm, I'm here for it. I I'll appreciate give, you coming to this side. I just wasn't ready I'll for give, it. No, 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 I'll no, give no, Jalen Brown 24.9%. So we'll still have Tatum above. He was there. So JB's getting 20. Drew Holiday, I think, gets like 15%. Oh, we don't have a big pie here. So 10%. let's uh, let's figure out where the percentages go. It's, yeah, what, what, what do we have right now? I don't know. It's, it's out of 100. It's out of 25 right. for Tatum, 20 for JB, that's so half, we're 45. Oh that's 45. 45. That's half, Missoula got to get another 25. Holiday gets 15%. Okay, that's so 60. we're at 60. And then Derek White gets 10%. 10 that's 70. 70%. percent i hit gets 5. Joe Joe Missoula, Derek White gets what? Huh? Derek White gets what? 10%. That's it? J nah, Derek and Drew have to get the same amount. What? Brother, yeah. we're running out of pie. <laughs> I think Drew gets a little bit more. It was way more valuable than you give him credit for, Joe. I know more than Derek. Way way more 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 well, in the playoffs, yeah, I'm with you. But yeah. in the regular season. I thought we were talking, about, talking about playoffs. I'm talking about just the playoffs. Oh, playoffs in general. What's on the finals, yeah. Just oh, okay. The run then in honestly, switch percentages. JB and, and Tatum. That's Switching. what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no. Honestly, Wait, so you think JB gets 25% and Tatum gets 20? 24.9. Sure, I'm with that. 24.9. Listen, I think Missoula gets like... She, should it get 20%? I think it's fair. Missoula was, was excellent. Yeah. Missoula was one of the best coaches in the playoffs this we go year. From 20, we, go, we go from piece of the pie in the championship Oh, team I thought you were about to, to talk his shit. We go from 25% to I still have not gotten a satisfactory answer, Joe, on when he jumped him. I have SGA like eight or nine. When, when did he jump him, what? Joe? That's all I'm asking. In the league, yeah, like eight or nine. When did he jump him? And, and what, what did he do six. to OG jump him? This is what I'm asking, Joe. Um, OG. When, when did he jump him and I'm what did he do to jump him? OG, this past year, Damn, let me what think. he did to jump him was I saw both of them play for the entire this series, and I came away thinking SJ is a better player. Oh, he might be. He might be. He is. He Watching him be. the entire year, I came away saying SJ is a better player. Watching him in the playoffs, what SJ did to Dallas, averaging 31, 8-8, eight and eight, mm -hmm. he looked better against that Dallas defense Question. than, than is Jason AD, is, Oh, sorry. Is SGA comfortably better than Anthony Davis? Oh, which you didn't. I don't even think you said AD. I did say Anthony Davis. Yeah, I did. did say him? Okay. Um, That's why I don't know if he's top. I feel like after three, it's not a lock. AD this past season Honestly, was after four, I think amazing. Embiid is four. He was four. In the top 10 in the league in minutes. He was incredible. Which is what, what we Healthy, always talk about yeah. with him. Embiid is four. AD was incredible. I don't think it's a lock. I don't think it's not a lock. lock. I think he's a lock top 10. Yes. I don't think he's a lock top six. So what's, where's AD at now? He hovers six to 10. AD or Embiid? Embiid. Um, if he's healthy, Embiid, yes. Well, let me ask you this. Talk to me. If you think Emmy's better than SGA? Yes. If he's healthy, yes. You think Anthony Davis is better than SGA? I think that's more of a conversation. You think Tatum's better than SGA? Hmm. Is LeBron still better than SGA? Ooh, a LeBron ski. I think yes. I think LeBron's still Is LeBron top. better than AD? Yes. Okay, so then LeBron is still better than SGA? still in this conversation still in terms of top six, top seven. LeBron is better than AD. If LeBron is better than AD and AD is better than than SGA, then that has to mean that well, James well, is better than SGA. Let me ask you a question. I think, I think is, LeBron, is, is LeBron better than Tatum? Yes. Is Tatum better than AD? Conversation. Damn. This it is. I mean, you probably have LeBron in the top five now. I think I still have. I, I was just I still, about to say that. I still have LeBron in my top six. I still is LeBron top better six. than KD? Yes. Is LeBron better than Luka? No. no, 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 no. Luka's top three locked. Okay. The three are locked. I'm, I'm, well, I, is I LeBron think, better than Embiid? No. What we're saying here is that. So LeBron's five. Five or six. After the top three, it's all top about four. preference. After the top four, for me, it's it's figure it out. Mm -hmm. Like at any given moment, with Embiid's a proper, just locked in with those top three. If he's I think healthy, Embiid is the fourth guy fair. up. I think it's the. Yeah, it's the I, I think I it's it. best in the world is the Joker. Then you got the two Giannis and Luca in that conversation creeping. Then that fourth Respect guy up Giannis. is Embiid. 
Respect Giannis. What? So he's in the conversation? Just don't pick him out. You say best of the world, Jokic, log. Like, let's, let's respect Giannis. So, come oh, on. Okay. <laughs> That's all I ask. All right. But I think Embiid is fourth. I think if he's healthy, he's probably the next dude. What's happening, OG? I'm, 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 I'm kind of I'm kind of losing my mind right now because I'm because I'm thinking about Riv, who sold me, tried to sell me. Let me rephrase that, Joe. He tried to sell me on the Los Angeles Clippers, who Kawhi Leonard actually had an all pro oh, year nobody this asked year. You. Nobody right? asked me about Kawhi. He had almost an all pro year this nobody year. Nobody asked With you about that Kawhi. being said, meanwhile, Joel Embiid, who can't stay healthy for five minutes. Goes out of the playoffs in the first round again, but Kawhi Leonard isn't in this conversation. You didn't say no, anybody said Kawhi. Did. I'm saying it right now. All right, he's mm. still top ten if he's healthy. We're running out of ten spots. Hundred percent. That's, That's exactly what it's If he like. is healthy, no. The difference he's right. is I don't have Ant Man in my top ten. That's the difference. You know. You know what I think it is. You gotta, you gotta stop doing this, if, Drew. But then where's Embiid? Gotta keep that. Gotta no, keep that. that mad, the, the, OG, your availability oh, no. matters, OG, man. When, when you seen Kawhi play this year, was he top ten in your eyes? I thought I got tricked. No. Oh, gee. But, did you, but you saw him. Oh, oh, just what, answer what, 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 what I mean okay. when I say I thought he got, I got tricked, I was looking at Kawhi Leonard in year six. That's what I thought okay, I was looking at. Was, I'm like, wait a minute. Amazing. What is going on incredible. right now? Yeah. Yeah. What, what is going on with yeah, this dude? Yeah, sure. And then the, oh, there we go. He reintroduced himself but to he me. But he got so hurt right at right the very so end. If, if, if we're doing that, if, if we're doing that simply off strictly basketball players. Mm. Yes. Okay, sure. There's, there's plenty of guys who are quote unquote better basketball players. For sure. But with that being said, what happens when the money is on the line? If you ain't here, I don't care how, be how better of a basketball player you are than me. You're not here. Joel Embiid has never showed up when the money's on the line. Mm. Damn. He had 50 in Whoa. the playoffs. Against the Knicks, he was there. Mm. He just, they lost in the first round. Well, how he far, showed how up. How far would you drop Joel Embiid? I think Joel Embiid might be the toughest guy to rank because off of just pure skill and what he's done in the regular season, you could put him as high as... You could put him in the top three. I think he just did the eye with an, one eye. Because he's an MVP. No, and legitimately. This past year, he was having an even better season. He would have been an MVP if he stayed healthy all year. Yeah, he but then when you talk about resume, sure. you talk about availability, you but bring you all that into account. As you, talk about play, you talk about playoff performances because in the playoffs, Joel Embiid always comes up short. I know he Didn't played SGA well. did struggle with injury early on in his career no, too? No, you can't, you can't say all that. But then you no, have but I'm saying that to still five. exactly that's, the thing. that's, that's what thing. I'm saying. Joel Embiid just helped him out. He just had a good playoffs, <laughs> right? But Unbelievable. he had a good playoffs against a team, or I should say, he had a good playoffs when there wasn't a lot of expectations. The Sixers were a lower seed. That's not there wasn't true. expectations There's on him. Always if, if, if Embiid, if Embiid, that's perform, not, uh, if Embiid no, performed right. po poorly, people would have said, "Oh, he was hurt." It doesn't really I'm matter. With him. That's he's that's right. a fact. He's right. But when, but when, when Joel Embiid has had expectations, when they had a chance to close out Boston, Tatum outshined him. Did he play better than what you were anticipating by far yes. against the Knicks? Like, yes, he played way he better than one even eye, Embiid's standards. He's getting injected before every single forget game. About, even, he's killing them. Forget about what. Forget about what we know now with his injury and how we he's playing with We knew that before Palsy. games. Uh, but even take that away. Just his performance alone. This was the best series he's ever played to me. Ever. 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 So ever. He was better than sports. Joel Embiid's standards. He was. Okay. Better, because than, better than 22 against Toronto? Yes. Yes. Given the circumstances, yes. Mm. But the truth of the matter is he played way better than we ever anticipated, but we all understood you're playing a week and a half after coming back from injury. There's just not We're many guys up against the top two that you're seed. putting ahead of him that are better than him. Like I don't no, think SJ right. is better than him. I don't think AD is better. You got to be healthy. I, I don't, I don't, it's the Kawhi. The Kawhi argument's the same for Embiid. It's, like it's, we could talk about he's a better player than SJ. He's a better player than Tatum. But if I'm going the into the season, I need my guy it's there. It's not the same because Embiid's better I than Kawhi. I can't put you over. Like if I'm making a list, oh, who's a better basketball player? I cannot say. I'm putting this guy over this guy because he's more available. That's a different type of conversation. Well, let me ask you something then, because I think this is a better question. If you're ranking players, ultimately, you're talking about the best players and the players that you want in the biggest moments. I think when you're making a player ranking, because okay, ultimately, that's, that's what matters. Joel Embiid's coming off fourth on that list. He He's the fourth player that you want more if than you anybody ask me else. That, I would still have LeBron in ahead of him. I think in you the biggest moment, Embiid I would still have... over SGA in a big moment. He doesn't I know have SGA, many big I, moments. I know to SGA doesn't that. have many fair, big moments. SGA but... against Dallas was amazing, and Great. Joel Embiid against New York was amazing. amazing. But that's one series out of like twelve. But I'm 12. asking, but SGA asking. doesn't have much to really. We can't. Well, we this can't. is your chance to project. But I'm saying no. I, I, we can. I, I don't. Mm -mm. We not. What we not about to do that's is project fine. two or three years down the line. We're talking about right now. We're talking about right now based off what they just done. And B was amazing against New York. SGA was amazing against Dallas. Let me ask you: Do you trust Joel Embiid in a big moment? 
This matters, Joe. Healthy, yes. If this he's matters, healthy, I, I trust him. If he's healthy, I trust him. No, because See, that's the problem. No, the fact that we have to have that conversation, Drew. You just flat out. The fact that we have to have that conversation. I would say. I'm not. I'm not even talking about injury per se. Do you trust him to perform? See, that's if you're telling me that. Yes. Yes, I don't trust Embiid to I don't perform. Know. He's had a lot I, of I moments know. in the playoffs where he comes mm. up short. At this point, not, but I he's what always you're hurt. I what you're he's literally I always but hurt. That has to, I can see why you say no. I know SJ doesn't asked. have many moments, but I can, based off what he's done right now, give him the benefit of the doubt that okay, I think that's he can. That's fair. So that's why I would have SGA over Embiid. I think you know, pound for pound, if they're fully healthy, then Embiid is a better player than him. He's a more dominant player than him. But I think SGA, your list is different. It's who would you rather have as opposed to who's better? No, but I think. Who, who you can trust in a playoff setting and who per, and to perform in a big time moment matters. But that's more. unfair to Embiid because you're putting a whole ten year catalog against a guy who was, if we're being honest, C plus against the Pelicans it's my, and an A against Dallas. It's not my fault that in that ten year catalog, Embiid hasn't given. I'm us not much saying that, but I'm saying that, uh, SG has not given you enough in the playoffs to put him C over certain guys. strong. He just had like a bad game one. Other than that, he was pretty. He great. wasn't, bro. He wasn't that good against the Pelicans. I mean, the he Pelicans. Was, you didn't need to he, do anything. That's my other point. Way. So that's why I don't even. Exist. Against, Dallas, against, Dallas, against Dallas, he was great. He, that the Pelicans. He wasn't. Was I don't even know why we have but to right, lie. Isn't it was. more important that you would rather? When I'm doing these lists, I think about who would I rather have more than who is the better player. Because at the end of the day, who would I rather have on my team? Is who we the better can, player? Is. We can argue back and forth. He averages more points. Yeah, He's more I, efficient. I, I, I He's better on defense. That. But at the end of the day, who would I rather have on my team? That matters more than just player yeah. X is better than player Y. That's different because every situation isn't the same. So I don't know, but I get what you're saying. It's not, but also we got to look at Nikola Jokic, right? When he won MVPs and his team wasn't healthy, he beat the Blazers in the first round. For sure, for sure. Without That's a why he's good starting backcourt. He's had moments to where even where he's been at a disadvantage, he has showed up and performed. Oh, yeah. And Beat has had moments that even when he's he had a roster strong. that's similar to strong. whoever he's facing, he does not perform. He has gotten clamped up by Al Horford. He has gotten clamped up by Mark Gasol in the sure. playoffs. Bro, they he's had beat, terrible they beat moments. Boston. They, they should have beat them. They should have beat Atlanta. They, they should have beat, beat Boston. Them. They have no the, business. I am they not an no Embiid fan. I want to start that. See, and I'll I, also I, give Embiid the benefit. Uh, I won't give Embiid, Embiid the benefit of the doubt there. A lot of people point the finger immediately at Ben Simmons. And B deserves blame there too. In the fourth yes. quarter, he was gassed. Yes, he was. He, he was, was throwing a lot of bad turnovers. His playmaking and, and wasn't that. And the logic can be, well, he was beat up, he was hurt, and I'm, I'm that, that's a reoccurring theme that at some point we have to get past that. So who it's, who it's, gets the four though? That's the thing. Who who takes? OG, him, let me hear Tatum five. To, to let me hear OG. five. Really? Yeah, I think Jason Tatum is a top five player, 100. Yeah, he's not yes. wrong. He just who, who would be your top ten? OG. My top ten players in the game are Joker, Giannis. I had Steph Curry earlier in the season, but um, Luca, Jason Tatum, um, who did I have at number five? SGA, Embiid, LeBron, Ron, mm -hmm. KD, still have Anthony mm -hmm. Davis too. Kevin Steph Durant at five. Curry at five. That's why I had. Still. Yeah, I, I, I had Curry at five. Mm. Um, Curry at five. I had KD at six. I had J James at six. I had KD at seven. I had Anthony Davis at eight. I had um, Embiid, SGA. Flip that Got you. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. I had Embiid at six. Embiid at six. I had Embiid okay. at six. I had I had James at seven. I had KD at eight. I'm leaving somebody out. Is SGA a better basketball player than KD right now? I'm gonna say yes, OG. KD doesn't get downhill like he, he used doesn't. to. He does not. He doesn't have that. Yes. He still has that lift on his shot, but it's not what it used to be. He's extremely efficient. He's not getting downhill at the rate but that the good SGA thing about is. KD. Defensively, SGA was amazing this year. So, so far, just to just to recap it, number one, you have Jokic. Number two is Giannis. Number three is Luka. Four is Tatum. Five is Curry. Six is SGA. No, six is MB. Six is Joel MB. This okay, is walking six into is the MB. Year, right? yeah. Walking into the year. Six is Joel MB. Or is this walking to your now? It, this is today. Okay. This is, this today. is, this is today. So, so six no. is MB, six seven is, is SGA. Seven is SGA. Eight is uh, KD. No, no. You, you, you didn't say LeBron. List. You have LeBron. Yes. Eight is James. Eight is LeBron. Nine is KD. Ten is Donovan Mitchell. Nine is KD. We is are fucking So Anthony Davis doesn't make the top ten. Anthony Woo! Davis is not better than Donovan? Yeah. Did I leave Donovan Mitchell? I mean, did I leave Anthony Davis? Yeah, just yeah. flip that. Put he Donovan did, at 11. Did. That's cool with me, too. You know, I, ain't I had Donovan Mitchell We're as a top 10 player. We're asking you to do this player. off the top of your head. I understand. Right. Because I, I had Donovan Mitchell as a top 10 player this season. Um, he, Anthony, Davis is, like top top Anthony Davis is 100%. Anthony Davis is 100% the top 10 player. Correct. So that means... I think it was James who I had outside the top 10, but I think I had James at 11. 
I think I had James right outside the top ten. I had Anthony Davis at seven. He's supposed to be a pioneer with us. I am. Here's the difference. One of the main reasons why the Lakers aren't going to win the NBA championship ever again is because LeBron James does not know how to not be LeBron James. Yeah, he's the man. He does not know how not to be the man. That's the only way. Let me argue against that. We saw him play the most off ball, and then we can. We haven't even gotten to the first topic. No, it's really hilarious. It's fine. It's this is better conversation. I like this no, conversation this is anyway. awesome. This is uh, this is what I expected when when I knew you were coming in. Twenty twenty three, we saw LeBron play off ball more than we ever have before. Right. We went to the WCF. We didn't play all too great against the Nuggets. Truthfully, we did get swept, but on the way there, we saw Reeves have the ball in his hand. We saw D'Lo have the ball in his hands, and our offense was effective. We were the best offense we were all season long. Sure. LeBron was playing off ball in year twenty. You know, Mm -hmm. so I feel like he can not be that normal LeBron James that we've seen. Is he better on ball? For sure. But have we seen him be in an offense that is successful without the ball in his hands? We have. And I feel like that's where you find yourself in trouble because whenever we get to that point where the offense gets in trouble, we get right back to James with the ball in his hands. We get right back to James being the facilitator. Mm -hmm. We get right back to James being the primary scorer. We get right back to him being LeBron James. And I think that you see that more times than not. And I think that that's why I can't really see James not being that because that's all he's been. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I can I can appreciate him playing off the ball. I yeah. can appreciate him being that guy who, you know, he's a catch and shoot guy. I think he shot his highest three point percentage this season yeah. than, yes. he, than he ever Correct. shot. 100%. I can definitely get with that. But when we got into games this season against the Denver Nuggets where, you know, we they go away from Anthony Davis because the defense changed. I'm not buying that the defense changed. Why they didn't go to Anthony Davis more was because James had the ball in his hands. No, OG. They James were playing his... double, triple coverage Great, on Lakers AD. Do you think that Anthony Davis played at the level of Nikola Jokic in the first round? I don't think he played at that level, but I do think that he was uh, damn good. This, but this is... Uh, uh, you think if they gave him the ball, he would have outplayed him? I think if they would have... <laughs> they did. They I think, did I, give I think him if the they ball. I think if they would have... If they, if they would have got him more involved, I think we'd be having a different conversation. Because here's, here's AD's I problem. I feel like what needed to happen. To they did not run enough pick and rolls in those situations. If that's the argument we're going to go with, I agree. Because too many times, what was AD cooking with? Back to the basket. I'm posting up. I'm getting mine however which sure. way. Whether I turn around, I get into my stance, I'm shooting over the top, or I'm trying to drive by you and finish at the rim. But a lot of his success was in that area. They did not run not nearly enough pick and rolls. We didn't see enough lob threats to Anthony Davis. I can get with that. But a lot of where he killed, look, I talk about it, I get goosebumps. He was amazing. Just get the ball in his hand, post up. He was killing. That's when he was the best, in isolation. He really was. Yeah, that was, that, but that that's was when he was where I that's where I kind of have issues with is understanding we did not run enough actions with Anthony Davis with LeBron James as the point guard with the pick and roll. And that's where James comes in that, you know, I've seen times when coach calls a play and no we're not running that going it. to you. Yeah. And I don't have a problem with James doing that, especially if Anthony Davis scores two or three straight trips. We're going back to the big fella. Yep. Hey, I want to get D'Angelo Russell. Nope, we're going back to the big fella. And keep that thing, make them adjust. Make the Denver Nuggets adjust to what you guys were doing. I feel like you guys went away from him more than you should have. And because you did that, I feel like that cost you guys the series. I, don't, I, don't I want to make sure that I got your list correct, OG. So it's Jokic 1, Giannis 2, Luka 3, 4 is Curry. Tatum. 4 is Tatum, sorry. Try 5 it. is Curry. Six is Embiid, seven is SGA, eight is Anthony Davis, or LeBron James. I, I heard the list so many times, I have it memorized perfectly. <laughs> so, Joel Embiid uh, is six, seven is SGA, eight is LeBron James, nine is Kevin Durant, ten is AD. You gotta take so James. you got Embiid at he six. He had Donovan I'm Mitchell at, at ten, though. Drop, and then he said switch Anthony, Anthony Davis, Davis and LeBron. Is, yeah, Anthony Davis is a top ten player. I heard AD. I heard LeBron, years. KD, AD. That's what I thought I heard. But you're you're saying get LeBron out of there, put Donovan and in. Anthony Davis is a top ten. Player. I agree with that. I think Donovan Mitchell is the best two guard in the game. Better I'm not than on Anthony the fence. I, yes, I do. I think that. Come on, man. before he got before he got hurt. Before, before he, he got was hurt. always hurt, brother. He was just a dog. Bro. Right. He had it. He had it last, last season. And again, Joe, other people like I'm, to make excuses for him. Joe, I'm, that I'm, brother I'm, was I'm always one of those hurt. guys who yeah, I, don't, I don't live year to year. And the reason why I don't live year to year because that's just you can't see the forest past the trees if you live in year to year. I got to see what you actually build up to to become this. You do not become the best player on the planet in a year. That does not happen. You do not become Talk a to top five you. player in one year. That does not happen. You have to build up to become that. And when I see Donovan Mitchell, he was awesome in. 
Utah, and then he gets to Cleveland, has a career year. He never hit that many. He never had that kind of three-point percentage when he was in Utah. He never shot what he shot from the field in Cleveland than he did in Utah. He never had that steal percentage that he had in, in, in Cleveland that he did in Utah. He never did none of that stuff. He had career years. And in this season that just passed, he had gotten hurt with his knee. But with that being said, he still was rolling. Still was rolling. And I... I am not on the fence about it. I still think to this day he's the best two guard in the game. Now, I will tell you this, Joe. I'll give it a year, two years tops. Anthony Edwards will be the best two guard in the game, and I think it'll be undisputed. And I've heard you to, say that to before. To Mitchell's credit, he gave the Celtics more hell than anybody. Gave him more hell than yeah, Luka. Gave him more hell than say, Kyrie. Say that name again. Gave him oh, more hell than who? who, who? Luka, for oh, sure. Shit. I mean, those oh, okay. first two games, he was going crazy. <sighs> Woo, man. Now, he was amazing. Listen, I, that, that's fair. You know, other that's people fair. give excuses for these guards when they have hurt injuries and they can't perform. Well, but it's no excuses. That Donovan, was Donovan he, didn't get it, you know, He excuse. dominated the Pacers that game. Did you watch it? Who, what? He dominated the Pacers when, when Anthony Edwards got oh, hurt. Oh, let's talk about your boy, Hallie. We're just oh. talking East Talks right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hallie's we're just talking East Talks right now. Hallie just made all NBA. That was cute. That's yeah. adorable. Should yeah. Hallie have made you it You think that was going to happen? Which, by the way, that first team All-NBA spot, the SGA, that was Donovan Mitchell's spot, by the way, last season. Actually, if you're being real, Holly only made it because Donovan didn't play enough games because he would have had to drop somebody off. Also, Zion, Zion, that could have been his award also. I'll be honest, you got lucky. You can be out on Zion. You can be out on Zion. You can't be out on his regular season. And that's all I was arguing right there. Which he reeled me back in with that. That's which is He did. And OG, if you're one thing, you're consistent. Because you're very consistent with the injured players. You don't like them because they trick you. I'm fine with that. got me on the hook Which is why I talk about, if we're talking about the regular season, which is what the conversation was. Sure. Zion Williamson was deserving of an All NBA spot. Hate we we have been having a lot of great conversations this far. This episode doesn't have a lot of topics. We're just doing NBA tiers and just putting teams into tiers for the East and West, so it won't be that much longer. I know Dell's been itching to get into this conversation. I can't wait. But so last thing you're la- gonna like my tier. Last list, thing honestly. I want to ask you, OG, mm-hmm. your top five shooting guards in the NBA. Top right now, how would you shooting guards in the NBA right now? I think Donovan Mitchell's the best shooting guard in the NBA. SGA is a is a two is a, is a is a lead guard if I'm not correct. Mistaken. Yeah. So he's so yes. he's added this conversation. So then now that leaves. You got Kyrie. I would like you to rank so, these. So more. so it's so it's Donovan Mitchell, D Book, Devin Jaylen Booker, Brown, J- and Edwards, Anthony Edwards, Jalen Brown. Everybody else, be honest. Let me ask you a question: Of those guards that you just listed, <laughs> you how many have won a championship <laughs> as the guy? Ooh, ask that question one more time. Of those four guys that you just listed. Who has won a championship as the guy? Zero. Zero? Oh, OG. He was, he was made it? OG, we just watched it happen. He was not the guy. He was the guy. If he was the guy, then that means that Cedric Maxwell is better than Bird. I'm, I'm glad it's not like, you. OG, is, all, all this conversation. Heart, like, and I don't, all this and conversation. He was not the guy, like, Drew. If he down. was the guy, then Cedric Maxwell is better than Bird. Chauncey Billups no, is better than Maxwell. Kobe Bryant. Really? I can, OG, I can go OG, on and on. Why was Tony Parker better than Tim Duncan? Brown. 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 He wasn't deferring. No, no, he got a different OG, he was blatantly giving the ball to Jalen Brown and said, Save me. He's going to beat this dead horse. Save me. Because one, save me, got please, Jalen. What about the? I, I, if I'm not mistaken, how was Jalen Brown in Game Five? Oh, gee, the I'm series was over. You brought it this was up. Over. Underwhelming offense. You still got to go out there and win, Drew. I don't care, bro. Yo, you you got to go out there and win a damn game. It's not three zero, and the it's friendly question. It, 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 it was done. I love the fact that Jalen Brown made it clear to Joe Mazzulla, "Don't take me out if he's on the floor." I love that. As a, pr- as a I, point I of attack that. defender, I love that he did that. Score. Right. I Honestly, love that he you want to talk that. about also you know playmaking too? He improved I love, I love, drastically. I love, I love. Do you genuinely believe he's better than any of those three guys? Um, I do. Okay. Because he already showed me what Who's everyone says than? that they can do. All, all of them. Like pound for pound. All of them. He's better than them. I don't all of them. Okay. In a vacuum, you're taking him over all in the start your team. All of them. He is a better defender than all of them. So, how would you rank those four shooting guards? You would have Mitchell. Where is he in scoring? Offensive player. He's probably the worst. He's last. Probably. So, Devin Booker, too, is interesting because I feel like Devin Booker caught a lot of slack this past season. I feel I like an argument for out of the top four shooting guards, the playoffs. Mitchell, Edwards, Booker, Regular and Jalen Brown. Ability, you know? Booker is the guy that most people have forgotten about. As a but shooter? I feel like we can't forget about Devin Booker because Devin Booker was the best player 
and he led his team to a final. And he yeah. was out of position almost all season. Yeah, and he's the one that tends to get underrated I, I amongst all the top shooters. That's I fair. I can't give you that excuse. That it matters. Out of position, they're yeah. forcing him I can't to play. Because when he was next to Chris Paul and he didn't have to worry about that's playmaking responsibility, that's, 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 we saw two forties in the finals. That sounds to me like you're not versatile at the position. No, it does no. because when Donovan Mitchell had to take point guard responsibilities, they were fucking amazing. He still is not a lead guard though. That doesn't. No, that that but, doesn't but, take but away from the fact that's not his spot. But if you can't do it. I can't just say, oh, that's not your position. Let me ask you something, though, Riff. Would Donovan, really? Mitchell, would Donovan Mitchell take a step back and look worse if his backcourt mate was Bradley Bill? Oh, Bra- oh yes, yes, of course. Or, of course, or, course. Or, wait a minute, or, wait a minute, or, wait a minute. Or, or, We're saying Donovan looks worse if... Donovan's running the one and, and Actually, Bradley's running the two. No. I think he still looks I think great. it's fine. No, I think he looks great, but I think he looks better with Darius Garland because Darius Garland there doesn't mind the time, time, though. Remember? But he, I know. And he looked better without Darius Garland on the court. The, that's why they had, I say they had that. great spaces, but they didn't. In that lineup, they had nobody that could take away touches from Donovan Mitchell. But also, the Donovan truth. Mitchell was running the show. If mm-hmm. Devin Booker is able to run the show with five out spacing, he will do his thing. The Donovan problem is that spacing. he has to go up the court and think Cleveland about doesn't have KD five getting touches. He has to think about Bradley Beal getting not touches. Not a good three point shooting team. When you're They're sharing bad. the ball with two other guys that need the ball, it's gonna hurt. But you. Kevin Durant doesn't need. He's never been that type of player that really the needs the ball. Ah, he, like, he, he demands the ball. He, he demands, he the demands ball. it at the same. But he can also play off ball at a really high rate. He can. Like, he's one he's of those right. few players where he's going. Get, he does, he's not a rhythm player. He'll get his regardless. But think about it, Bradley. You have Grayson Kevin Allen Durant. out there. They had Royce O'Neal. They have spot up shooters. So those honestly, are, two are we guys, also going to be talking about Donovan as a two? Cleveland spacing. Oh, for sure. At Pretty the end of next season, are we talking about Donovan as a two, or are we anticipating he's going to have primarily? Point there, 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 but this is the thing. But like SGA is a two. Oh, excuse me. SGA, yeah, he's a two. We label him a no, one. No, he's been a one like the last but Kyrie years. Irving, he's a one. one, but I've always seen him as he's a two. He's been a two since he got in Dallas. We've seen him as a thing. two, but the responsibility is a one. With the Suns, you know I mean? Devin mm-hmm. Booker, mm-hmm. with the team they had last year, but SGA's a two. He's Kevin a two. Durant, Bradley Beal are two guys Correct. that could right. demand 20 shots a night. Fair. Anytime they want. When Devin Booker was with Chris Paul, who he's not, he's going to get everybody into their sets. Mm-hmm. He's going to set the table for everybody. Mikel Bridges, who he could get six shots and he'll be fine. Yes, he does yes. not do much. Devin Booker was able to thrive in that role because all of the touches were going through and we're playing through him. But when the Suns are trying to play through three guys, mm-hmm. it, it's going to hurt. And I feel like if Donovan Mitchell was in the same situation, it would know. hurt his game too. I, because think, I would yeah. like Donovan Mitchell to be the main guy the same way where I think Devin Booker should be the main guy. I guess my only thing is I just think Donovan's a better passer. Like He could just make better reads on the floor. So I, I don't well, think it, do I don't we think understand it would how him. that sounds though You to have me. Ant over Donovan? Or excuse me, you have Ant over D-Book? Me? Or yeah, OG? You, you. I have Anthony Edwards over Devin Booker. So why, that? Do you, why do you say we keep forgetting about Devin Booker, but you keep forgetting about Devin Booker? I'm not forgetting about Devin Booker. Because oh, I think, I Devin, think, I think Devin Booker, it, we do this with a lot of players. Once you're, you've are you been phenomenal for so long and you don't get over that hump, whether it's an MVP, whether it's finals, whether it's whatever, it's easy to kind of bring them back down to Fade. earth. Last year in the playoffs, uh, uh, Anthony, excuse me, Devin Booker was sensational. I mean, he was going on historic runs. This year, they're underwhelming. You get a big three. All regular season, they were kind of underwhelming. Then you get swept in the playoffs. So it's easy to bring uh, Devin Booker down a notch. Then Aunt Edwards goes crazy. It's and, like, well, yeah. Donald, yeah, where do you have Devin, Devin Booker, Booker right? I was in, He's a third best shooting guard. In the okay. League. But you pair that alongside with the last two seasons we saw from Donovan Mitchell. Underwhelming. This past season, he was, great. He, was he was insanely facts, good. Facts. We can argue for Donovan Mitchell in this postseason. He was amazing. Last year postseason, last postseason he wasn't good. Devin Booker was historic. Yeah, he yes. wasn't good. He wasn't good. But Devin Booker was better than Ant Man last year in the postseason. In my opinion, I still think we have to respect Devin Booker as the best of the the three. We're talking Devin Booker, De- Donovan Mitchell, and Anthony Edwards. You talk about year to year; it doesn't really change too much for you. That's kind of why I'm holding that energy for so why Devin is Jaylen Booker. Brown uh, because again, he's been slowly building towards that. I got a question, and for he you actually too. accomplished I got, what these he, guys have been was, chasing. Was, was Jalen Brown? Close to the top of the list. No, this was an All NBA guards. player. No. Sure, he was an All NBA player no. last year. All NBA player. No. That's what I'm saying, right? No, he was all, no. Yeah, so, because shout out to Jalen Brown. No, so he was so, an so, so Drew. Player. Okay, Drew. Close to one, so we know that. that's Let's what I'm saying, Drew. Come on. Before this He's a season, top four shooting guard. That's correct? what I was about to ask yeah, you. Where, where, okay. where did you have him? He's a top four shooting guard. So he was four. Two years ago, was he a top four shooting guard? Yes. Conversation. Yes, my soul, man. he's been a top four shooting guard. So last year he was a top four shooting guard, and then this year he jumped three guys. Correct. 
After because the, because he did what these three in front have all been claimed that they could no, do, but you right? You can't say that because not all of them are number two. How much did how much did Jalen Brown average in the finals? Twenty one a game. Twenty one. Yeah, something like Devin that. Booker averaged twenty six a night. They're all number one against the Bucks. They're all number one. It was you a can't five compare. game series, and after game three, his efficiency was silly. Okay. He was averaging twenty five points a game. And Devin Booker had two forty balls in the finals. He was a no no. Devin Booker was so excellent. why is Jalen Brown better than him? We gonna get tricked. as a scorer and a defender. Just because, not scores wrong. Just because by just because Devin Booker lost. To Giannis, on, by on far. The Just because Devin Booker lost to Giannis, that's why Jalen Brown's. They were up two up. They were up two. They were, but Chris Paul also dropped off in that series too. Devin like, Booker also, if I'm not mistaken, did not play overwhelmingly great in Game Six. No, but he had two forty balls, and Jalen Brown didn't play well in Game Five. I also understand that, and and also in respective years after that, we've seen Devin Booker be completely under. Jalen Brown didn't play has, well in the last two Jaylen, games of the series. Jalen game Brown has had five. one. No one bad, played well in Game Four to be fair. No one. You're right. Facts. Devin Booker is a year removed from having a historic playoff run. He I think the argument for JB is his two-way ability is at an incredible it's high. It's the best but of these guys. But I will say, if JB, because I don't think he's the number one in the Celtics team, if JB is a number one, he has all of the playmaking responsibility, number one scoring responsibility. Can he play that high-level defense for 48 minutes for a seven-game series against Luka? I, I don't know. That's nothing against JB. That's just the, the you, human body. You don't add, know. To add on to that, you have to not only just against Luka, these guys do it 80 games a night. Like, this is not a regular, oh, we're going to do it for a series. Donovan Mitchell, Ant-Man, Devin Booker set the table, go get a bucket, and still have to go play some level I'll of say, defense. none of them are playing series. good defense. JB, all regular Devin season. Ball, Donovan defense. Mitchell's a good defender. Point. You're lying. You're lying. Comparatively to Jalen Brown, no, obviously. Jalen Brown cannot, he does not have the responsibility of, I need you to set up one, two, three, four, and also give us 30 a night, and also come up in the clutch to go win us See, a game. But when he, he gave doesn't you, have that when responsibility. When he gave you 27 last year, you he really were a good but defender. Honest, so he gave but he you, wasn't a good he gave you an efficient either. 23 this but season, but on top of it was one of the best defenders in the league. And Donovan Mitchell gave you 27. Donovan is excellent. And I think he was second in the league but steals? also efficiency wise, Donovan's a what thirty five percent three point shooter. This is the best. This is Donovan. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. even with that being as said, as it's, as it's still how many shooter? catch and shoot threes does he actually get? Not, Everything not is almost, straight off the pull nothing. up or a defender's Correct. in his face. Yo, hold on, let me ask y'all a question round table. If Donovan Mitchell, Devin Booker, or Anthony Edwards half, I think take Jalen Brown's point place on the Celtics, season? Yeah. Donovan? Yeah, I think he was maybe we're talking. No, he didn't. Thirty five percent is low for him. Hell no, he's not thirty five percent. He know he had a lot to do this year, so it might have been low. Devin, Dev, I mean, if Donovan I'm Mitchell's always been a forty percent like three point shooter, close to that. He's always been that. He's always been an elite level yeah, he, shooter. No, he was 36 this year. Last year he was 38. I thought so. Last year he was at 38. Uh, 30, 36 flat or you rounded? 36. If I rounded, it's 37. Actually, oh, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah, you got to round it. 36 what? 36 5? That's 36 8. Yes. Yeah, okay, that's 37. 37. Easy. Easy. Yeah, that's 37. That's 37. Well, nine so, attempts. Let me ask you a question around table, and I think, Riv, you brought up this point when we argued shooting guards one of these past episodes. If any yes, of these master. top three shooting guards... If we put them in a place of Jalen Brown, do the Celtics still not win the championship easily? No, no. Because Jalen Brown's defense was one of the primary reasons. What, I guess they go from losing one game to three? They still win the they championship. Win the championship. Is it in five? I don't know. But I think they still win the championship. Because yeah. Donovan Mitchell, because I, I, I think where you're going, Drew, is Donovan Mitchell doesn't do the job on Luka that Jalen Brown did. Correct. He does but not. I think that their defensive scheme is different with Donovan Mitchell on the crew. They don't have Donovan Mitchell covering Covering which um, is fair because Luka. Donovan's been a part of top defenses, but we've sure. seen them. He's not that type of one on one defender, Jalen. No, he's, he's not. not. He's not. But not. almost there's not many p players that are. But Mitchell would average, and that's more why it's not a knock against Jaylen Donovan. Say I think again? Mitchell would average more. But points. you can argue if, if Donovan goes on Boston, he might be the best offensive player for that series if they play Dallas. Okay. How much better would they be with his? Because now your offense takes team. another upgrade. But I don't no, they might blow the Dallas Mavericks out every game. Can't say that the uh, defense. I wouldn't say that part. You can't know, say that. They, I, don't, I, I don't know if Boston needs that. They needed a guy that could guard Luka the For way sure. Jalen Brown guarded It's a need Luka. thing. That's why I wouldn't. Because you want to talk you know, about doing both. Jalen Brown, yes. for the first three games, did yeah, both. both at the highest of levels. Yes. Luka could have still ate, and I think the Celtics would have won just because they everybody else didn't shoot well. Boston's an easy open. spot, though. If you just grab a team that's not good, we need you to be the number one. You're not picking Jalen Brown before these guys. You're just not. He just doesn't have the number one skills. And that's nothing wrong with it's nothing wrong with that. Like Jalen Brown is a great number two. He's, He's probably the never best done. number he, two in the he league. He definitely that's improved just not his game. What were his deficits last season? Not a great playmaker. In effort. Not a great okay. If you want to include effort, defensive which effort. I would never ever. In the finals, he averaged three assists and three turnovers. Jalen I mean, Brown did. I mean, most of his defensive stuff was effort. 
Number two in, in assists was in the finals. Do you know? What do you, it oh, was Jalen Brown? Jalen Brown. Yeah, but he averaged just as many turnovers as he did assists. But he also, you have the ball in your hand. You're scoring the basketball. Yeah, but You're these other guys too. No, this past season. Oh. But these other guys, they're able to be more efficient. No, in with 2022, the ball. he led the the team in scoring. If I'm not mistaken, yes, was your did. most efficient player. Also, at the same time, you look at this past season, or excuse me, this past finals, this past postseason period. What were the main knocks against Jalen Brown? Not a great playmaker. Not a great dribbler. Couldn't go left. Really X'd all of those out. I think it's unrealistic. And to, as a defender, we had people calling him a bad defender. He was a bad defender. That was that, overwhelmingly that wrong. From. I don't know where that came from. I don't. <laughs> oh, gee. He was Look a bad defender last year. Right. He was. He was. He wasn't a great defender. He was. He and then he, ended, he, wasn't he went from I don't a bad defender bad. to being, okay. oh my God, notice this how, is how, unbelievable. Oh, this is, how, this is, why I this know. is a better point, Riff. Notice how look when, at the improvement that he made from yes, one year but to the next. He had the drop off in scoring yes. to focus. So, he had the drop off in scoring and playmaking responsibilities but to that focus on defense. Also season, because that was his plan. Coming into your saying, we lost more. We need someone to step up the defensive side. That's going to be me. 100%. But he still was efficient. You can't just... Tell these other guys, yo, we need you to drop off offensively. You you cannot do that. That's why you can't even compare. Like, I mean, to Tatum say they dropped off points wise. Points wise, yeah, because the team got right. better, but not responsibility. But he also was just Tatum's responsibility is still Ooh. the same as it always Tatum. been. No, but that's why I'm saying the finals. You're talking about the regular just season. Just in general, correct. Well, Tatum, yeah, his shots dropped in the regular season, but in the playoffs, he was just missing. That, I know. Oh, trust me. You don't have to tell me that. I just think it's unrealistic to expect Jalen Brown to be the number one on the team, drop 28, and still give you elite level defense. That will not happen. Then you're talking about like Kawhi. It doesn't like, happen it's, a lot. It's just really hard to find those guys. I saw those performances in this finals, though. He didn't put up 28. He put up 30 in game three when the series oh, ended. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He did have a good 30-point game. You have to understand. You're, like, you're, it's like you're being stubborn. How? You're talking about one game as opposed to guys who do in it the all year. the biggest game of the year. Yes, it, it can happen. Which he is can what do matters it. to me. You're, but you're not acknowledging the fact that right, these bro. other guys do it all season long for teams that are either banged up, Team construction is awful. Let's uh, Phoenix, the Suns and the Cavs don't have great team construction. That's a fact. That's not a fiction. That's a mm -hmm. fact. Not to mention they had guys banged up. And they had to do that. Devin Booker and, and Donovan Mitchell had that responsibility from game one to game 82. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker didn't have a point guard. Donovan lost his point guard for a majority of the time. He had to become a point guard. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a different responsibility. Yeah, and they, they, don't have the, they don't have that luxury of relying on a Jason Tatum or a Porzingis. They don't Porzingis have that luxury. in the Playoffs. But I'm just talking about in general, they don't have that luxury. Donovan Mitchell's next offensive player at times was Jared Allen. He has to set Jared Allen mm -hmm. up. Jared Allen doesn't set himself up. Mm -hmm. Devin Booker had Kevin Durant, of course. Of course, but the it's, primary it's, ball it's handlers. Diff it's different. Like, you can't compare those two. You can't say Jalen Brown is better than this guy because of what he did as a number two. He's the best number two as standard right now in the league. That's a fact. But in terms of comparing those guys, these guys are in different, more challenging roles. And I feel like they would just do a better job than Jalen Brown. I don't know, man. I see it differently. We go back to back. It's okay. He'll be at the top. Talking I mean, he'll about be number two again. So NBA like, tiers. He just acted like a number one and one. Rev, you want to talk about the Western Conference first? That's more entertaining for you? I feel like it is. Okay. The West The West is a good conversation. Because I feel like the East, we're going to have the same vibe. Well, we can just get past the East because then I don't want to, okay. you we know what I mean? Yeah, Let's yeah. get past the East real quick. Uh, I'll start us off. So I have my, my tiers broken into to one, two, three, four, five different tiers. First tier. Uh, four, okay. Okay. Yes, I do. Uh, I am. I am modern. He throw back. You know he. You know he. I do not have a flip phone. No, I, I do. Have a, I am modern. That is nuts, Riff. That was. Rude. You ever seen the movie uh, White House Down? I have not. Even though I know who's in it, I have never seen it. No, sir. It was a, a movie White House Down. The dudes in the um in the White House, the mm -hmm. uh, first speaker or whatever, whatever these guys was. Uh -huh. They had flip. They used to. Uh, Communicating the flip phone. That's how they was going to rob the White House. Communicating the flip phone and the little pager. Well, they call it, like flip phones are like burners, though. Yes. Yes. All right. That makes sense. All right. So my Eastern Conference tiers, I broke into five different tiers. First tier, the Celtics. The only team in there, obviously, the Boston Celtics. They're alone. Next tier, I have contenders. I do have the Sixers. I do have the New York Knicks. Next tier under that, it's mm. called Can Be Top Six. Ooh. I have the Bucks, the Orlando Magic, the Pacers, the Cleveland Cavaliers, the Miami Heat. Can we stop right there for a second? Yes. You don't think the Bucks are in that tier two with Philly and New York? I don't. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't. I don't yeah. think their defense is anywhere near mm -hmm. the, the the level where it needs to be to contend for a championship. Uh, also, with p a possibility of Brook Lopez being on the move, you trade Good. in respective seasons, Drew Holiday and Brook Lopez. Now you're hoping and praying Chris Middleton can play 
anywhere from 60 to 65 games in a season because you need that wing play. On top of it, you're also anticipating Giannis isn't going to miss a lot of time, which unfortunately we've seen him struggle with recently, which is obviously a bummer, which is arguably the best player in this game. But I can't trust the 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 Milwaukee Bucks as a whole. Do you Joel, trust Paul George and Joel Embiid? I do. Okay. Roster construction wise, I do. You trust them, OG? Paul George and Joel Embiid? He okay. shouldn't know. He has to live by his. You code. trust OG Ananobi and Mitchell Robinson? Absolutely. <laughs> just, just guys that get banged up a lot. That's all. I one hundred percent do because when he was on the court, they didn't lose. It. The thing was oh, when man. when Giannis was still on the court with Brook Lopez and Damian Lillard, they were mid. They were underwhelming considering. Oh, I think they were even that Joe, worse Joe 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 is more enticed by Giannis than he is with the Bucks. Oh, and I am. I am. And if anyone, I'm the Giannis guy at the table. You are. If anyone, I'm the Giannis guy. I look at that roster. It is not a contender. It is predicated on, please, Lord, let Giannis be healthy because we go as far as he wants us to go. It's the same argument for Philly. Embiid has to be healthy. You're praying to God Embiid stays healthy because he's not your Roster construction. I'm not even talking about it simply off of if Giannis gets hurt. I'm not doing that. Off roster construction alone. You're trusting Kelly Oubre. You could, no. We're talking Tyrese Maxey, who was... Arguably, arguably better than Jalen Brunson top in three, that who Philly else series. Have? It's literally Kelly Oubre, Eric Gordon, Jared McKay. Jared. Andre and, Drummond. And Andre Drummond. He played okay. well. Correct. Wow. That's a great we're, backup we're option. Them for which all of those guys those are, are great. Really good players. Which all of those guys are great, Drew. But at the end of the day, Joel Embiid is the post holding up this tent. He goes to pieces. They go to pieces. It's that simple. So we say the same thing for the Bucks, though. And not only do we say the same thing for the Bucks. Also, there's other holes that they have that, because well, the, 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 the right the the, 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 the the difference with the difference with Milwaukee is though. the same logic that I have about Luca. Dame never was able to get to that effort in terms of championship level defense. On top of that, Milwaukee they don't have anybody to protect Dame as a defender. I've never bought into the ideology that you can hide guys. You ain't hiding no. nobody in the league. No. no. We know who you are. We know how deficient you are as a defender. We've seen guys who are, quote unquote, getting hidden like Luka. They go after you. Agreed. But we need guys to protect them. And Minnesota, Milwaukee hasn't done anything on the perimeter, Nothing. particularly to protect Damian Lillard. And that's one of the main reasons why I am out on Milwaukee. You know, I think they're fool's gold. I think. Let me finish this here first. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yes. You have Wait, the play in the lottery team. So it's can be top six. Next one. So the, the can be top six are the Bucks, the Magic, the Pacers, the the Cavaliers, and the Miami Heat. Yes, play in squads. I have Chicago. I have the Hornets. I have Toronto. Take Chicago out. Put them under. I still think that this can be. They it's they the can East. be. It's I'm not saying honest, that they're lost. What what, what is what is enticing you to think about Chicago being one of those teams? Josh, get it. Uh, no, nah, not really. Kobe White. Kobe White. They still do have Zach Levine on I the roster. Iowa solid second half of the year. It's, they're a playing team. They just don't. They want are to get a playing the team. Pick. They're a playing team. You know team. the thing is, with, it's not uh, sexy. It shouldn't be. It's not sexy did at you, all. Did you name your lottery team? I do. So locked lottery teams. I do firmly believe this. It's going to be the Pistons. The Washington Wizards, and I do have the Atlanta Hawks here. The so Raptors I think that's a, lot, a lottery team. Raptors are a, a sneaky team for the plan. <laughs> I, listen, I mean, I guess, I I guess the fair. ten seed you could win like I say that because the Bulls and, the and and Hawks really weren't deserving of no, being no, playing teams, but they still made You're it. You're a nicer man than me because my tier four was we might not talk about you for the entire season, <laughs> and it was Hawks, Bulls, <laughs> Nets, Raptors, Hornets, <laughs> Wizards. Oh, because uh, uh, Nets probably. I, on that team. I forgot the Nets. <laughs> They're also in my locked lottery teams. Apologize. I love Dell's category. You're probably not going to talk talk about you all year. That's a great category. I love what you mentioned. The fool's gold. I definitely think that should be a category. I wish I did it that way. For the favorites, this is how I broke it down. Favorites is the Celtics, easy. And then contenders, I had the Knicks, Bucks, and Sixers. Those are the only three other teams in the East that I feel like can contend. The Bucks, I feel like because they're a second apron team, it's going to be very hard for them to build a roster. But I do like the signing of Torian Prince, who last year he guarded like the most difficult matchups. He was like top 10 like in those legend. matchups. And then DeLon <laughs> Wright. <laughs> DeLon Wright. It, I, I think those listen, were... off with Tari and Princess. No. Listen. I know. I think those were like, okay, those were good signings. All here. they have is minimums what, to give out. If you have minimums was, to give out, you get Tori and DeLon spacer. Wright. You yeah. can do worse. That That's all... You can do worse. That's you all you got to do better. Say. And I feel like if you give Doc Rivers an offseason mm-hmm. with this team, 
He they can didn't. build a creation. great offense mm-hmm. around them. I mean, the defense are going to have their deficiencies, but we'll see what happens with Brooke Lopez. If they move him and they move Giannis to the five, maybe unlo- unlock something different. But this team has deficiencies. The reason why the Knicks, to me, are ahead of them is because they have depth. I don't think they got the star power at the top, but they have the depth. But because the Sixers and the Bucks have star power, they have a chance to contend depending on what happens you know, with trades or the buyout market, things can always happen. What the Bucks need is just like Dallas hit on a vet minimum with Derrick Jones Jr. this past year, that's what Milwaukee needs. If they Torian could Prince. hit on Torian Prince, DeLon Wright, I get it, they're not sexy Andre names. Jackson. But if you could get someone who can be, again, DJJ, it's kind of a once-in-a-lifetime thing where you get a vet <laughs> minimum and this dude is like your best mm-hmm. perimeter defender. But if Milwaukee's able to get that out of one of these guys they sign, or even if Andre Jackson can make a leap and be that defensively, then you have at least someone respectable on the perimeter and you have the star power with Giannis and Dame because I also have um, that that big three that you did, Joel, with Philly, New York, and Milwaukee. I would have, in that order, I would have the Knicks first, Philly second, Milwaukee third, probably closer to that that third tier than the first tier for sure. But I think if you're able just to hit on one of those vet minimums or get some growth internally, you could you could have something there, assuming you know Brooke Lopez and Giannis and these dudes could stay healthy. One thing's for sure is Torian Prince is going to hit 38% of his threes. And I think for Giannis, that's very important. Just having spacing. Even if the defense is going to drop off a little bit, I think just having spacing and allowing Giannis to get downhill and get whatever he wants, yeah. it just makes them unstoppable. Dark horse contenders, I was going to put a team in there. If I were to just put a team in there, it would be the Orlando Magic. I think they have the potential For sure. to really rise. If Paolo takes another leap, if Franz comes back a better three-point shooter, the addition of KCP, I think they really have a chance to muck things up in the standings and for a potential playoff team mm-hmm. in it. I was thinking about the Pacers in here too, but I love Tyrese Halliburton. I just have to see him average like 24 and 10 for an entire season. And stay healthy. And really stay healthy. Yeah. That's the biggest thing because I think he has the potential to be one of the best point guards in the league. But he has to stay healthy. So the next tier I had was playoff teams, and I have the Cavaliers, Pacers, and Heat there. I think the Cavaliers are close to being a dark horse, but they need to make a move for another floor space. Or I think if they could get Cam Johnson from the Nets, that would be a perfect fit for their roster. I think it would really make them a dark horse contender. Not because a great name to mention, obviously, but Miles Bridges is another one that intrigues me if I'm Cleveland. Extra offense. You need that. Yeah, uh, Miles Bridges is just a weird case, man, because I don't know how he's going to fit on a good team. What happened? Name him was crazy. Name him was crazy? I mean, we just got to pretend like he doesn't exist. He's going to play in the NBA. Oh, hate that for the NBA. I agree wholeheartedly. He's going to get a bag probably. Too. For my playing teams, I had the Hawks, the Raptors. I think the Raptors have some talent. Hawks playing. And sneakily, I had the Hornets as a team that can maybe make the play. Welcome aboard. If LaMelo stays we healthy, about that. This if Brandon Miller so takes the leap, you're in? I'm so, I'm so sick you know, know he's not a LaMelo guy. He's injury prone. Oh, gee. They got Charles Lee now. I'm there. One this season like right here. Yeah. This season right here, Drew. Do you like here, any injured and, and anyone? This season. True. You gotta, there's a reason why this snow is here, because I've been around for a long time. <laughs> okay? I've been around for a long time. And a guy like LaMelo Ball, who has shown me that he can be an all-star, who's shown me that he can play the league guard position at an elite level, but he's also showing me that he can break down at any point and go to pieces. Yeah. Breaks my heart, OG. Like one oh, more season. This season right here, Joe, if he does, if he breaks down again, I'm out. I'm out on LaMelo. That's respectable. I'm That's out. Fair. O-U-T. That's fair. I'm well, out. So are you in on Brandon I'm Miller? I'm out. Done. Are you in on Brandon okay. Miller, OG? I am in on Brandon Miller. I think we're all, I think we're all yes. collectively in on Brandon yeah, Miller. Sure. Yes, I am in on Brandon Love Miller. He, he actually was a lot better. I thought he was going to be good. When I saw him in the summer league last season, he looked clueless. Yeah. And that was lot. That was largely due to the Charlotte summer league team being completely they were so ugly. bad. Yeah, they were they terrible. Got some coaching there now. Najee right? ended up leaving the crew. They 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 were awful. But I thought that he would be better with Lamelo. Which when Lamelo was healthy, they were rolling. They were lit. Only to find out that you just breathe and he rolls his ankle on, and he's OG. out for 50, 55 <laughs> games. We've seen we we've seen this so many times. Oh, Drew, geez. come on, I man. Lamelo was tough. You know though. who's a good player for the Hornets? They got an OKC trade, Trey Mann. Yes, Trey Mann was awesome. Trey Mann is a really good Very player, good and if he can stay healthy, he's going to make an impact for them. I think the Hornets have done a good job at constructing their roster around players that fit. Grant Williams was a good pickup for them in the trade market. He wasn't good for the Mavericks, but he was good for the Hornets. Yeah. And they got Josh Green from the Mavericks too, sure who did. now he's there. He's going to be Bring their energy guy. Identity. He's going to be their their defender. So I feel like they're starting to construct this roster to the, to the point that it, it's starting to make sense. 
Anybody that knows me, Drew, knows that I think your starting five man is in Charlotte with the Knicks. That's your starting five man. The fact that the Knicks passed on Mark, Mark Williams. Williams two years yeah, ago, oh, that's Mark your starting Williams five awesome. man. Yeah. I love him. The He's fact amazing. that he got hurt, I'm not out on him yet because I think that he could be an elite glass cleaner. I think that he could be really good around and the rim. You, you were treading. I'm, I'm, I'm not there yet with him. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not there yet with him, but... Yo, health is everything, man. The Boston Celtics proved that. If you can stay healthy, we but can KP win it. He got hurt and they still won. Yeah, they did, but it, it wasn't, <laughs> but it wasn't but it wasn't like he it wasn't like he didn't play. There was a reason why they won 64 games this year. Mm -hmm. He did play in of the 82 oh, games. Oh, no, he was great. There was a reason why that they they, the they did what they did. He only played four games. So we could ask for it. Yeah, yeah. He, he only, he only played four game. games. And he was injury prone. Sure, he was already injury prone. Yeah. Yeah. My last tier here is lottery teams. I have the nope. Bulls, Nets, Wizards, Pistons. Those are my lottery teams. Right, so let me rock out. Let me cook up. You don't even need one, OG. Okay. You know, you could just piggyback This is the me. Riv slash OG tier yes, list. Yes, sir. This is All me, right. me and OG. We're going to do our nice. thing. So tier one. I ain't get the homework assignment. I'm sorry. It's all right. I, I it's okay. You don't need it. You know ball, man. Tier one. Oh, that shit scared the hell out of me. What was it? God damn, that's a big ant. There we go. Okay, tier one, uh, the heavy favorites, Boston, obviously. Don't want to talk about them too much. Tier two. Better pray to Allah. <laughs> oh, tier shit. Tier two is the, if everything goes right, these are the teams that can legit beat Boston. Philly, New York, and then Milwaukee. Those are the only teams in the East that feels like giving a chance. That OG? Um, I said if everything goes right. So everything needs to absolutely the fuck go right. Uh, I, the only team I really trust in that group is New York with their depth. Those other two teams, I don't like Philly's depth. I, agree. I don't like Milwaukee's depth. I don't even like the fact that Giannis, Dame, and Middleton dealt with injuries last year. Middleton is amazing when he plays, but mm -hmm. like Kawhi, when he's going to play. You know, uh, Tier 3 is the playoff teams, Cavs, Magic, Pacers, Heat, self-explanatory. Tier 4 is the only... I have one team in this to play in, Atlanta. I think they're bound to the play in as long as Trey Young is there. Like, at minimum, we see Trey Young will get Facts. you to a play in spot. So I think they're bound to that. And I think Trey Young is that good. So, well, who leads you up there? And then tier five is just the Hornets, uh, Toronto, Detroit, Wizards, and Nets. At least Toronto has a plan. They look like they yeah. they, they got a plan and what it is they're doing moving they, forward. They, they have a plan got a now, too. The Nets finally have a plan. They got a cute squad. Let's have a plan. They 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 like Quickly played play. awesome towards the end of the season. Yeah. Scotty it's, Barnes has listen, obviously been great. I think Charlotte has a plan too. I sort think, of kind of. I think they have Charlotte a plan It starts too. with Charles Lee. I just Chicago right now is the only team I'm looking at. Like, oh, I didn't really even add them. That's a lot. I keep they, forgetting they, about them. To be honest with you, though, they actually look like they do moving forward. They, they got to make some moves. They, they, if they move they, Zach, the plan is the most. Zach and Demar come back. No, he's not. Demar's not come back. Demar's gone. He said Demar's gone. Yeah, Demar's gone. So Demar's gone. They left him for nothing. I think that they move off of Zach. And I think that, so too. So now you you you're building that unit around Giddy, White, and Mateus. Which I'm cool yeah, with because was, at least sorry, now we got a plan, was, right? Yeah. And the people in Chicago, very much like the people in New York, if you tell them, okay, these are our guys, and you and you put your name in the hat for the Cooper Flag sweepstakes, then it just looks much better as opposed to you got these three guys and you're telling the people of Chicago, yo, we're trying to get into the playoffs next year. We know you're full of it. I just need to see Chicago you know it. do it because well, it's been year after year. They're running it back. Once it's, no, there was once this it's report done. That they could have got like nine picks at the deadline if they would have moved DeMar, Zach, and uh, Caruso. Because right now it seems impossible to move Zach. Like, like you need garbage. to attach a pick. People they're are willing interested. to do it now. They said, we'll they're attach this attach pick. pick? Yes, okay. they said, so it might we will now. attach this pick if we get off him. And then Vooch is oh, probably going to be here. Lakers. Right. I did see the DeMar to Sacramento report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. DeMar's You're not saying no to that? It just I'm has not. to be a signing trade. That's oh, why. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> what? You're giving us a pick and Zach? No, they won't send him to the Lakers, buddy. I'm sorry. What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know what you want to do. How much is uh, Zach making? 40. 40. How are you going to make that salary work? Yeah. No. They can with a bunch hold of Hold on, hold on. We already, with James, with, with James, Rui, with, with James Rui, opting Rui, in. Rui, Dilo, Gabe. Yeah. I, That's it. Rui, Dilo, Gabe okay. gets you to 40? We need a young player, though, so throw in a... JHS. We have too many girls. We getting rid of all of these dudes with Zach Levine? Yes. You are getting us fired, Drew. Are Sorry. you kidding me right now? I need it. Darvin oh already God. gone. <laughs> Wait, we still got Rui, oh, excuse me, we still got... Um, Austin Reeves. We still get, we keep Vando. Point you of attack. You have Vando. I know. I that want bench him. is nasty. Disgusting. It's already not great. Nasty. It's already not oh, great. He didn't yeah. gave up everybody. Gabe Vincent barely played. D -Lo, I D -Lo, you told me he but D'Lo is subbing essentially for Zach Levine. I shift he over Austin Reeves. He was Dalton awesome. Dalton connects six man. Exactly. Dalton connects. Dalton connects six man. I'm ready. Already got people saying that he should have been the number one overall Max pick. Max Christie's getting real burned. He's got 30 M, so he should get real burned. I six. couldn't believe I it. Ronnie might have to be the eighth man. So oh, that does it for straight to the East tiers, right? I think we're all done with our <laughs> no, East tiers. No, no, facts, yeah. though. No, they are not, going yeah, right to the G League. Straight That's to the G League. Well done. That's, I mean, yeah. So just on this side, I just want to make sure we're always seeing OG's face right here. So maybe OG could, you could pull in closer or Riv, you go a little bit. Yeah. You could see yourself on the thing, yeah. 
You can hold the, Look at the microphone. Look a little here, man. Bro, yeah. bro had the sleeve up earlier. He was just, he wanted to show off the tats. <laughs> somebody watching. Some, some, um, oh, some who watching? Somebody watching. Well, here you, you, should, you should shout him out, bro. Nah, I ah. can't even do that. Ah, you got me on camera. Ah. So now he's getting you. all shy and shit? No, nah, I just can't red? say it because, you know, you feel me? I'm on to the Western Conference <laughs> tiers. Stupid. For the West, I have five. Oh, no. Let me see. One, I two, have three. four tiers. I have five I tiers. tiers. I don't have a favorites tier here. I just have a contenders tier me because too. I don't think there's a favorite. My contenders are OKC. The Dallas Mavericks, the Timberwolves, and the Denver Nuggets. Mine's still got Jokic, still got their big three. I think they'll be you got fine. More than that? Dark horse contenders. Here's where I'm getting a little spicy. I think Memphis can have a bounce back year. Yep. And they could be a dark horse contender. Hold the fucking phone. He's, uh, he's nuts. I the think Memphis the Memphis hater Grizzlies. is saying the Grizzlies can bounce back. I think this got past season smart. was a, a terrible year for them, but they found. A great defender in Vince Williams. They found a good rookie in G.G. Jackson at the wing spot with Ja, Desmond Bain, they just need a big. those two, Triple J. They drafted Zach Eady. Eady. Oh, they Marcus did Smart. Grab Zach Mark, they got Marcus Smart. Clark think, is coming back too, right? Yeah. yeah. Yes. If they have a healthy year, this team could be a dark horse contender. I they the Eady. question mark with them is still the half court offense, though. How is that going to look? Respect you us. you need to have a different plan there. And then the Pelicans, I have as a dark horse contender. Ooh. If they're what's healthy, happening to B.I.? What okay. What's happening to B.I.? That's the I don't question. Know. I, think I don't he's know. Moved. OG, when they were healthy, post-All-Star break, one of the best defenses, one of the best offenses. That's all that matters. Yeah, I guess. The wheels fell off. <laughs> Sucked. So say the second tier again? Sorry. It was Dark Grizzlies. Horse Contenders, the Grizzlies Pelicans. and the Pelicans. Oh, just those two. Yeah. When they're healthy. And then I have damn good squad. playoff teams. I got the Lakers as a playoff team. I don't think they're a oh, dark horse contender. Dark horse, but the fucking Pelicans. I, I don't. Are. I don't think what so. Hell? I think the Pelicans are more. He went from gas. Wait, hold on. Did it the, 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 the Pelicans smoke the Lakers in the plane or on the bugger? They did. Did it the Did it the Pelicans smoke y'all on the plane? We lost. But it came to them Lakers, man. No, we won. Zion had forty though. Zion lost. No, if Zion stayed in that game, y'all wasn't winning that game. We were up double digits, and then Zion came back. Yes, AD couldn't guard him. He couldn't. The I, other team I have in the playoff I, teams tier. Don't give up on him. He got hurt, bro. Don't give up on him, OG. You, OG, I promise you, if he's going to stay healthy, he's going to validate Drew, us. as soon as he reeled you in, he had 40. And then oh, my had, God. Got hurt. And nah, like, he had 40. You know how difficult it was to watch that game and be like 100%, let's go Lakers, nope. when my dog was going Zion crazy was, for he, 40? Him and all, Alvarado was wild Drew, in that you, game. you know that Valanchunas, your best rebounder, gone. All right. Larry Nance, yeah. your best That's tough. rotation guy. Larry Nance is, is a is best Messi. We just Come drafted get Jared. Him. So so don't forget Najee Marshall, gone. Come so, get Jared. Well, well, give us here, Here's what we can do, OG. I'm all Sit in. down. You're you're the Cavaliers GM. I'm all in. I'm the Pelicans. You you guys are a tag team right now. Come down. Here we go. Me, so we go the Cavaliers. I need JA, right? That's you don't cool. need him. I'll take him. I'll give you Brandon Ingram. You need a wing desperately. You take Brandon Ingram. I'll take JA. We need two first. No. Oh. The market is very low for your boy. Click. Wings are valuable. Why are you hanging up the phone, OG? Because, first of all, I have the future of the NBA, which is the tandem bigs. And I don't just mean Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. That's what the league is about to look like. He's cooking. The, 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 the Wimby, uh, Wimbenyama. They're about to get the, lowered. The Wimbenyama, Chet home. Here's the issue. That's Your the, two that, bigs that, can't score. Actually, they can. Eh. Actually, they can, and you're going. And, and, I'm like in the middle with that. <laughs> and, 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 and actually, actually, he can. Jared got a but, little. And if you, you if, know what I mean. Though. Here's, the, here's the difference: if you give Jaron what you had with Donovan Mitchell the entire season when he's healthy, when you give him a playmaker and a distributor like that, he just looks so much better. And if Evan Mobley, whom we already talked about, if he can be more consistent, who I think is going to take that leap this year because Kenny Atkinson is going to make him get on the perimeter more and be able to stretch the defense, I think that makes them so much better as an offense. So if you're going to ask me for you're going to ask me for Jared Allen and you're going to give me Brandon Ingram yes. who doesn't <laughs> bend, who, who doesn't defend and I'm losing all of that. Not necessarily true. He's uh, uh, yeah, not a bad defender. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that, but the defense Defense and the, the defense and the rebounding that I'm losing in order to get buckets, which I already have from that, which I already have from Donovan Mitchell. Click, I'm good. Would you rather have Herb than Brendan? Ingram? Oh, give us Herb. We'll take the deal. No. Okay. I think all the question marks around the Pelicans are fair. I still need to see the fit of Dejounte Murray too, Ooh, yeah, because yeah, I'm not the highest on that you fit really in general. Know. What is he, Joe? I, I, when, is he a two? Is he a one? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. See, I, I know, know we live in a combo garden. I do one. understand I that, Joe. I can think I, about I, that I, one. I, I, I take All right, OG, pick up the phone again. <laughs> I, Hello. I, I, I treat him. Here we go. We need a little money, Listen, though, so you got to keep going. No. B.I., you're not interested. I hear you. Mm -hmm. I got a role player perfect for you guys. Can space the floor and one of the better 3 and D guys in the game right now. Mm -hmm. 
I'll give you Trey Murphy. In a first. No. Buddy. You need to give up more than Trey Murphy for Jerry. You got Trey Murphy in two seconds. You give me J.A. What is, what this guy thinks he's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come on. No, that's seconds? terrible. Hang on. That's terrible. Would Jared Allen's an all-star. Yeah, Jared Allen. You're getting two seconds, which are valuable in today's brother, NBA. I, I, all I asked for one first. You couldn't give me that? One first, that's all that's you need? That's all I asked. That's starting the con- conversation. That's started. terrible. Two that's terrible. Two two two. What's wrong with two twos? Don't don't call call Bradley Beal got traded for five, five yeah, two twos. That's a terrible trade for looking back on it. By the way. <laughs> terrible. Beal would make way. a rather the, You would rather the twos, right? No, I would not. I'd rather just keep Jared Allen. I, I would rather that. No, no, no. I'm talking about Bradley Beal. You just traded five twos for him. You got $60 million on your pick. Well, whatever he had a no it was. trade clause, so he couldn't go anywhere else. That's also, facts. Yeah. The Pelicans, like what you were mentioning, OG, I think it's fair about DeJounte Murray. I don't know what he is either because on the Spurs, he had his best year, but on the Hawks, he couldn't really play with Trey Young. And I don't think he's somebody that can set the table for other scores around him. He's hunting for his shot. So that's why I feel like when he has a green light, like with the Spurs, he can look amazing. But when he's on a team that needs him to take a step back, I don't know if he can adjust to a role. So I think this Pelican stint is a big wait and see. A lot of me just being high on them is on Zion when he's healthy because I think Zion is one of the 15 best players when he's healthy, but he has to be healthy. My playoff teams, I had the Lakers as my playoff team. I had the Suns as one of my playoff teams as well. I think the Suns, (laughs) all things considered, they got a little bit better this offseason. by bringing in Monte Morris, Mason Plumlee. They'll still be a playoff team even though they won't be a contender. Then I have my playing teams, the Warriors, which if they get Laurie, that could change. But for as sure. of right now, even though I think they ha- they've had a good offseason, they compensated for losing Clay with Buddy Hill, D'Anthony Melton, and Kyle Anderson. I thought that was really good. You just don't have a number two yeah, scorer. You still yeah, don't have a number Melton, two scorer. That yeah. D'Anthony Melton losing, Unless, really losing him was a big deal. Better make some fucking moves. I haven't done anything. Kaminga takes another leap. Yeah. You got to hope for that. At this point, we've said no to everybody. He better look like yeah. Jalen yeah. Brown next year. <laughs> yeah, if he does it, I'm going to kill myself. I have the Kings. <laughs> And I'm like, no, nah, I'm so serious. Like, I have I'll the make Kings. Sure to keep an eye out on you. Please, the for, Rockets. We need you is right. Shit hurts me, man. And the Clippers as playing teams. Those are the other ones okay. next to the Warriors. And then the a lot of teams. Clippers had a sneaky good offseason, too. They did, but, you know, you lose in Paul George. You better not ever talk, talk to bro. me about the Clippers. I'm sick I'm of to, you with I'm the Clippers. Talk. No, you I, better not, Riz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of all the teams, you better not talk to me. I don't want a word from you because you're trying to sell me. Okay, I'm sorry, Joe. OG. Was we not rolling 25 and what? Five? We was moving. Life looked great at that point. Did you get fooled this year or no? No. You didn't? I got no. fooled. I A lot of people did. Right. We fooled the yeah. world. No, you didn't. Yeah. Kawhi almost had us. Almost. He almost had me on the hook, Drew. He did. He did. I'm not going to lie to James you, James Harden almost had you. He almost, he almost James Harden never had home. me on I was the like, hook. Never. Shit looked yeah, real. Shit looked different that day, though. That's all I'm going to say, man. And then the last bosses. year, just lottery teams, the Jazz, Spurs, and Trailblazers. That's just Spurs? You're not, you're not high on them no more? The West is just loaded. Yeah, super loaded. Well, adding Chris Paul, I mean. Stop. Hear, hear, hear me out, Riv. Hear, hear me out. That's I a watched great him, move. It's a great I, move. I, I watched him play all year. Right. Right. He's okay. about average 34. <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> <laughs> I watched him all year. Two, Chris, two, two, two San Antonio's. Yes, yes, yes. Fall. Good bet. They did not have anybody that could consistently get. For sure. Wimby the ball. Chris Paul now, would definitely feed Wimby. I feel like Wimby is going to improve with, with Chris Paul being able to just get him the ball. And I feel like Chris Paul is going to be able to teach those guys, yes. Yes. the other guys, how to get him the basketball. No, he's, so a locker, a, he's an amazing locker room. 100% coach. that. I'm not... This is not Chris Paul from three years ago where I'm asking him to play 28, 25, 30 minutes a night because I know for a fact that he's going to break down. And he know that too. That's why he's not interested in, 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 in doing that much for this crew. I think Wimby is going to be that much better that we may have a conversation. There we go. I'm not, we may okay. have a conversation later on in the year about them sneaking into the play-in tournament. You mentioned a great okay. point about Chris Paul OG. With Chris Paul, I feel like the biggest value he brings to the Spurs is mentorship. Yes. What he is now known for, his legacy, is turning around franchises. Mm-hmm. The Clippers, the Suns, the Rockets had their best years with him. Okay, see uh, yeah. And oh, okay, so you're right. They made the playoffs with him. He overachieves in places. I feel like right now what the Spurs desperately need, they need somebody to come into the team and the organization and teach these guys how to play basketball, how to actually play at the professional level, how to train, how to prepare, and how to read the floor. And I think Chris Paul could be huge for the developments of a guy like Stephon Castle, even Wendy, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell. Maybe help him out as a playmaker. Now we're here, though. I think those guys benefit a lot to where... 
this year, the Spurs are not going to get the fruits of their labor. It's but tough. I think two to three years down the line, when the Spurs are really good, we'll look back at this moment and we'll say Chris Paul was a catalyst. Kind of like Oklahoma City. Here, here, sure, I, can I don't that. know why he's laughing. Here's, no, no, no. <laughs> you know why I'm laughing. Because he's trying to claim the Spurs as one of his squads. I love one his one Brown, loves Tatum. Huh? I, I'll put it's it on my brother, Check man. my tweet. Um, you should tell OG the new list of your teams. OG, who's who, if you had to say, who's Riv's favorite basketball team? Right? You should, like, there should be an answer. Who is Riv's favorite basketball team? Favorite basketball team. team. It's only one answer, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Riv is a Golden State guy. All right. See, that is the answer. That's the answer I feel like everyone would normally so He rebranded. That's what happened. <laughs> he did rebrand. <laughs> he was a Bulls OG, guy. he's supposed to be a Bulls fan. Oh, Riv is a whore. <laughs> 100%. Let's get to the bottom of that right now, Drew. He is a whore, okay? And he we will know. dump you in a minute. I know. 100%. He's a slut. Oh, I know. 100%. He's not, I know. Every year. He's whore. not wrong. He will bounce on you in a minute. How many teams do we have now? 13? I think about 12. 12 what, were last? Teams. what was your most? I feel like two years ago, you were at 14. like 14. I thought he yeah, was at 14. 14. Almost half the league. Ago, I had to add the Spurs. Um, I had to. Yeah, no. I think that was the only new ad. Nah, Spurs are there. We got it. I, I, I dropped that Lena in a heartbeat. Had to drop. Dijon, it. But then you add the Pels. Add the Pels. We're back. Now, OG, these are these are Rivs teams for oh, this year. Oh, he pulled it up. Thanks. He says New Year, New Pin Alert. My teams for the season: the Warriors, Pistons, Cavs, OKC, Houston Rockets, the Spurs, the Clippers, pending the Paul George trade. They're gone. Philly. So they're Philly. 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 It's Philly. Philly. It's Philly. So it's the Seventy Sixers. It's the Wizards. <laughs> it's the Magic. It's the Memphis Grizzlies. It's the Blazers. It's the Utah Jazz. You're just giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. That's a, at least I'm not a front runner, OG. There's a couple bad teams in there. There's I heard the Magic. I heard the Grizzlies. There's more I've bad been, teams been than the good magic. teams for you, sure. I've been with the Magic. Mm. Who's, your, who's been your guy in the Magic? Huh? Who's your guy in the Magic? Not necessarily a guy. You just, just like their I've time. been high yeah. on them. Yeah. Okay. And I've been with the Grizzlies. That's the fact. I've yeah, been here, guy. I've been here. There's definitely more bad teams than good, so I'd prefer that than like yeah. liking the Chiefs would... and the Bengals, for example. That would piss me. Well, off. What's, 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 that's your, different. what's your attraction to the Trailblazers? What's going oh, on? Oh, you got shade in there. School. No, me and my brother. Rob Will. And then Klingon's there. I'm definitely there. You know, no. no. I hate that you guys are giving Who brownie points Fuck to Rick Riv Denny, bro. for on, picking the wrong me. teams. Riv picked teams that he thought would rebuild better. They're just rebuilding terribly. Like the Pistons. They've been in a rebuild for years. Wait a minute. I only jumped there because Cade. I know, fair. but yeah. how long has been Kate? How long has Kate been in those pistons? Like year four. It's been a minute, bro. It's, you know, I don't know what they're doing. Hey, shout to Kate. Hey, back. listen, I'm gonna tell you this with Detroit though. If Kate get up out of there, you know, here's my tier list though. Mm-hmm. Let's let's move on. Oh, the Chris Paul thing was I was gonna say is, I think the difference between what he's done with those franchises and what he's done now is he could play when he was with those franchises. Like Facts. he still had that ability. So I I'm not. I don't think it's a bad move. I don't think it's a great move. I just want to see how it looks because he still is. He isn't the same. Like his body is completely done. He doesn't have that same type of skill. He, he the mental is still there. He's still one of the physically. smartest players in the year, but physically he's not there. So I do want to see how that transition goes. Uh, but West Tears, uh, OG. Let me see. Listen, I got a little West Tears for you. Let's see how it looks. I have four tears. I have a shit ton of teams. So tier one for me. I mean fifteen. <laughs> No, yeah, I'm saying I have teams. a shit ton of teams in one specific ah. tier. Yeah, yeah, let's relax. Tier one, I only have two teams. <laughs> tier one is Thunder and Dallas. Those are the only two teams I think improved. I think the Denver Thunder can't win a championship. No, I have. Well, I think they can win a championship. But I think Thunder and Dallas should be the favorites mm-hmm. walking into the year. The tier one is favorites. Yes, they okay. should be. The, they should be the favorites walking. I think Dallas improved mightily this offseason from already making the finals. I think for the Thunder, they made the second round. That experience is there, and they got better by adding in Caruso. So I think that those two teams are there. Tier two, I think it's just mini, Minnesota and Denver. I think those guys are still favorites, but I will put them a slightly under those two front teams. I don't think Minnesota, they really didn't have any wiggle room to get better. They just had to have a good draft. And then for a and Denver. They did. It, it, sure, yeah, we'll oh, yeah. see how that goes. Um, and then Denver, unfortunately, they lost KCP. They're relying internally on getting better. And when you still have the best player in the world, you know, I got to put you somewhere. So I'm going to put them in tier two. Tier three is a shit ton of teams. You got so the Pelicans. The Kings, Memphis, Warriors, Clippers, Suns, Houston. I think all of those teams are playoff teams, play-in teams. It's kind of the same thing because the West, you can't really, for me, you can't separate play-in and playoffs because I feel like over the last three years, it's been so close where it the comes down. Team, you think yeah. the 10th team is just as good as the 5th I think the 10th team, team seeding-wise yeah. could be just as close as the 6th seed. Like I, I saw last year or two years ago, the Lakers, the Kings, the Warriors – 
and we were think, in dog fights. Yeah, we were mm-hmm. in dog fights the last twenty games of the season because it was like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I think those are all playoff playing Sacramento teams. Sacramento and the Warriors won forty six games. Yes, oh, yeah, they it, were it, amazing. It, it was insane. And then um, tier four is Utah, Portland, and Spurs. They all will be not good teams. Okay. All right, I'm fine with that. Lori can change one of these teams, a specific team, to jump in the tier two. I I'm not going to speak on that, though. We're just going to wait till it happens. Lori so. definitely can make a, a team jump or, or fall. One uh, team. Correct. Uh, mostly jump, no fall. The only fall would be the Jazz, but how much further can they really go? Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five tiers. I have the up. favorites. Now, you don't number them. <laughs> I you did. number I them? Numbered oh, the okay, team. cool. Okay. Uh, I did uh, bullet points. So my favorites, I have Oklahoma City. I'm going to put them in a tier of their own right now. Damn. I think that they need to Dallas, understand that... Dallas they, beat them. They got better. Who? Dallas. You're saying Dallas got better. Dallas beat them and got better. No, uh, but OKC got overwhelmingly better. You love Caruso, so I understand why you said that. But Dallas and beat them. And also got IH, which is desperately what they needed. They beat them a lot, primarily because Chet was getting bullied by Lively. Also, can, also, can we also be fair shoot. and say... Dallas beat them. Kyrie averaged 17, and Luka was not Luka for the entire J-Dub series. J-Dub was underwhelming. Chet was moment. underwhelming. Okay. Dort really couldn't hit a knockdown, couldn't hit a wide open three to save his life. Caruso's going to do that. And if Kyrie, now next time they match up in the playoffs, plays much better, and Luka plays much better. I just think they should be they the same. It's hard to beat tier your own, and you haven't even made the WCF yet. This yeah. is, again, this Let is my finals. tier list. Right. My, uh, my, my favorites are right. OKC. Uh, can, the Lakers be, in there then. can be the number one seed. They're not the favorites. Okay. Uh, nice. Can be the number one seed. I have the Nuggets. I have Dallas. I have the Wolves. I have the Grizzlies. There's a world where they can be the number one seed. The West is such a crapshoot with the way that I saw them play two years ago when, when John Morant was out of the line. Completely different team now. But you already mentioned it. You have Vince William now. There's a lot more uh, there's a lot more consistency on the defensive side. And offensively, Bain has gotten better. Ja is going to be amazing naturally offensively. Jaron Jackson's really going to be that X factor for me. What are we going to get from him consistently on the offensive side? But defensively, I really don't have too many worries with this Grizzlies team. I think we get a lot more from... He's playing the five. I, I think we get a lot more from Jaron Jackson this year. Off the strength of Zach being there, I feel like he can be more of a stretch forward than you he was Zach's last season. You think Zach's going to start? Yes, I do. You think so? Yes. I, I, think, think, he might, I think he might play... 20 minutes a game. I think Just Brandon Clark will be the starting five. They might throw Jeremy at the five. I think he Put plays. Gigi and Vince out there. Vin, Vince can... Mm. Gigi could Vin, play the low, four. You know what? I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at. You know, just to put you it out You think Gigi there. starts? You have Smart off the bench. I wouldn't be mad at it. Run the second unit. It's not terrible. I, wouldn't be mad I don't want to start smart with Ja, with Bain. You already have That's Bain and small Vince lineup. Williams at the two and the three. I feel like those are solidified. It's a little small, but they're... You know, Marcus Smart is great defensively. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Him and Vince Williams in the star lineup would be great, but then you have to have Vince at the four, and now Jaron Jackson. Vince is like five. six five, but like that's th- is a Vince lineup. a lock starter also? No, I don't think uh-huh. so. Okay, I don't think, no, that's no. what I'm thinking. I think too. the only locks are Jared uh, Bain and John. One thing's for mm-hmm. sure though, I think Zach Eady is different from these other four year college centers that can't move very well. Zach Eady was legitimately dominant inside the paint, and he was a positive defensively. He is limited on defense to drop coverage. But so is like 80% of centers, right? Walker Kessler, as a rookie, was one of the elite premier of rim protectors. He's limited in drop coverage, too. It's hard. So it's not it's yeah. not terrible. Zach Eady, I think, is an actual good NBA player, and I think he'll show it in Memphis. So my Ken B top six, I do have the Lakers. This is where I have the Pelicans. I have the Kings, and I have the Suns. Uh, this one is kind of self-explanatory for the understanding that the Lakers, again, were, were right there on the cusp of being a top five, top six team, just missed out. Pelicans, same thing before B.I. got injured. This was a top five team that ended up falling. The Kings, talk to me, are the Kings the team that you're talking about? Why, why, why can't the Warriors be top six? I thought, I thought about it. I thought about it. They did. were a Draymond Green suspension away from being top six. You said it yourself. And they got better. You still, I don't know if you did. I say that with the idea. You didn't get worse. You didn't get worse. I agree. Worse. You didn't get better because you said it you yourself. You Clay. still don't have a got secondary well, score. That's, that's for championship aspirations. We got better as a team. Yeah, but like even they did. Like by far. Because Buddy healed. He can average 16. But you guys are just a 10th seed. The Anthony we Melton, if he's healthy, really good. I, I, that's true. I, I, it was a 46 win 10th seed, but at the same time. Like, what it have the just, Kings done this offseason to make them a top six lock? Like, that we didn't do. I didn't do. say top six lock. Well, I'm saying, I said uh, can I meant be. Say in that tier that we didn't do. I just think offensively, there's a lot more consistent than you guys. Defensively, they got a lot better now that Keon Ellis has stepped in. But then, uh, we, you, uh, I guess, okay. You See, know? the problem with the Warriors is that when your aging star is still awesome, yes. it's difficult to move off of that. Agreed. 
because I'm fine yeah, with that. It's, it's difficult to move. See, listen, that. you get Lori. Of course, I just don't. I don't see the like the Lakers didn't get better. They have the same team. But I think we, if the we Warriors did get, get better, Lori, they're because Darvin's not our yeah. head coach, a dark horse contender. Darvin is not our head coach. We got better. The Kings didn't really get better. They just are going to put Keon in the starting lineup. Like we brought in players. I, that I'm can blanking. Defend. Who did they draft off the top of my head? I'm blanking so Devin hard. Carter. Mm. Devin Carter also adds defense to them as well. And he might not play. Though. Mitchell too. Anthony Mellon, Kyle Anderson I adds defense. Know. Say it again. It does. Anthony Mellon and Kyle Anderson add defense. But he'll doesn't. But what offense that's, are we getting? Because re- realistically, again, that's really where eight players a can be in a rotation. For and the for Kings, the Kings it's Fox, it's Keon, mm-hmm. it's Harrison Barnes, it's Keegan, it's Sabonis. Then it's Kevin Herter still, mm-hmm. Malik Monk. And Carter can take spot? Herter's minutes. Herter's a 40% shooter. Is he, though? No, yeah. I think last year. Last year he he might have had a dip. He got hurt last season. Yeah, but Kevin Herter, I don't think he's going to go I'm from not a fan of losing Herter, all his minutes. I'm not to saying zero minutes. Player, he's fine. They lose I'm him and saying, they lose Sasha. They, I think they made a mistake with Sasha. Vezin, you know, uh, Vezin, I don't know. I'm just saying... You think he's good, after, or they made a mistake picking him after up? After January, we were one I, of the I best teams in the league. I think they they mismanaged him. He went but to Toronto. Steph struggled. I think you're like I mean, my he's, actually, he's actually back in the. Yard. I'm, I'm still not finished though. I, know. I think after January, we, oh, you, you could say Steph Trey struggled Lyles. all you want. He'll be in a rotation okay. Too. Trey Lyles definitely. You can say get Steph burned. struggled all you want. You, you like to ignore team construction and all that good stuff. That's no, fine that's with me. part of the reason why but he struggled. I, I think we we were and you didn't get a second score. We were a top three team in the West. In January, after from January to April, that's what we were, and we've gotten better from that team. But right now, I'm still guarding you the same way that I guarded you to end the season. That's fair. But how is but that beneficial to Melton, Steph, as a, who's a good shooter? Buddy Hill, who's a good shooter, mm-hmm. like and uh, Melton is a good defender for sure. And, and then I think Kyle Anderson is a good apart. defender, but obviously he's not helping your spacing. Nah, of course not. But when do we ever? But I think what Kyle Anderson better? is, he can be off the bench. He can do the things that Draymond does. He can be a hub. He and can, I'm not saying we we're better than all these teams. I'm actions. saying for us to not being this tier, be the poor man's dream. I don't know. You're saying that's all I'm saying. Interesting. I, listen, I still in playing teams. You guys are at the top of my list. I do have Golden I State. I just don't get how the Kings can just be in there and not the. I don't think you guys are a top six team. I don't think the Kings are either, though. I think they can be, and they flirted with it all season so long. So did the Warriors. You're, you're, top your six? argument isn't consistent. That's not it's true. hard to sell me on you, the Kings being top six. Yeah. I'd be shocked if they were top off, six. Offensively, team. they still are one of the better teams. Defensively, they, off they were. Last year. They did because I think there were, we saw a, a resurgence in a lot of other teams' offenses. I don't, and I, dropping I, off, they went from. Top two, top one, or whatever so like it was, because it was them and the Nuggets, to 12. To be top six, they had the a Kings, better offense than the Nuggets this past season. To be top it. six, the Kings would have to be better than one of these teams. The Thunder, Mavericks, Timberwolves, Nuggets, Grizzlies, Lakers, Suns. They can be. Based off what? Off not, the fact they won't be better than the Suns if the Suns are it's just Your over. argument doesn't or make the sense. Lakers. But why, why, were they, why were they a nine seed last year, the Kings? I think, the, I think the, nine, the nine seed and the four and the five seed was only it, separated by like two games. Yeah, that's why I'm for confused sure. I know. This, I agree. This whole debacle we have here. Okay, because you guys that, were uh, never top six. You're a liar. You're when? lying. When? We were literally top six. When? For all the way up until December. Okay, dude, so you first trust half Sacramento of the more than Golden State we, going into the, this season for sure. I do. Kings ever top six. Top six, they were when they lost and blew it to to Dallas two games were, in a row. They, that's they, when they were they, doomed. I think they were. Wait, you talk about late in the year. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, think, I think in when the in, Warriors in were like when the Warriors were like seventh. Were you guys in the play-in essentially from from yes. January on, second half of the season? Yes, we literally had the second best record in the West. Oh, no, do you, you have the same in the trust in saying. the Kings and Warriors? Huh? You were never in the top six. You're saying no, we were. When in I December just said up until December, end of December, the and then Draymond got what? I do. Uh huh. He got injured or, or suspended. It was with a whatever. Suspension. suspension. Uh-huh. I understand what you're saying, off. Riv, but I, I think it is fair to trust the Kings a little bit more. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't. I don't see how they. Can, you can say they can be top six and the Warriors can't. It's just there is no. They're there's a better no team real than you guys. I don't. I don't know if that's true. I don't. I don't they think are so. not by much. I don't even think they're, they're a better the team. I still think that you're relying on your. And I still think Steph Curry is elite. I still think he's a top five player in the game. I mean, it's pretty difficult to for me to argue that, but. I think relying on him as much as you do and now losing Clay Thompson, which I think losing Clay Thompson wasn't months. really I don't I don't think it was that big of a deal, but I, I think the stuff that you relied on in order to win, 
I don't think you have it as much as you did. I feel I like agree. the Kings are still in that space where the stuff that they it's rely on, the they still have it. So, De- so De'Aaron Fox, I still think that he's elite. I still think that Sabonis is elite. I think Keegan Murray is on his way to being something he really special. He can get special. better. Yeah, I think he's on his way to being something really special. I really love this kid. Um, some guys that get the, better. The, 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 Keon Ellis. Yeah. Ellis, that's yes. what I'm thinking and about. And we I haven't really even spoken about Malik Monk. Yes. Yeah, and he's a disruptor. He's one of the guys that can get better. I think he's one of the main reasons why they fell out of the- Pods is going over the USA. That's really- Really what it is. I, I think he's Thank one of the main, OG, I think he's one I of the main reasons. Thank you, OG, because I completely slipped my mind. They, they fell they, they off when they them. lost Monk. Yeah, they lost him for like 12, they the, lost the last, Monk. last 12 They dropped games. off. Yes. They also did choke against Dallas. That was kind of the beginning. They yes. lost the back-to-back to yes. Dallas. Yes. That was brutal. So did Golden State. Golden State lost a game when Dallas wasn't playing, Luka. Mm-hmm. There's a team that none of you guys yep. have mentioned, which I think is which really, really interesting. Well, Golden I, State I, lost when the Mavericks weren't playing Luka late in the season. Oh, Luka yeah, didn't yeah, play. Yeah, for sure. But my they play-in, beat them with Luka, though. I know, I know. I'll finish this because, again, we've stuff, been stuck so on my we'll list for that. way too long. Uh, my playing teams, I have Golden State, I have the Clippers, I have Houston, I do have San Antonio. Uh, and my lottery squads, I have Portland and I have Utah. So you trust the Kings over the Clippers? I do. Yes. Okay. 100%. Where would you have the Clippers? Um, same tier as all the teams. I, I think they're all the yeah, tier. a lot of teams top four is really difficult if, for me. If, if, if you give, if you give, if you're telling me James Harden and Kawhi are going to play sixty to sixty five, which Kawhi just did, oh, they're Kawhi going to play in I was April. Say, so bonus, Kawhi just did for the first time in like. So eight bonus years. and De'Aaron yeah. don't get hurt. Eight Kawhi, years is a lot. Kawhi playing in April. Oh, eight years was a lot. It's Kawhi playing in April. Oh my God, it was twenty twenty four, bro. Six years. Ribs. Okay, six years. Ribs. Okay, six years. 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 Okay, six Riv, yes. is Kawhi playing in April? I don't give a shit about 60 to 65 games because every single year April comes around, he's not playing. My bad. 60 games flat in 2018, 2019. But the last time he's yes, played 70 right. games was 2016, he played 2017. Last year. 17, Maybe. Yeah. Right. Maybe we were not. talking about Kawhi. That was close so, to eight years ago. Yeah, that was seven years ago. Pardon me. I thought he did it with the Clippers. No, three no, games off. No, Kawhi? Three years ago. Off. Kawhi didn't play. He so, played 68 this year. Oh, South I thought it was seventy. Hey, close, close to it. So close. Um, would you? You count the playoffs, yeah? Yeah. I'm a, I'm I'm with Dell on this. What? You know, this is the fourth straight, the fourth time in five years he's missed the playoffs with them. Yes. It's great he plays sixty eight well, games. I just want to make sure that we clear on that. Really. But he's we're not playing the four, playoffs. We're talking about, we're not talking about we're not, wait, five wait. years he's missed the playoffs. We're not talking about players. Talk about seeding, which is even worse. Because what happens if he does play 65 games or 70 games? They'll be and a they top get to, six seed. And they, I don't know. Let, let's take it a step further than that, Rip. They get seed. the number three seed. Oh, it's up. And, and then what happens? And he bra- oh, well, and then, then he breaks down again. That's not what I'm and arguing. bounced out the door like an underage kid trying to get into a club. That's not what I'm arguing here. Oh, my God. I'll be honest. I don't even do my tiers based off seeding. Because I think the seeding is stupid in the West. What are your tiers? So, okay. tier one, I got championship contenders. I see all four of these teams. The four, I think you you mentioned, Rave. Nuggets, Thunder, Wolves, and Mavs. I mentioned the two, Dells. So did Joel. Thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> difficult for me to have any of these teams over the other. OKC got better, but this is still a super young team. You still need leaps from J-Dub or Chet to really become a true championship contender. And Caruso and Hartenstein, great additions. Two of the best role players in the NBA. But that doesn't take you from, you know, the first seed in the West to you were clear in a way, the number one seed in the West. I think Denver has a, a real conversation because I don't know how great they still match up with Nikola Jokic. Dallas just went to the finals. And the Timberwolves, I think they're probably the bottom out of these teams because I still think half court half court offense could be an issue. Lost Kyle Anderson um, and Rob Dillingham's a question mark. Tier two, I think these are teams that things need to break their way, but they can make a deep playoff run. I have the Memphis Grizzlies and I have the LA Lakers. I still believe that the Lakers we'll have the, out. when you have two top 10 players, I think JJ Redick is a massive upgrade at head coach. Again, I'm guessing here, we're all kind of speculating no, what JJ is going to be, but Darvin Ham was Clears a bottom 10 coach and Sucked. I'm putting that nicely. And then tier three, this is where it's just like, these can all be playoff teams, but I don't trust any of them to make a serious playoff run. Yeah, you thought he was garbage? Clippers, Suns, no, Pelicans, him. Kings, Rockets, Warriors. In the playoffs, he was horrendous. I thought Darvin Ham was really bad. I, you liked I, did, him? I did not think he was that good. I, I, I didn't hate him. Let me let me just. The say team that. was also ass. Yeah, I, I, but that's why we're having arguments with the Kings why and the AD Warriors and the, the Clippers. So Darvin Ham was like, "Come on, guys, so give good, good you know effort." Have but I just, it feels like shit. it feels useless. Oh His rotations like, were trash. The Clippers could be the three seed. The Lakers could be the seven seed, and then they match up. Or Clippers are two seed, Lakers are seven. They match up. Kawhi's hurt. Now the Lakers are better. And like. You know what I mean? We can't predict all that. I get. The, I, I think I can predict it with Kawhi. We can predict. I think I can predict it with all the respect. That's really. No, I'm just talking about in, in terms of just in general. You can't predict that. Like nobody's going. But well, we're specifically talking about Kawhi. Yes, you can but there's a reason yes, why yes. the Clippers are in the. They'll make the playoffs, but I don't yes, trust yes, them. Yes, Wait, you sure. think that the Clippers are a serious team? 
No. To make the playoffs. Not not a contender. Make the playoffs? Yes. yes. Okay, that's so. fine. Yes. They're locked to that's make the fine. playoffs. I don't know if they're locked. There's, There's no such thing as a lockout. It's pretty ugly. What's their starting lineup? It's ridiculous to think that the Cardin. Terrence Mann. Kawhi. Kawhi. Wait, Nor- Powell is... Norman Powell's probably c- going to come off the bench. They could probably start all four. I was going to say Powell could start. Derek Jones Jr. Does he start Bleh. or what? You could start him. <laughs> he has to start. And Zubox. <laughs> What's, I don't get how terrible. That's not terrible. It, pr- it sounds pretty terrible. That's not terrible. Not bad. I Who's actually didn't team? hate Terrence that. Man? Terrence Mann at the two. Kevin Porter Jr. is a six I'm man, right? It, it, Kevin it, it, Porter Jr. You didn't really, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, You lied. That's not That's bad. actually that's firm. Bad, it was. You that's firm. Harden, man. Kawhi, Derrick Jones Jr., Zubak. That's Where's the spacing bad. on that team? I'll be honest, man. It's a first round exit. Kawhi. Team. Probably. Respectfully, yeah. it's first round exit. Yeah. Man gets left open. Derrick Jones Jr. gets left open. Yeah. Yeah. If Kawhi's there. ball in the playoffs. Is it ridiculous to think that they could miss the playoffs? It's not ridiculous. No. It's not ridiculous. No. No. Absolutely not. But, like. Like, listen, I think they they did a good job for compensating for losing Paul George, but the roster. It's not terrible. Is It's not moving me either, though. I think Derrick Jones Jr., what he offers. As a vertical spacer, James Harden can take advantage of that because he's similar no, to Luka as a playmaker. No, he's, I think he's, well, he'll he'll be the primary point of attack defender. For sure, for sure. I just think their offense having Terrence Mann, who can't really space the floor, I mean, who's been in gets left open, Derrick Jones Jr., who can't space the floor, who's going to get left open, and then Zubach having three non-floor spacers. Ter- I, I think you can convince me more on their depth being well, Terrence Mann, a big part well, of their for, team. For starters, Terrence Mann rarely st- spends time on the three-point line. That's number one. He's usually in the dunker spot or cutting, so he won't be out there, so you have to guard him because he's, he's under the three-point line. Number two, all we were saying was this team is still good enough to make the playoffs. If Kawhi misses 20 games, they're a lottery team. Possibly. For sure. There's a strong you chance can say, but wait, games. If Fox misses 20 games, they're a lottery team. If Steph Curry misses 20 games, they're a lottery team. Yeah. They, if the, if LeBron misses 20 games, they might be a lottery they can team. Stay so, so, so with all of that being said, Rev, yeah. who is more likely to miss 20 oh, games? Oh, no, it's the Clippers for sure. But I'm just saying, this is a good team nonetheless. Is it not? Do you not think it's a good team? I What's their ceiling? Right. I think it's all right. First round. First, it's round. first round exit. Okay. Most of these teams are first round exit I, teams. I don't disagree. Yeah. Warriors I, got lower. Why do I make it seem like I said something different? I, I was with we you the whole time. Because you asked I me that question. Did. Like I said, no, I just think they're a good team. I think I'm more infatuated with the Clippers bench. Like Kevin Porter Jr. Norman Powell. Politics aside, now this question. Like, this is, I have to can be he like be a good NBA player it. still? Possibly. Mm. Norman Powell off the bench. I think their bench piece has probably Kevin got a Porter. little bit better. I don't know who else is on that bench. Kevin Porter Jr. They did bring Batum Powell. back. Batum. I mean, that's Batum. eight deep right there. Yeah, Batum it was a good pickup. Russ, they're going to lose Russ. They're going to trade him, yeah, yeah for they're sure. Gonna, they're going to ultimately lose Russ. So They have to lose Russ. Nick Batum. Amir Coffey. Coffee. Coffee played well last year. I, I don't. I didn't hate coffee. They signed Chris Dunn. I actually, actually like coffee. Chris Dunn is yeah. terrible. Yeah, no. They, they, they did coffee not Chris bad. Dunn. Coffee, coffee so ain't Coffee, bad. Dunn. They ain't uh, a big. I'm man. They signed Mo Bamba. Oh God! Don't have him come up the bench. Out of the out of the top four contenders we have uh, outside of Drew, that is Dallas, Minnesota, the Nuggets, and OKC. Which team is most likely to fall out of that top four? It's Denver. Actually, I lied. You know, any it I, could be Minnesota. I'll be honest. I've actually come around on Denver because I think it's not that hard for Christian Brown to replace what KCP left. Oof. I don't. All oh, NBA defense is Cri- nuts. I know. I know. But Christian Brown just shot thirty eight percent from three. Yeah. I think he's more athletic. He's a better cutter. He will still be a plus defender. He won't be mm-hmm. what KCP is. But I've seen Christian Brown really give top scores in the league mm-hmm. some hell. What really is their problem is the depth behind that. But I think Christian Brown can be more than good enough at the starting two spot. I think they'll be fine there. It's their depth that worries me a lot. And I don't know because Russ has been the hottest rumor. I don't know how much Russ changes his team if he changes his team for the better. Because think about it. Uh, sorry, Dels. Christian Brown averaged seven points. KCP averaged 10. I mean, is it that big of a gap to clear? I, I, I you just need to be efficient. Yeah, I, think the, I think the defense that, that, that the KCP. Not only the defense, but teams respect KCP as a shooter out there in the perimeter. Yeah, they do. They respect his nonstop movement. It's it's just, it's a different vibe. I understand. No, Christian Brown, he's going to have to. So there isn't going to be like no hiding him or nothing like that. I think as a defender, he'll be But I also out. believe in Christian Brown. I believe in his development. It's not a bad, it's, I'm more looking at Peyton Watson because they need a bench piece. Yeah. They, yeah. Need, they need that bench to so step up. So your, your rotation is Holiday, Strother. Strother could Peyton, be. Peyton Watson. Eight. Yeah. Strother was a sniper in college. Yeah, but you're asking a lot from these young players. You have to to this is what happens when you're in the team. second apron or whatever yes. the hell you are now. You are asking. Well, signing KCP, sure. it put them below it. Yeah, so, so that's so why they didn't sign him. So you got it. You got it. Hey, listen. Step up or get off. 
Not wrong. What were you going to say, Dallas? Oh, we were just talking about Westbrook. Um, because I do th- agree with their logic that they need another ball handler on the team, right? You have Jokic, you have Murray, but coming off the bench, there's not really anyone who brings that, at least someone you trust. But I don't know. I feel like adding Russ, you're just... Not that it's the Lakers thing again, where you're adding a third player and you can mess up things, but I feel like I would stay away from that because I think more often than not, we would see more negative plays from Russ coming off the bench with Denver than more positive plays. The fact that LA, with you know some of their weaknesses, um, losing Paul George, are interested in trading him, interested in moving off of him for a very small contract, I think shows that kind of his value around the league is not obviously what it used to be. Um, but for a team that's trying to win a championship, I don't know if that changes how we view the team if they end up acquiring him. No, I think that's all a valid point. Yeah, what do you think about... I don't know, think about, I don't know where who, do you, who would you have dropping off OG in the top four in the West? Denver, because I'm worried about their rotation more than anything. And on top of that, the climb to the mountaintop, which is what Coach talked about, how difficult it was... And not just how difficult it was, it was staying there because he talked about how they were hunted every night and they weren't really prepared for that, how yeah. exhausted they were throughout the course of the season, which next season, now what you're doing is you you lose KCP, you lose Reggie Jackson, you've lost Uncle Drew, you lost Bruce Brown, right? So you lose these guys and now you're replacing them with younger guys and now you're trying to get back to the mountaintop. Yeah. Even though you do have the best player on the planet, in my estimation, I still think that it's going to be a tall task for them. Man, but that's Strawder. Watson, Brown. Yep. So Younger young guys, guys in the rotation. And they signed Brown's about, Brown's about to be starting too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that though. That's I think he's cool. Ready. I need to see him space the floor consistently. Then I'm in. 37% from three I don't hate. Year. I think 37 30 how many I don't hate like Westbrook a, coming Jaden in. Jaden McDaniels type deal. You got Strawther, Holiday. Now Lisa. remember too, I don't Rev. hate that. Now, I don't hate that. Now remember too. 18 minutes. It's Justin, right? It feels a yeah. little yes. uh, desperate, if that's I mean, <laughs> respectfully. But remember what, Odell, what who there? asked for him. The, the big fella yeah, asked for him specifically. Jokic, hey, Bron asked for him too. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, so yes, he did. Christian Brown um, shot 38% from three on two attempts last year. Right. What percent? 38? 38%. We got to see. Yeah, it's, it's a, a Jaden McDaniels when he was shooting thirty seven percent from three at like February. Two attempts is yeah. It's just he, a got, he has to be a floor spacer, but I think in transition he brings a different dimension. I mean, his athletic. He is, is athletic. Crazy. I'll yeah. give them. I'll yeah, give him that for sure. Guys. He's definitely athletic. Yeah. I don't know them four. Them top fours is tricky, man, because it's like Minnesota, they had injury away, you know, and then you got the Thunder. I really don't know what would make the Thunder like outside of injuries. I don't know like. What would make them drop Thunder off? Thunder feel the safest, for sure. Well, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, Riv, because if you look at them just as a unit, they kind of snuck up on some people this year. For sure. Right? I heard that. Yeah, so I think I said it before. Because they snuck up on some people, they're going to be more hunted next season. I think they're ready for that, though. Are you sure? I think we're so. talking about the, uh, the, the Thunder. kids? Oh, well, I think no, they're, they're ready. ready. They want yeah, they're ready. Okay. Yeah. okay. They're ready. That's when they brought in Caruso. Right. They brought in Hardenstein. Caruso's been a champion. Sure. You know, Hardenstein, he, he just had the battle for his spot They're bringing in, the in soldiers. Yeah. No, he's right, though. They're bringing in some the, dogs. They, like, they put the league on notice this year. Dallas didn't take them lightly. They knew that OKC was one of those great teams. Sure. Dallas simply outperformed them. You got to give them the credit there. And J-Dub was not ready for the moment. And Chet, to a certain degree, was also not ready for the moment. If you're OKC, we can hang our hat on the fact of, hey, our guy, our number one, was ready. Right. He was none short of spectacular. But what do we need? We need guys that who are going to be on the court with SGA, with J-Dub, with Chet, that can space can space con, uh, consistently, but at the same time, still match that level of defensive prowess. Sure. Like you had with Lou Dortz, unbelievable perimeter defender. He was sensational against Luka Doncic, but his issue was that he couldn't knock down an open jumper to save his sure. life. Alex Caruso just shot it from an insanely efficient clip. Not only can he shoot consistently, but he can also handle the basketball too, so that's not always in SGA's hands, and it's not a predictable offense. Sure. Of course, you're going to run the offense primarily through SGA, but right. defensively, if, if Lou Dort is a negative on offense, he's not hitting his shots, it's all right that you can slide into the bench because you're not dropping off right. when it's Caruso now in the lineup and we have an Aaron Wiggins out there. Or if we really want to go so, small, we go and we put an Isaiah Joe with Alex Caruso because Alex Caruso has shown defensive versatility. And one to ten is crazy. It, it, they can do... One to ten is Defensively, nuts. they can match up with every team. And Which now you can. have Harnstein. Now we have someone that if now we are matchup the, against the Denver Nuggets. Ain't doing shit. Jokic is going to cook. No, I still <laughs> He's going to go crazy, but at least now we have some type of presence down there. 
that's strong and that's not going to get bullied around Shet. like Chet. I still got to see Chet because the two yeah. big lineups could still hurt him. Like the more physical, like Minnesota or the front courts, like Denver. I got, I still got to see it. I think where that helps out Chet the most is just not having to guard and have that you responsibility. Just roam, kind of because if, if Isaiah Hornstein is the one that's taking a beating from Jokic, pause. He's the one mm. that's taking a beating. Then now he wants to say pause because OG's here. No. Then Chet, then Chet Holmgren. Rubbing on legs, he on offensively leg can have episode. his legs to shoot the ball still because I mean he's in, I feel if he like, played Minnesota he still yeah. got a guard cap. I feel like in this playoff run it, versus the Mavericks his legs were gone on offense because he was doing so much defensively. So that's where I think the Isaiah Hartenstein addition helps them a lot. But it all relies on J Dub and Chet on them to getting better and performing because the role players are great, but you need your stars to step up and they got to take the biggest I leaps. I don't think, I think Denver's going to fall off just yet. I, you know, I don't think you guys are saying that, but I still feel pretty comfortable about them staying in that top four. It's not even that I'm scared of them. Cool, it's okay, just see? that. Now he's talking down on them purposely. He's trying to convince himself. I'm not talking. This was me talking up Denver. I didn't talk. Oh, Denver. About I wasn't not listening. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> on me, bro. <laughs> no, uh, Sometimes I gotta think, admit that. Listen, Denver losing KCP hurts like, undoubtedly, so but this was a team that was still the one seed basically the entire season. This was a team that when we were having our championship favorites discussion, we had them number one over Boston. They went into the second round, of the playoffs, like they go down 2 0, then they win three straight. They're up 20. They lose in game seven. I get it. They they blew it. Don't know how they blew that game. They blew it. I'm not taking anything away from Minnesota. Game seven in your building. I just think that if Thanks. if just one game goes their way, if they end up winning that game seven, now they're in the WCF again. In my opinion, in a, in a plus matchup against Dallas, they could be right in that situation. And they still have that top four with Jokic, Jamal, Aaron Gordon, MPJ. You need something from these young guys. But as long as those four are healthy. They're going to be a prompt to deal with because sure. outside of Minnesota, I don't think any team matches up well against them. It's just losing Game Seven at your building. It was you were bad. Up twenty. It was bad. It's just it's, ugly. it's nasty. It was bad. It's and make no mistake hurt, about though. it. And make no mistake about it, Drew. Dallas saw that and they were like. Yeah, for sure. No, they did not want to no, play. They definitely did bring us many. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were late. Here. They we were thought, rooting for Minnesota. We like went in there thinking Minnesota was going to win that shit. I thought Minnesota was going to win. I did. I was convinced. Me too. Me too. I thought Anthony was going to do. What very few have done in NBA history. I'll yeah, tell you the what. Greats, the top 20 players all the time. Well, he is a great. What? He is I a think great. you guys. He's on his way to sending. But I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm sorry. Dell was. Del was no, did you finish your nothing, tiers list too? The fin- the, yeah, the last okay. one. We all finished our tiers list? Yeah. So I was going to say, let's do ourselves a favor. Let's do the this week in the NBA. And then we'll save the, the winners and losers. Yeah, this would be the last topic fact. of the show. All right. You so have some trivia, right? I do. So this, listen, this trivia could either be. So now, Riv, just make sure you get OG in frame here because this is important because this is what's going to go on TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, yeah. that's a fact. OG, come, come a little bit more towards Joel. I'll say this too. This trivia could either be extremely easy or it'll be shocking. Is it like a game where we can get out? Correct. I'm only going to give you guys a strike though. No, two, two, two. No, you two, get one strike. Two. You'll understand. When I tell focus, you what Riff. it is. I'm always focused. Focus. You don't notice. I'll be killing. I only lost once. Riff's impressive when it comes to the trivia. I'll give him his, benef- his, his flowers. All right. So in NBA history, there are only eight players to have multiple 50-point games. Can you name me those eight players? You only get one strike. 50-point games in what? Fifty po- In the Regulous. playoffs. Oh, okay. sorry. In the playoffs. Eight, eight yeah, players. You, I, I know. That's on me. That's, <laughs> I appreciate it because yeah. I know sometimes I leave that out. There have only been eight players in NBA playoff history to have multiple 50-point games. Can you name me those eight players? I'll start with you, OG. Um, Jay. Okay, that's, no, wait, just one at a time. Okay. All right. He was about to go. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so that's why. Like, yeah, bro, he was. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we only get one strike. So, okay, so Jay. All right. That's correct. Jay? I know. He's talking about Jay. Jordan. Come on, Ooh. he's right. It's only one I had to make sure. God damn it, he took the easy one. That is the easy one. LeBron. He's out already. Strike Damn. one. Damn. I told you this one could either be easy. All right. He's setting it to him. We'll see how round one goes. We'll LeBron see. only had one? He's Yeah, he has he's only had bum. one. Go ahead. KD. That's, well, you're out too, That's why we should. should All right, two more. strikes. Thank two strikes. You. That's why I said. Now I had to see how it was going to go. Go ahead, Joel. Donovan Mitchell. Correct. All right, now. No. Has Ant Man ever done that? No. Oh, shit. Fuck. That was. No, that's wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with this guy? That's wrong. He's not, I can't support he, he can't that. can't me on that. No, 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 no I can't support he's that. He's so high on Donovan Mitchell, you ain't name him. Oh, shit. You cooked. You cooked. Because I thought the easy answer was fucking Bron. LeBron. Right. Like yeah, LeBron. Yeah, yeah, I understood. All right, OG, back to you. Uh, 50 point games. Let's see. And talking to the mic, please. Yeah, yeah. I'm but. sorry. I apologize. Uh, 50 point games. It has to be scorers, like bucket getters. So that's one of the bucket getters who was. Awesome in the playoffs. 
Elgin Baylor. That's incorrect. Okay. All right, you guys get two ass. strikes. Yes. You guys get two strikes. How about three? You're back. Shut up. Sh- <laughs> uh, Larry Bird. Okay, dude, you real? All right, Andrew, well done. All right, wrong. Go ahead. Um, this is a mix. I'm assuming of older and modern players. Yes. Because I remember I have the <gasps> names. You got it. You got him. I, these you're gonna hear these names. You're gonna be like, idiot. God. All right, God. Uh, Steph. Okay. No. He doesn't have. One. He only has one. He has one. I'm sorry. Fifty game that? seven. Fifty game seven. It's the bums. I remember. All right, go ahead, Joel. All right, two strikes. Oh, we're good. We're still in it. Yes. Yes. This isn't my answer. Jason Tatum had one fifty point ball. I don't know if he had two. He had he had one the plane. Shut your mouth. Sorry. Quiet. Sorry. Playing games don't count. I need everyone that's not Joel. Listen, I think Donna Mitchell was was one of them in that series. Did Jamal have two fifty balls? I feel like he was close. I feel like he might have had forty nine in one of those games. That's why I want to name him. Yes, sir, you got hella strikes left, bro. You do. I'll I'll name Jamal Murray. Bang. Yo, Trust your he, gut. Yo, he clears y'all. Trust off. your gut. All right, OG, come on. Jason Tatum scored 50 against Brooklyn in he 2021, did. and he scored 51 he against did. the Philadelphia 76ers. He did, in, yes. Dallas, let's tighten up. In, in 23. <laughs> All right. Sir. All right, OG, Dallas, well done. Let's tighten up, Dallas. All right. All right. Uh, uh, how many people we got? We left got four left. We got four, four left. left. Okay. Uh, we got Michael Jordan. Right now, Joel is winning because he has named everyone, but no strikes. Shout out Just to let it be known. Thank you, bro. That's real. And new chip. Um, stupid. I could say Kobe. Kobe feels like an easy one, but I don't remember his resume. Ah, woo! Fuck it, Kobe. Wrong. Ah, you're out. You're done. You're done. <laughs> All right, go ahead. After I gave him his flowers, this is what you do. Hey, listen, man, it's not my best day. Because mm. I got the names. We did uh, the highest scores in the finals a Thanks. few episodes ago, so I got names in my head. But to drop 50, 50 like there's some nuts, old heads bro. that I remember, but I'm like, if you drop 50, that's like 80% of the points no, back 50 in those days. 50 points is crazy. Um, like Pete Maravich and shit. We got old heads and new heads still here? There are. Rick Barry. Not a bad guess, but wrong. I thought How you many? were going to oh, say wait. somebody else. I, no, no, no. It was not him. No, it I was not Rick Barry. Say else. Damn. Question, how many current players do we have left? Uh, I can't do that for you. Okay, that's too big of a guess. Correct. I'm assuming they're all all time greats, though. Yeah, I, w- I would. I would classify them. Yes. Well, Giannis had one fifty ball in Game Six. I don't know if he's had fifty. Well, I'm out, so I can just any other time. Because I don't think he had one against the Nets in that series. Somebody already mentioned Kevin Durant, right? Yeah, I didn't. Know. I did. Yeah, and that was wrong. I'm going to go with. I'm gonna go with Will Chamberlain. Bang! Yeah. Yes, that, that is correct. He did well, four times. We yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I was expe- you yeah. said Elgin. I was, I was actually going to say Chamberlain. You said my, Elgin shocked me. Guy. All right, you're so far in the lead. He's Tough. gotten three in a row, no strikes. OG on you. Fifty. Let's see. 50 OG. Jerry, 50. West, Jerry West had five seasons where he averaged thirty-five a game. Well, he had to get it right. Like fifty points. Like he had to get it. Thirty-five. I think so. I think no. so too. Jason Tatum right? on this list. What a goat. No. Nope. Mm-hmm. Fucking close. No. 50. Not many players have, have gotten 50 twice, multiple times in the playoffs. Correct. Oh, I'm bugging. Jabal? No. No? I think so, right? Come on, Joel Cook, bro. Yeah, it's back on you. So you're at two strikes, OG. Joel, you're still in the clear. No strikes, but we do have. We have one. Two players, three players left. I'm going to go with Shaquille O'Neal. I'm sorry, sir. That's going to be strike one. Damn. OG, back on you. Let's see here. 50-point games in the playoffs. Who scored 50 in the playoffs? Malone got busy in the playoffs. Uh, Mitch Richmond got busy in the playoffs. Lajuan scored 49 in the playoffs. I don't think he ever scored 50 in the playoffs. Oh, man. Let's see. Let's see. Doc never scored 50 in the playoffs. So I'll tell you the names we have already, OG, just so you can wipe those off. Yeah. So Jordan, Wilt, Jamal, Tatum, mm-hmm. Donovan. That's it. Dominique Wilkins never scored. Dominique Wilkins never scored 50. Nick never scored 50 in the playoffs. Bird never scored 50 in the playoffs. Alex English? No, he never scored 50 in the playoffs. Uh, 
probably. Can you guys let OG think, please, guys? Yeah, Come on. No. He's KD. Right now. Look, he's really trying to get in his bag to figure it out. That's why. KD never scored 50 in the playoffs. He never did that. Um, and I know I'm on the clock here. I, 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 do, I, I do know that. Um, KD might have been close, though. I will yeah. give you till 15. So you have 13. Yep. Lock in. In the playoffs. David Robinson. David, Ro- guess. David Robinson is guess. not here, unfortunately. So, Joel, you did win because he's at strike three. You only have one strike. Do you have a guess, though? Yeah, my guess is Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is correct. Damn. Way to stamp that. Uh, do you guys want a roundtable guess the last one? Is it hard, hard? Is it a new player? Or? It's one more. Then we the, have two in more. the playoffs? You oh do have two God. more. James Harden. James Harden's not here. Is it? Do we have a uh, current? Dwayne Wade. No. Current or old? Uh, one is old, one is current. And I will tell you this. Jerry West. You talked yourself out of it. It Jerry is Jerry West. West. You talked bitch. yourself out of it. You said it, and I said he got it. And he's like, no, I was. I wanted I to say something so say bad. So okay. Jerry West and is the old head. He is the old head. Now there's one more. Current? He is. Current like 2000 us. Like that, that's all I, I said. He's current. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. So that means he's, in, he's, playing, he's playing out. It's Kawhi Leonard. Oh, I'm bugging. Damian Lillard. That's correct also. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. Oh, that type of current. Yeah. yeah, in the bubble, he was amazing. Oh, no, that not the bubble. The year <laughs> after that. Like 2010. Year against Denver, Denver, he was otherworldly. So, in wait. That first round. Was it De- against, it had one in, against Denver? He definitely Denver. had one against yeah, Denver. Yeah, it had to, right? Yep. Yeah. He so, lost that game. Yeah, Damian. Yeah. And that was game. Austin Rivers was like praying that he missed. He lost that game. So, Joel wins this trivia round, of course, but... These were the guys that scored 50-point games multiple times in the NBA playoffs. We have, of course, Michael Jordan did it eight times. Wilt Chamberlain did it four. Jamal Murray did it twice. I was shocked. Jamal did it twice in the same series Yeah, I know. against the Jazz. Uh, he went toe-to-toe with Donovan You have Jerry West. Jason Tatum Who? did it twice. Jason Tatum did it twice. Donovan Mitchell, I believe, did it three times. And Allen Iverson also. You don't care that Donovan did it twice in the same series? No. It was this... He scored 50. Yeah, it was an accident. He, 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 he scored 50. God, no, it was one of the best series. He scored 59 ever, and 50. Wait, it, he did it 50 twice, twice. against the ja- yes. against the Nuggets. He scored two That's on me. Game, I yes. think it was game seven. I he scored only, 59. Game, yeah, I'm sorry, game one. He scored 59. I think might have been seven or game six. He had one. He had four, he had 40 like three times. No, Donovan's an unbelievable score. Yeah. When Jamal he's hot, he was unbelievable. going nuts. Yeah, Jamal Murray is just as good though. All right, who's next? Just as good. I'm glad that that was. Is a that good all one. that we have for trivia? Do you I have got, any trivia? Oh, you no, do the would you rather earlier? Would you okay, rather. do you have something else? I do. Um, do you have something? And this will be the last He's thing something. of the show. I oh, always have, have something. Do you? I always. Do. I have it this week in the NBA. I There's don't have never a been a time I've okay. come to it this week in the NBA and not had something. Ah. So this week in the NBA, we did uh, a build your team with the NFL. Let's do a build your team with the NBA. All right. Got fifteen dollars to spend. You're gonna get a point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center. Um, do you guys want? A specific position first. I think maybe you could save your money. Should just go point guard first, and then so on. Let's go center. We're doing this together. Correct. Yes. I'm cool with my center, or I could do point guard. We either definitely or. should start with foundation. Yeah. So let's get a point guard. I'm I'm not against it. Okay. So you have fifteen dollars to spend. Five positions. Can we jump around positions? Sure. Let's go. All right. So, center next. Point guard. Five dollars. Steph Curry. Course. Four dollars, John Morant. Three dollars, De'Aaron Fox. Two dollars, Darius Garland. One dollar, Jordan Poole. We're gonna, have to, we're gonna have to spend the five. I don't think though. we have to. Spend, How much money do we John have? Morant 15? and be okay with four. Who else? Who else is it? It's it's Steph, Steph five, mm-hmm. Ja four, De'Aaron Fox three. Two dollars is Garland and one dollar. To be honest with $2? you, two dollars. I think we can get Garland for two bucks. That's, that's not bad, good, honestly. I think we can get Garland for two bucks. Garland for two bucks. Garland. Garland. That's a, that's yeah, I know me. I honestly, I like it. But I I, I'm also I not mad at Josh four. We don't have to spend the full five. I, no. I like Garland at two because that's two dollars. Yes. He can space. Great playmaker. Wings are more important. So let's go two dollars. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good stuff, OG. Good stuff. So you want center next? No, we should get a wing. Let's get okay, the small th- forwards. Three. Small forward. Let's do it. Three. I'll say this. Small forward and power forward. Same thing. Some yes, yes, overlap, yes. but small forward, I think I would say is more uh, wingy and power forward still okay. more biggy, you know? Uh, so you want small forward first? Sure, bro. Okay. $5, Jason Tatum. $4, Kawhi Leonard. $3, Mikhail Bridges. $2, the one and only Denny. One dollar. We can spend the five. Andrew here. Wiggins. We can spend Kawhi the at four is fine. Kawhi at four is, is he, fine. Okay. I'd rather have Kawhi at four than Tatum at five. It's really a dollar. It's up. For NFL? It's NBA. It's NBA, NBA. NBA. <laughs> we're, building, we're building the best team. You know, we're building the best like, team wait, for... I'll be honest. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. No, 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 I know, but I feel like Kawhi, even still, that's still a great... That's a $5 player. Let's do it. 
All right. Kawhi. I'm just writing this down real quick. Uh, Garland for two. You're cool with that, OG? I know yeah, you're not a Kawhi guy. Yeah, sure. I'm not. You know, I'm, not, I'm, not uh, I'm not a Leonard guy, but I. Right. Okay, I see it. Yeah. All right. What do you guys want next? <laughs> Let's go power uh, four. Give me the four. Yeah. Power four. Can we play Tatum at the four? Uh, sure. We'll I mean, see if there's over. You'll hear the twos so and the fours if you want to. Okay. I'm just asking. But we could play Kawhi at the four. So for the four, five dollars LeBron James. We're good. Four dollars Zion Williamson. We're so good. Three dollars Julius Randle. Two dollars Aaron Gordon. One dollar Tobias Harris. That's that's dog shit. We have to take LeBron. We literally have to take. So LeBron. I'm glad we didn't take Tatum. But that's not terrible. Yeah. Not terrible. Well, we're at eleven dollars because we got Garland as our distributor. We're right. at eleven dollars. Floor spacer, right? Mm-hmm. We got <clears throat> we got Leonard on yep. the, we got Leonard on the wing. Yep. So okay, we need some dirty work, and we need a guy that can shrink the defense, right? So we got a guy at the rim. Can we and hop Aaron around Gordon. and check another position? And I feel like, I feel no, like Garland no, can get him the ball. Be, uh-huh. I feel like Garland can get him the ball around the rim. I also feel like. I also feel like he gives us a lot of value. On How much money do we have? If we, 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 six dollars. We spent seven dollars so far. Seven. That's Can what we I'm trying to explain, trying to, explain no, to you? No, Kawhi was four. Oh, my apologies. Kawhi four. We're, we're at six. six. I'm, uh, listen, six dollars. At point guard, one dollar was Jordan Poole, which means any other position that one dollar could be nasty. I know. And the two could be mid. Then the obvious was just a two dollar. Can we? Let's hear the shooting Let's guards? look around. Let's look around the shooting No, guards no, no. We have to choose now. Yes, we have to pick. Let's not spend five on LeBron. He was trying to make an argument for Aaron Gordon. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm I, I hear that. your thought process because he and he, spend, he can kind of space too. His and defense is great. That, defense and defensively, I yeah. think he, he can rebound. I think he can. I love us. Aaron Gordon. I think All right, how much was he? How much? Two dollars. All right, two dollars. These are good. That's good deal. I think that's a great value. I'm with you. So you want to hear the center or the shooting guard? Bring me the two. Shooting guard, five dollars. Ant Man, four dollars. Desmond Bain, three dollars. Drew Holiday, two dollars. Dejounte Murray, one dollar. Clay, three. We take Drew. Joe Ugh. wants to spend the dough right now. On Ant-Man. Read me again. Ant is five. Ant is five. Bain is four. Drew is three. Dejounte is two. Clay is one. We got money left. We could get Ant. How much do we have right now? So we eight. spend eight dollars. Uh, yes. All right. No, this is an easy decision. We go. If we spend with Drew. the five here by thirteen, which I, means whatever's two, two, it could be no. so bad. Yes, Drew five. Holiday, lock, lock. We didn't. We didn't establish. No, so, I'm so, saying so, it should so Drew, be. So we got Drew this and is so, 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 so democracy. So we got Drew and and it would be Garland, Garland in the backcourt. Drew, Kawhi, Aaron Gordon. Leonard, Gordon. We got. Aaron Gordon at the four. Oh, I feel like we could have built such a better team. Why can't we just get Anthony Edwards? No, I'm not spending two dollars on a center. That means our center has to be elite. It's probably going to be. Okay. But at worst, we're probably getting Bam at $4. That's a cool team, I guess. Agreed. It's cool. It's all right. Wait, we spent $9 right now? Eight. Or eight? Eight. Yep. Eight dollars. So right. if we spend three, we're at 11. We get $4 to spend on our center. That's our best right That's there. That's the top two. Agreed. That's right, perfect. I'm with Drew. Huh? Yes. And we get Drew's a defensive medicine. We can shoot 40% yeah, from three. It's a lock. Yeah, yeah, Give me that. So who's the four? Lock it in, Drew. Man. Drew's locked in. <sighs> yeah. Okay, your center shit. positions. You can't afford them. Five dollars was Joel Embiid. Four dollars, which you'll probably take. Fucking nailed it, Wemby. Oh, okay. three dollars. I had Porzingis. Can I get apologies? Two Absolutely. Miles Turner. Can I get apologies? Five. Beautiful. We'll take Wemby. You know, I would have been fine with Lucky, anything. I knew what I was Turner. doing. Yes. We'll take. What did Wimby. he just say? Something, something silly, I think. I would have been fine with beautiful. Anthony Edwards and Miles Turner. We have Wemby, bro. All right, so read me my squad now because it's fucking fire. Wemby will clear. You spent two dollars on Darius Garland. Three dollars on Drew Holiday, four dollars on Kawhi, two dollars on Aaron Gordon, and four. How much we have Kobe. left? Let me give you your uh, flowers. That Aaron Gordon selection all? was masterful. Yeah, that was great, okay. masterful. That was good. I like that. If you would have got center first, though, I feel like you would have spent a dollar and got Derek Lively. He would have convinced you. I feel he like definitely would have tried to <laughs> finesse that. No, uh, we, we could have no. spent the bank on it. We would have taken the four dollars on Wemby. I feel. No, we just took the five on the beat. Yeah? yeah, yeah, for sure. You would have to. Yeah, Low at that key. point, it's MB like it's Kawhi. Like, yeah, yeah we're, true. We're taking them too. We're just calling it a day. All right, we drew up a banger. Yeah, and that's gonna do it for this episode, episode three hundred and ninety. OG, come on, Shout out to OG. it was great having you in person in the studio for the show. Let me get this out the way. So yeah, 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 go ahead, OG. Is, give your give Drew, your final. We, we, we've talked about this so many times, man. And when you dudes call, it's like my nephews. I get to see my nephews in the. In the summertime, so I'm so happy to be here, man. This is so dope. Black man. supremacy. Absolutely, yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's in here. He's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, god. Gee, I would love if we can make this like a once a year type it's deal. So you know? Dope, every time comes so dope, every man. time you hear, I feel like we need you in yeah, the studio. So dope, man. This was uh I was really looking forward to this. Hell I was yeah. like, yo, I'm de- I'm I'm coming through to, to make a guest appearance on the show. Yeah, we've been doing this for so long via 
you know, Zoom. Three and, years and, now, and, right? Yeah. Something like that. And now the fact that I actually get in here and, and see the setup and see you do. It's yeah, so this, different next time. This you is can. so dope. Yeah, yeah so sure. Hopefully, different. hopefully. Yeah, we're thinking about recreating, redesigning the set. Like getting uh-huh. some couches in here. And just getting rid of the table, just going like more so just couch, chair, vibe. All right. Word. That's what we're thinking about doing. Facts. I like so, it. Oh, gee. Just got to go to So dope, you're man. You're the greatest. So Appreciate dope. you stopping by Absolutely, as always. Man. But is there anything you want to shout out before you go? Oh, yeah. Um, You guys can catch me. I'm on Player's Choice. I'm on uh the panel weekdays, 11 to 2. Um, We do some really great content on there. Um. You can also find me. I'm on TikTok, 9 a.m. every day, Monday to Friday. I do a show called Good Morning NBA. Um, I'm also on Chill Town Hoops at night on YouTube. Hey, and, yeah, no, he be working. He be working. Uh, he be working. Uh, I'm also on another show. My man, uh, Tony Tone, Foon we do Phone and Chill on Tuesday nights at uh, 8 o'clock. Um, this is where you can find me at. But I always got, I, I do what I can to have time for you guys. Always. You're man. the greatest. Uh, thank you. We really talk about all fluent and chill. Hey, man, we talk about everything. We okay. talk about gotta basketball. Stay fluent. Shout yeah. out to Haley, right? That's yes. the host of your guys' show. Mm-hmm. She's Haley's not with us anymore though. Oh no, it's just me and Tone now. Oh but, okay, uh, tough. We still love for Haley. Yeah, we still love. She just she just moved on. She was good. All yeah, right, she cool. was good. Mm-hmm. All right, absolutely. Tough. You guys can follow us on Twitter at Pickaside Pod, on Instagram and TikTok at Pickaside Podcast. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Later.